Hi, howdy, what's good? Cops here with another Red Dead RP stream. As George Hughes on the Diablo RP server. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Coughity cough, cough. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, God. So, the plan for tonight, we've got the. The law leadership meeting thing at 8.30, which is in like two hours and a half. So there's a decent chunk of time there. So might see if, uh, if doctors want to have security again. Because I feel that my free time of being security for doctors is coming to an end. <laughs> it's actually been quite fun. Um, but the other option is might see if Cynthia Wheeler is... Uh, wanting to do that snow hunting trip now before like before the before the um before the law meeting like might actually have time for that now so we will see I'll get a um I'll get a telegram in and we'll see what happens now, I just remembered that someone put in my pockets a, what is it, a, a, a Death Star drug? Or whatever it's called, when I was in St. Denis, and I don't know who did it, so I need to go, probably go pop that in the, um, well, I'll send the telegram. Morning, sir. I'll send the telegram, and then I'll, um, go dump that. Someone dumped some marked bills in my pocket as well, I don't know who did that and when. I'll do that. I'll send the telegram and I'll go down that stuff in the, um, the law. Uh, evidence locker. Then we'll go from there. So I won't just chuck him in a bin, because that would be... That may be a little irresponsible. Miss Wheeler, um, as you may, as you may remember, there is a law leadership meeting tonight at 8.30. If you would like to go on that hunting trip before then tonight, Please let me know. I am currently in Blackwater. Kind regards, George Hughes. Uh huh. Program away. Doot, 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 doot. What am I doing for food? So I've got some. Uh, got some tacos, I've got some bananas, got an apple, got some grilled big game. Oh, I need drinks. I do not have, uh, I currently do not have any drinks. I don't think the saloon here does non-alcoholic beverages, but I'll have a look all the same. Just in case. They might have some orange juice or something. Apple lemon smoothie. Oh yeah, and orange juice. Um, maybe. Just stock up on those now, I guess. They should do the trick for a while. Maybe I'll grab some waters just to be safe. Oh. 
still gotta go behind the bar here. Oh, I don't wanna rob it. I think that's... Yeah, now I have 23 cents, yeah. Yo, sausage! My plans this afternoon. Miss Triple Chill. Well, I think... Well, I don't know if there's going to be much chilling, to be honest. Um, there's a law leadership meeting at uh, 8.30, I think. Um, so there, should, there may be some big developments there. Um, so between now and then, I am looking to maybe do some more... Um, Doctor security, or I've also sent a telegram to Cynthia Wheeler, seeing if she wants to go on the uh, hunting trip between now and the law meeting, because um, you know it's in about two hours or so. Um, but we will, we will see. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be chill though. Hopefully it will be chill, because I think Have my eyebrows gone. Because I think George will need to return to the law department um, tonight. I have a sneaky suspicion. Oh no! Yes, it, it will. It will be a bit. It will be a bit. It will be a bit busy. That's for sure. Oh, I gotta be on duty just to put stuff in the locker. God damn it! All right. Hey, how you going, sausage? want to dump stuff in the locker here. Um, where are we storing? I don't have anything, uh, any other rubbish on me, do I? No, that is it. Whoop. Now, can I go off duty straight away? Oh! Alright. Oh, wait a sec. Um... Let's check. Let's see what's going on with the lockers. Oh, yeah, that's where I got my... Well, no, they're not actually mine. Those need to go in the next evidence locker run, because those were, those were bugged last time. So... Um... Get out of here! Who the fuck was that? Was that Todd Woodman? I swear to God. Oh my God. Could this Arvo just watching from work at the moment? You got much longer left at work for the day? I don't know who the hell that was. Alright. Let's check the let's check the back door here. Can you hear me, partner? Oh, I think I know what's happened. 
remember hearing about this. Hello? Out of pond, can you hear me now? Hello? I can hear yep. you. Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you now. Oh, thank God. Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. How you doing? <laughs> Good things, mister. I s so, was I right about the masked man that ran into the building before? Uh, sorry, what'd you say about him? Didn't he run into that building before and then run away? Yeah, I was uh, I was just popping in just to check on the some of the lockers and stuff. And I turn around, and there's a masked man with a gun. And I was like, what the oh, hell are you doing here? And he runs out. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Scared the the dickens out of me. That's not good. In the sheriff department, of all things. Yeah, I get here in the front I was just doors standing open. over there, and I saw it, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, God, I can't imagine. It, I, the, the door's left wide open? I don't know what the Who the hell? Someone must have forgot to lock up before going to bed. <laughs> Oh no! Well, good thing you're safe, Mister. That's right. I, I don't know. Maybe they had a second thought about what they were doing. I don't know. I mean, I I I, I turned around. I was I expected the worst, to be honest with you. Looking looking at the fella dressed like that. Oh Lord! Well, I'm glad you got away. Oh, me too. <laughs> I've only just woken up for the day. That's the last thing I need. I'm trying to get some stuff. Done. Oh shit! Hello. Sorry, just oh, came that's, running that's past. You all right, partner? Well, you have a good old day then. You too, partner. <laughs> yeah, that was a little concerning, but yeah, I, I completely forgot that people had been mentioning in the Discord that there was an update recently which uh, reset your audio, like you turned your audio settings off. So I had to go and re-enable it. I didn't even, I didn't even think of that. Did not even think of that. So they, they might have been saying something, but I couldn't hear it and they couldn't hear me. But that's a little awkward. Oh well. Any plans for dinner? Um, I had a pretty big lunch. I will probably, I will probably just drink water tonight. <laughs> I could be a bit boring like that. Sometimes I could be really bad. Sometimes I will just have like a big lunch and then that'll be it. Which I don't think is very good. But YOLO! <laughs> Howdy, Hammer. How you doing, man? Howdy, partner. Oh, it happens every time, sausage? Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'll try and keep that in mind. So that I actually remember to check every time. Uh, let's see if she's replied. No. Alright, well, we might just go... I don't know, right up to Strawberry, go to Valentine, just ride around. To see what we can find, and we'll just check telegrams at each spot. And just chill out. Maybe we'll just chill for a the next two hours before the before the meeting. Yo, gang train. Oh no. Don't you steal my horse, you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey you going, mate? There is a uh, there is a law leadership meeting um, happening tonight, which is the governor, uh, Sheriff Wolf, whoever the fuck is the Sheriff of the East, Harkness and I, and I think that's it. That is, like, it is just, it is just those peeps um, having a meeting tonight. Um. So, so don't worry, man. You haven't, uh, it's not, you haven't forgotten anything, or it, you, you haven't forgotten or missed anything. It's, it's literally just the, um, it's literally just the, 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 the leaders. Uh, I'll have to double check. Um, I'm not 100% sure where it is. I'll have to. There's like a. There's like a special Discord channel, which is just for the. 
the leaders. How do you? It is at the governor's mansion? Where the fuck's the governor's mansion? St. Denis? Enter Woodman on horseback. Well, Woodman's not supposed to know about it. Oh, just the courthouse, right. I don't, well, I don't know. I would, I would probably strongly recon, I would probably reconsider barging a horse into the governor's office during the law leadership meeting. But that's Neither just me. I think, now you mentioned Hammer, I think it's just, uh, from the Pinkertons, I think it's just Frank. Sorry, that's who I forgot as well, Frank. It is literally just the, the, the people of each thing. But then it's, because Hackness, because Hackness, Harkness and I are both acting sheriffs, we're, we're both going. Hopefully there's some progress or something. <laughs> like, Hacky Sack. Hacky Sack is also going. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a long meeting. So hopefully, it's hopefully it's a positive thing. Oh, dude, I get I get so bad at like sometimes it's like I'm thinking like I'm like two words ahead in my brain, but my mouth is behind. So like I'll combine like the end of a word and the start of a word, and like it's. My brain and my mouth aren't in sync. Wolf for president. Look, I'd be all for that. That would actually be amazing. Imagine if we end up did have like, as like a like a president role. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. I said, "Howdy, partner." Fine. Rude. Lucky I'm not a criminal. I'll just fucking rob you right there for being AFK. That'll learn ya. That'll fucking learn ya. <laughs> Louis president. <laughs> Super secret agent. <laughs> president. Yeah, I don't think she's seen this telegram in time, eh? She's probably busy doing doctor stuff. Rip! Sir. Oh, hi! How you doing? Sorry, what? Hello, sorry, it's something in my throat looking dark. Oh, that's right, happens to the best of us. How you doing, partner? Yeah, I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm good, just I'm through town. Just, just, just gonna ask you, you know, everything. Uh, you know, strawberry been nice today? Oh, it's not bad. I haven't been there today, so I'm hoping to head there soon. Oh, strawberry? Yeah, strawberry. So we're in strawberry. Uh, probably the tall trees, I think. What? Just south of Strawberry. What about it? Uh, that's where I'm heading today. Oh, right. Okay. No worries. Oh, you have a good day, partner. You have a good day too, sir. What? Did I, did I, did I did not ask if Strawberry is good today? And then he's like, yeah, hoping to get there. What? what? We're in, what? Cooked, mate. It's cooked. The 
fuck is what? I don't understand. I'm confused. I'm really fucking confused. He's too dodge or lost. You can say that again. <laughs> I can't believe you. I'm like, I don't know how you tell you this. But I'm your dad. Oh, fuck, hi! He's like, I will guard this intersection with my life. I am the guardian of strawberry, even though I don't know what strawberry is. Valentine, yeah, just next armadillo there. Tall trees? <laughs> like, lucky I'm not on duty. Like, he's standing in the middle of, like, he's standing in the intersection with his gun out. Like, I've just been taking it easy. Yeah, it's like, just. He's just saying stuff. <laughs> Like, sir, do you know what the f do you know what fucking year it is? No. The art of being lost without being lost. Cluelessness, ten. Oh wait, sorry, cluelessness, zero. Wait, no. Never mind. I don't know what I now I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm called stupid. Jupiter. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm Sheriff Woody. <laughs> now I've got that. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. That music whenever there's a president in a movie. I saw clips of the, uh, the, um, the debate between Trump and Biden. Jesus Christ, dude. What the actual hell? What? Just. How does it come to that? How, how are they? Don't understand. I certainly don't like Trump, but I just feel like, I think Biden needs to, just got a feeling, I think he needs a nap. But I don't really, I don't really follow all that as an Australian, I don't, I'm not like invested in it too much, but it is concerning. It's, yeah, it's, like, if I was, if I was an American citizen, I would be more inclined to vote for Biden, but even then, it's like, not, would rather not, hey, how do they, how do they keep him propped up all day? <laughs> Hey ants. Oh, just surface level stuff. I I don't I don't get into politics like at all. I think it's all just a whole I think it's just a whole pile of garbage. It's all just a bunch of smoke and mirrors bullshit. It's all like it's just even like even Australia, it just pisses me off. It doesn't I just feel like it never really matters. There's always there's always a catch. I feel like we're just doomed and I don't really feel like we get a choice, but yeah. I'm not I'm not very well versed in anything to do with politics because I'm I don't I'm not interested and I'm also not smart enough to comprehend it, so. But how you doing? Oh, the NPC? Just keeping it real?
Hey, Hughes. Oh, hey, Zoe. How you doing? Good. Be aware there's some idiots in town right now. What are they doing? Same menaces in general. You all um, right? I'm fine. Um, Harkness has been watching them. They're oh, just, good. just being menaces. They haven't done anything too crazy yet. They're like, you know, just being incredibly annoying, but it usually escalates eventually. Yeah, you can, you can pick them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one of them did have that shiny green belt, so... Yeah, that that always... Uh, <laughs> Dead giveaway. That's always a red flag. Is this one of them? Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, I'm watching you. Um, there's a couple of chubby ones that were just racing around on wagons. One with a green belt and that one, I think. One of them's been on a donkey half the time. Right. And then, you know, they've got the obviously stolen for wagon horses and local horses. Uh-huh. Oh. But yeah, Harkness has been keeping an eye on the whole thing. Oh, good. Where's, yeah. your, where's your twin? I don't know. What, you I losing? I just got here. No, I just got here, like, I don't know, five or so minutes ago. I've been watching these guys. I'm sure Terrence can track me. He usually does. Oh, good on him. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to just passing through, just seeing what's going on. Oh, you're you're on holidays or something, right? <laughs> Not really. I, oh. I was taking a bit of a break, but then it turned into running security for the doctors for the last oh. week. <laughs> it's so different, but same. But it, different. it is. It's Yeah, no, it's, a, it's different, but it is very much the same, so. But that's very good. The doctors need that, so. That's right. And, uh, you know, it, I'm happy to see my Lulu looked after. Louisa? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I've done a bit of escorting her as well, so she's Good. been a, she's been all fine on my watch. That one is probably about the purest soul I've ever met. I, I'd be inclined to agree with you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to head in the tailor, but enjoy. Yeah, enjoy your <laughs> night. Stay safe, okay? <laughs> Bye. Don't keep me. Happy 420 East Coast Canada. 420 blows it. Oh, it's locked. Oh no. Out of honor. How's it going, brother? Oh, it's good. Uh, how's Valentine treating you tonight? Yeah, not too bad. Just trying to hey. make my way. Oh, yeah, no worries, partner. Howdy, Jack. Hey, howdy. Here, there's some troublemakers in town. Yeah, there's been a couple, but they've left for now. Oh, good. Which one of you could uh, tell me, what's the better rifle to get to take down bigger game? Um, yeah, I'm just starting out, something like a Springfield will do you. Springfield? Yeah, I've heard good things about that. I, I use a bolt action myself, but I don't think it's the best. Yeah, I'm trying to take down something like elk and stuff like that. Yeah, probably a, a Springfield or a bolt action. Springfield, let's even have a, have a look. Cheers for that, brother. Oh, there's William. Oh, there's William. Oh. Hey, William. Oh. Nah, all right, he didn't see me or hear me. All right. Rip.
still stuck in my head. The Wii Fit theme stuck in your head. I don't know if I've... I don't recall if I've heard that one. I... Have I heard that? I never had the Wii. I had the Wii U. Because I wanted to play the... When they had that new Star Fox game and... A bunch of other stuff. But I never had the Wii. But I, sometimes, <laughs> I certainly didn't have the Wii, Wii Fit. <laughs> Schneitz! Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Can I get the sheet music, please? <laughs> oh! Dear George, I'm currently in Blackwood, but I can't find you. When did you become the candy zone? Oh dear. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, uh, shit. Um. That'd be right. When I leave, that's when she gets there. Um, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Hide and seek time. That was... What time was that? I don't know the time. Um, Miss Wheeler. I recently arrived... In Valentine, I will see to heading back to Blackwater by Strawberry. If you happen to receive this telegram in time, kind regards, George Hughes. Mail delivered. Does does sending mail actually cost anything now? I've actually I haven't paid attention. It used to cost money. But I don't think it costs anything now. I went from death metal to cheesy garbage pop music to we <laughs> Hell yeah, variety. Variety is the spice of life. You know how to say oh god no i my french only goes as far as bonjour bonsoir salut ça va ça va très bien au revoir like it's it's just it's just the, the most basic shit i absolutely sucked at french in high school It's not her there, is it? Oh, yeah. No. That doesn't look like a Cynthia Wheeler outfit. French is a joke of a language. Sincerely, a French Canadian. I just... I didn't care for... I didn't care for learning French in high school. I was like, I just don't... Like, I had enough trouble with everything else. I was like, the last thing I wanted to be doing was learning a language that I never intend on using. Like, I... Like, I would go to France... But I, I've never been like, gotta go to France, man. Gotta go. Like, I don't care. I would have I would have rather learned German in high school. And they also got us to try Japanese, but I sucked at that as well. 
again, I was like, I just... Oh. I did not care for... Oh, there's Terrence. I did not care... I was like, I was like, I don't, I never saw myself going to Japan or anything. And then like, I, I don't, I never like anime that much. Finnish is an awesome language, but it does look like, there, there's so many, like the words are so wild and long. Like, it's like, it'd be such a cool language to know. See, I'd be more inclined to go to Finland than France or Japan. Ooh, going for the food. I don't blame you, sausage. That'd be, that'd be good. Again, I would go to Japan if the opportunity arose, but it's just, I... Like, I really like Japanese people. And that. I just, I just, I don't think I would go out of my way to go. Oh, that'd be good, Ants. But even when I, there was a, there was a time at uni when I was, Considering doing uh, German as my minor or electives or something, and I did like one class, and I, I, while I had more of an interest in learning it, I still I find it really hard to to learn a new language. I think I struggled enough with English. I can even recognize at my age that my uh, my English vocabulary is not that ex it's ex it's not very extensive. I'm an extremely basic speaker and writer. I I just I can I just am not I just don't have the means to remember all these different words. Very basic. <laughs> This is tricky. So I sent a telegram saying I'm heading back to Blackwater by a strawberry, so she might still be in Blackwater, or we'll come along the maid road and we'll run into each other, so what do they call it? We're playing like Telegram Tennis. Exciting. Tom Loy, holy! A 30 times George combo. A 30 stream streak. Damn, man. Thank you, dude. There you go, man. 30. I think Hammer's up to like 50. So you've got some catching up to do, but I, it's, I appreciate it all the same. <laughs> George? Huh? 
can't get enough of that wonderful stuff. Oh, you're too kind. Flattery will get you anywhere. So, okay, so if you hit the 50 street, I have to wear the dinger hat for a night. All right. Deal. Deal. You heard it here, you heard it here folks. Proof is in the pudding. If Tom Loy, in the future, <laughs> turning on go live notifications on as we speak. Now I've got to do like, now I've got to do some random streams at really odd times just to catch you out. Like quickly go live for an hour with like Deep Rock Galactic or something at like 3 a.m. Just to try and shake you off the off the street. My game died. Oh no! You won't catch me out. I was there when you conquered Africa at 2 p.m. on a Sunday. Oh, when I was doing my Iron Brigade speedruns. That's right. <laughs> You're right, you were there. You were indeed. The world spoke to me so clearly Every time I asked its name But I know now and I know dearly This world is not the same Though you came to rescue me Still I died in Saint Denis I left it all behind once Built me a home of friends I watched you tear it down once And you tore it down again But still I built that home to capture souls And they lived there on its walls Though this last time that you tore it down Was the first time it would fall So you came to rescue me I died in Saint Denis Deer, deers make the weirdest noises. Like, it does not, like, that is not what I anticipated deers sounding like. And, like, I am, I am so overhearing deer noises after Valheim. You just be, like, chilling in your base and you hear all the deers nearby, like, literally choking on air. It's like, shut up! <laughs> Piss off! Get out of here. Go bother someone else with your stupid noises. Bambi, get out of here. Hey, why do I have more money now? 
I had 23 cents and now I have a dollar 55. How does that work? How did I gain money? I think it's I think it's just gonna be a bit of telegram tennis all night. Oh, do I need to put my microphone back on? Or I guess I'll go fuck myself. You all right? Yeah, all good. Sound like you're. Oh. No, no dramas. Not yet. No, it's good for what? I just thought you might have been saying hello, and I might have been ignoring you. What's on? Ah, the light of the gun on her back. We just asked take off. Oh, no answer. Nah, I completely ignored him. Oh, sorry to hear that. I've just been having a frog in my throat and he is every now and again. Yeah, it's a pain, that. Oh, yeah. uh, you haven't seen any doctors come through just now, have you? Ah, uh, not from here. Oh. Yeah, was... Last one I saw the doctors was Valentine. Oh, really? Oh, I just came from there, damn it. Oh, I'll keep looking. Uh, you, remember, uh, you, you good for that meeting later? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, good, good. I'll see you there if I don't see you before. I'll see you there. Oh, good. Stay safe. You too, see fellas. You That's right, because, yeah, William was in... Valentine. I didn't get a, I didn't grab a hold of him. Um... Telegram tennis sucks. Like, do I just wait here? Do I go somewhere? I suppose that's just how... How, how it was back then. What else can you do? Maybe I'll do a, um, um, a boat mission. They mean to try some more of them. Ah, oh, no, Battle Tank, because I'm trying to reach a, trying to reach a doctor. I don't think. Yeah, because we can just call other departments. Law departments. Start a prediction, will boats be cooked? No, the real prediction will be, will I be the... Will I be the one that cooks one? Uh, where do you... Where do you start them? Here? No. Over there? This is just for the Cisco boats. Why is this flag here? Got it. It's been there as long as I can remember. Why is it there? Delivery job. Oh, now is this one where they've got the troublemakers? Yes. Oh.
Oh, okay, it's not available. Rip. Oh well. Good morning. What the fuck? What was that? What the fuck is that? Whoa, what is... Oh. That's it. Add it. So you got a bit of trouble there with something that you can't see. <laughs> there's some... There's something really weird about these creaking planks. Oh, yeah. That's some video magic bullshit, I swear to God. Get, get yeah, see, see, as soon as I said that, storms. Oh. Oh my, yeah, what a storm. Yeah. Just, I thought I'd quickly do a delivery job just to, I mean, mean to try the one out here. It's just nothing. For the uh, boats? Or? Yeah. Yeah, some could have uh, ruined it for everyone. Freaking blank storm, that is a bad omen if I ever did see one. Oh, 100%. As soon as I bring up Voodoo Magic, it just seems to be popular. These doctors, they're, they're eluding me tonight. <laughs> Usually it's take one step out the door and there's a handful of doctors, but tonight it's hard to see. Yeah, it's, uh, lately it's been all Valentine, so, like, it's just constant oh. death in Valentine. Yeah, I, I went up there before. I popped my, popped my head in and Zoe Kane immediately telling me there's people with green belts and boots and not patrol. Oh, I mean, God. nah, really? Really? Um, we're also going to have to have a word with the locals of Valentine. They're, they're, they're just bringing in too much uh, vigi vigilantism into the, uh, the town, so... It, it is. I, like, I understand they're, look, they're looking out for, out for each other, but it, there's a point where it gets a bit ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I agree with you. I think your yeah, words will be... Just a gentle reminder that martial law could come back. <laughs> I feel like it might, because the way it's going in Valentine... It's uh, getting pretty wild out there. God. I don't. The amount of bath I've had up there. It's not ideal. Every time you pull over, you got to have another bath. A lot of it's, I, I take one step off my horse, and then another horse will just barrel me over. It's like, I just, <laughs> yeah, I just got here. Yeah, last night I uh, threatened three people with fines because they come in with a cart and just leave it right in the middle of the road and then go in and do their business. I'm like, you do it again, you're fine. Like, it's, uh, unfortunately, you, it's only a $10 fine. As you should, because that, that's, there's pretty much two streets through Valentine. You block one, the whole intersection gets flooded. Oh, yeah. It's just, and they, it's the locals consider. don't like that. They get pretty antsy and they no. try and push their way around. And then everyone's in the mud, everyone's getting sick, and then we got another outbreak of pig flu or horse flu or something. Whatever the next flu will be. <laughs> God, it, it better not be one to do with birds or else we're done for. There's no, there's no seagulls in Valentine, right? Not that I don't. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty, like, I can barely hear anyone talk, it's so loud. Yeah, I'm, I'm having to really focus. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I'm trying to block out the, the pit of <laughs> Yeah, I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it while Walter does and start shouting, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, fellas. I was meaning to tell you if I, found, if I ran into any of this tonight. I quickly popped into the Blackwood department earlier today because someone, while I was in St. Denis the other night, slipped me a, a, a Death Star or something, some kind of drug. And a yep. marked bill. And, uh, it was a big group of people uh, <laughs> out out by the, uh, the saloon. And so I went yep. to pop it in the evidence locker there. And uh, I was quickly just going to do that. A fella runs in, white cloak, gun, uh, wearing like fuck? a goat's mask. Oh, uh, the goat yeah. man. We've had multiple reports for him. He robbed Zoe, sir. You kid. Took a car car. Ranger. Well, oh, I know that's a different goat man. Oh, I, different guy, man? I turned, two around, guy. I turned around and said, what, who the hell are you? And they just ran out. Nothing happens, but... Gave what me a fright. Uh, demonic. 
Oh, is that the one we sent to Cisco last time? Yeah, it's too COVID. No. He's a demon, actually. But then That's I was having trouble with my voice and stuff, so I don't know. I don't think they heard me, and I don't think I heard them, and vice versa. But... Yeah, there were some issues with uh, voices yesterday. I don't know That's what it is with this county. It's, it's some some moments I get really worried. Yes. <laughs> Might be the start yeah, of a new flu. I well, possibly, possibly, might be the first symptom that can't speak or hear. Oh, God, that's true. <laughs> no, no one can hear you crying for help. <laughs> exactly right. Oh, so Mr. Wolf, howdy. Howdy, Potter. How are you, gentlemen? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, good, sir. How are you? Um, you coming to the meeting tonight, George? Yeah, yeah, they dragged me out of it. <laughs> I'll come and see what the hell kind of progress has been made. Yeah, George is, uh, sorry, the governor has invited myself, um, so I'll be there. All right, I'll, I'll, I will do Ooh, the best, Cynthia. my best not to be late. Oh, there's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, they're finally, you finally found one. Oh, I can hear people. Awesome. Like, this storm has stopped. I don't think this banana did me any favors just now. No, I don't. I don't believe they hold too much nutritional value, even though it should be quite healthy for you. Adam and Cynthia. Howdy. Howdy. Just gave you some deviled eggs there, sir. Yeah, these those. bananas ain't doing nothing. Just try that deviled egg. They're delicious. No. The hell's going on with these bananas? Someone gave them to me recently saying these will really... You over, but they ain't they said that they said they would help you in the cold to stay warm. That's right. Who was that? I think it was Dinger, maybe. Oh, standard Dinger. Dinger's full of shit. <laughs> also, is Dinger. God and there's Dotty. Oh, Isn't Joy. That Dotty. Oh, she's wearing her PA uniform, is she? Yeah. <laughs> so that means the governor's almost around. Yeah. What time is the meeting? Is it in? Uh, is it in? 8.30. Okay. Another hour and X amount of minutes. Yeah. Speaking of, Miss Wheeler, what are you doing for the next hour or so? Uh, hopefully not having to say, stitch up anyone else's wounds if you wanted to get that hunting trip, but our hunting trip might take more than an hour, so I don't know how cut close you want to cut. Yeah, by the time we get up there, like, considering the travel time, it might, it might be a bit, uh, tricky. It might be cutting a bit close for your big important meeting, so. That's all right, another yes. time. Doctors are, should be concerned. There's more new people. Oh well, yeah. I just picked one of them up in Thieves Landing because he had a gunshot wound after being ambushed by bandits. So, a lot of lot of new folk getting a lot of county education from me. Yes, they are. And then uh, last night, oh my goodness, the amount of mass gunshots in, in Valentine. Oh yeah. God to deal with a group. My, I got a hand cramp from that much stiff. Uh, listen to this, uh, uh, George. Uh, uh, so, three gentlemen walked over and had a chat with me and asked about, there is a bounty in this town. I was like, who? Said John Hickey. His bounty was cleared from our system due to an administrative error over at the, uh, uh, Siska. Uh -huh. uh, they kept him for too long. Like, I mean, 11 day, uh, five days too long. That well. Yeah. And I dealt with that, got rid of it, because, you know, it's in his right. You know, he got helped by, uh, the federal government to, uh, to get out of there. And, um... So I removed his wanted board because he d I don't believe for, for serving 11 days of a six-day sentence, uh, I don't think he deserves to be in there, uh, be, have a bounty against his head. Definitely not. Um, and the East hasn't removed it, which is fair enough. They, they mustn't know. I might have to inform them. Um, and they came and said, we're going to go grab him. Like, oh, that's an East issue. Um, so don't do it in my jurisdiction. Two minutes later, they've got Mars out holding up the Hickey boys in the middle of Valentine. And I'm like, so we just walk over there with guns out and we say, what are you doing? And we Not to mention Selager got involved somehow yeah. pointing guns at people. What the fuck? Yeah. And then a, sh a shootout, uh, shootout happened and we, and we dropped them all. No one, no one really got hurt. So um, I just don't understand what the, the, was I hard to understand when I said don't do it in the West. Yeah, it's something I don't listen. How do you look? Howdy, 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 howdy boss. Actually, I'm, I'm going to bear it back. I'm just going to have a chat with the boys. Yeah, George, can I borrow you for a minute? Something more press, and you, you can have your boys back in a minute. Yeah, yeah, I was actually looking for doctors, so no problem. Oh, you, what happened to you? Hey? Are, are you injured or something? No, what? Why? 
Oh no, you just said you were looking for doctors. <laughs> oh no, just to... Like, uh, yeah, if, if the hunting trip didn't suit, I was just gonna do some more doctor security night so if it suited. Until the meeting. Look, I got a really strange telegram from Jeb, and I'm really worried about... Jeb? Why, what'd you yeah. say? Jeb. Look, I ain't much of a head doctor, but I think that uh, he's going through something like a crisis, like really bad, like maybe like going crazy. He said, I tried to talk to God again, Miss Cynthia, but nothing happened. I even begged him, but my mind keeps playing tricks on me. And then he ends it with, no, I won't tell her like he's talking to people, but he's not. And when did you get this? I got this uh, today. Like... Like, early this morning? Do you think he's over in St. Denis now? I have no idea, but this is the sort of thing that I would medicate somebody for. Yeah. Now, has he been... This is he like was ordered to, to take some leave, wasn't he? And he didn't, though, because I pulled a bullet out of his back the other day. That boy, he, yeah, he needs to... He needs to take that leave. Yeah, and I need to probably find Schuber as well and tell him, because they're very close, and obviously Schuber's a better doctor than I am. Maybe he can help, but uh, yeah, I, I got this after my my telegram number was in the in the newspaper. So that is very concerning. Very concerning. So if you see him before I do, try and talk to him, but he might be a bit unstable. Yeah. Yeah, I got that kind. I got I sort of got that impression when I talked spoke to him in Saint Denis, but yeah, he was just so fixated on you know going to find Lily or something, so I just sort of brushed it off, but that is... that is not good. Is he invited to this big meeting? I don't know what the guest list is like, so... I'm not entirely sure. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Because, uh, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know what Jeb's rank is amongst everything. Yeah, look, the East... The East confuses me sometimes with how it operates. Mm-hmm. You and me both. Well, looks like Shuba's responding to something in the mountains. I might try and catch him. You want to... Someone watching your back? Or you're good? Of course. Gonna need guns. Lots of guns. Have you checked your... Uh, Persephone's hooves recently? Uh, I had him replace yesterday. Oh, fantastic. See you later, partner! Yo, MT. Uh, maybe... Well, there's a Lord meeting tonight. So, um... Let's just check if Joseph is still here. There's a Lord meeting tonight, so... Might be back on duty... Soon. Just gonna... Just seeing what... The meeting will entail. I'm sorry to cut your chat with your boys there quite short, but ah, I, no, that we telegram just, had me worried. We were just, uh, it was nothing super serious. Alright. How you doing anyway, Miss? Really better than the other day? Oh, much better. Yeah, much better. Excellent. Even yesterday, I was vastly improved. I think I just needed to sleep on it a little bit more. Mm, yeah, that does. It's always a wonder how much that helps. Mm -hmm. I'm not angry anymore. Good. Excellent well, to hear. I'm usually filled with spot, which I probably still am, but I'm not angry. That's good, I think. Yeah. And there was a uh, quite a lot of shootings yesterday in Valentine, so I got really distracted from my troubles. Well, I'm sorry to hear people were getting shot, but it's yeah, it's good to keep your mind occupied. That. That mm -hmm. helps too long to sleep. There was at one point, I think there was eight doctors in Valentine working together, which was pretty nice. Eight hey, doctors? When was this yesterday? That was yesterday. We got a lot of us. It was like Raven, Louisa, William. Oh, he had two bodyguards, actually. And then myself and Joseph and Schubert and Dolores. And then Yuri ended up here as well. Oh, and Yuri! Mm-hmm, it was a big team. Sometimes I forget he's a, a doctor. 
Yeah, sometimes I do as well. Until one day he picks me up off the pavement again and I'm like, oh, alright, I forgot. <laughs> Is Tiffany okay? Yeah, she's still a baby. She's training. Oh, she's cool, a, we're, cool. we're almost fully bonded now, but she needs her breathe. Yo, Rando. George in a dinger hat. It should be, uh, should be, um, should be a good time. But that's if, that's if you can, uh, see if you can keep up. Not a fan, are you, John? Oh, you'll be happy to know as well. I forgot, I don't know if I told you, but I did get a pump shotgun, so I now can take down bears if they attack you quite easy. Mm. And then the, the key thing to remember is uh, pulling the trigger before the, uh, the target reaches you. That's right. Yep, that is important. I did get, actually, you know what? I did get bitten by a cougar and then some wolves in very record time yesterday. I ended up having to stitch myself up on the side of the road and couldn't get to my patient. Cornbread, they, do, cornbread got me. Do they train you for when you become the patient? Uh, no, I can't say that I got trained for that. It was it was hard stitching with my head on an angle, trying to look down at myself and taking shoots, the shots of vodka uh, to numb the pain. Now I did I did a janky stitch on myself and I had to get it fixed up later by someone else. Yeah, I can't imagine that'd be too comfortable. It was it was not it was really not so William had to come and pick me up and give me morphine and then I sent him on his way to the patient turns out the patient who was all the way in tumbleweed that I was trying to get to was another doctor anyway so we're just having a grand old time all getting very very seriously injured so you said you mentioned Shuba's up here up in the mountains That's right. doing what he, there's a case up here somebody called for help oh and I, I got the carrier pigeon that he's up here. Should be up over here, right? Yo, Hans, how you doing, mans. man? Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, and, and she's gone. All right, yeah, I think he might be up top. Right. Oh, what are you doing here? I can't find the patient, but someone's on top of the cliff there. He's up there with his hands up. Remember which direction that he fell? I don't know where he is, but but I need but I uh, but I hurt my knee because I also fell a little bit, but I I don't know where he is now. All right, let us see if we can find and rescue your brother, and then I'll treat your knee, okay? You just yeah, sit yeah, there yeah. and re you rest. Who? What? How? What? Hey! Mm, of course. I feel like he might have fallen here somewhere. Yep, that'll do it. I can't see anyone. 
Oh, Jesus. Where the hell could, where the hell could this guy even be? How are you, George? Yeah, just confused as to where the hell this fell is, you see? Well, I'm feeling about the same, actually. You know, this has happened around here before. The same fellas or different people? I don't know if it was the same fellas, but by the time we got here, we weren't able to find anyone. There's a horse up there. I came past that horse. I came past that horse on my way down. Maybe I didn't see anything. I'll just check over here. Hello, anybody here? This is Mountain Rescue. Where the fuck are ya? Oh, this is the... Oh. This is the way I came down on my horse. Oh, I've been hearing bears. Oh no, no more bears. With the sun going down there goes even more ch what chances we had left of finding this other guy. Well, I got some sun in my hands right here. <laughs> sun in his hands. Unfortunately, no rando. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Are you found my brother? We've not been able to find anyone. I mean, his horse is up there. I came past that horse on my way down. Maybe he fell down oh. the other side? I don't know, I don't know. But I cannot find him. That's the last horse. And my knee hurts. Can somebody help me, please? Oh, I offered to help you. You kept on yelling at me to find your brother. If you're working, working about, you should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. But I need some... I need some doctor for this knee. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You got, you see that too? I saw it. Saint Danny, I'm hoping someone's over there to deal with that one since somebody was in Caliga Hall a minute ago. Dolores is over that way. She just came into Blackwater. I saw her get off the ferry. Off the ferry? Mm-hmm. Bit ritzy, isn't it? Very. I can't remember the last time I took the ferry. This one There's might be a bust, sir. You're gonna have to find your brother when the local medics pick him up from wherever he's been taken to. Okay. Okay. okay, we, okay. we have tried our best. I think. Can you get him to Valentine? Why do I right hear now? hooves? I hear hooves. Y'all hear hooves? Had a, a little bit of summer. I'm hearing a horse. That's what I heard. Please, can I have some medic on this knee? Alright, I'm gonna pass you a bandage, alright? Yeah, thank you. Well, hold on a second. That's here. And might be the same person. So can you tell me your train ticket number for the... 
Oh, fifth to six. Thank you. Did you put out that pan? I did. We are close by. We're quite close. Yep. That was much better. I'm gonna go up that mountain again if I need to find my brother. Come on, I George. Hope you, I hope you find him. Sorry we couldn't spot him or anything. Oh shit, there he is. Yeah. You can't find him ah. either. Yep. Alright. Alright, who's taking the snake bite in St. Denis? I don't know. You need to I, I can take it, but I need a word with you, Shuba, when I can. I'll come with you. Uh, can okay. you take Mount right. Shan, Joseph? I'll take Mount Shan. Alright, let's get going. Fixing myself to get off this mountain properly. Hey, can I go up again? Can I go up the mountain and try and see if I can find him? I mean, you can follow that gentleman who just went up the mountain. He's looking for him. Okay, thank you. Try not to fall. Again. The thing is too far gone. Take the leg. Chop, chop. Who you got on the back of your horse today? Is that this Hughes? is Mr. Hughes. At it. Ah, hey. Hey, Mr. Hughes, you think you can put out a pin on my behalf that we're on our way to St. Denny for the snake bot? We're just on the way to the, Saint, the snake bot, is enough. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a pin in my life. Just gotta think you slash pin. So Doc is on route to St. Denny? <laughs> or just snake bot. I got it. That works. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done one of those. It's, oh, fuck! God I'll damn. I'll take it. All I'll right. take it. We'll meet up at some point. <laughs> God damn it. This is why doctors should never go up in the mountains. Some of us always fall down. <laughs> I'll be I'll be very unhappy if we get another uh mark saying that Schubert's also falling off the mountain. Oh god. Look, it's like lemmings. The other day I fell off a cliff, I uh, slid down a cliff and into the water, uh, onto the edge of the water, and then suddenly three other medics were in the water and I had to see the light. Oh my god. <laughs> it was like, you know those little creatures, lemons? I think so. Lemons, yeah. So if, they, if one of them goes off the edge, the rest of them fall it. You don't hunt, do you? No, god no, they're too small. Oh, oh my god. Now, he did say a white snake. I think I do have the antidote. Wait, there's different antidotes? Oh, yes. We like it when people can identify what snake they've got. It really narrows it down. I didn't. I so, thought it was just a one generic antidote for all the snakes. Not meant to be. Sometimes there's a lot of different antivenoms in one vial, though. But uh, it's very helpful if a snake ever bites you, if you can kill it and bring it in with you. It helps us a lot. Glad I know that now before I get bitten. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Joseph almost got bitten by a black rattlesnake earlier. Oh, yeah. And I almost got bitten by a red one yesterday. So it's oh. quite a lot of different kind. Would you rather fight a snake or a bear? Oh, a bear. Absolutely a bear. I can see the bear coming. <laughs> but only Persephone knows when the snakes are on their way. 
very grateful the horse has been able to pick up on that. Don't you worry, I'll get you to your meeting around 8 o'clock, so you have plenty of time. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm sure that'll creep up on us before you know it. It will. You know how these things go. When you're busy being a doctor, you fly across the county and suddenly three hours have passed. No, I, I can't believe the... Like, I knew you did a lot of work, but... Oh, are you saying you appreciate us a lot more now? Yes, definitely. So yesterday with that bank situation or the bounty situation we're talking about in Valentine, and you have been telling you that Mr. Seliger thinks I'm too reckless and dangerous and all this nonsense. Mm -hmm. That man had a shotgun pointed at somebody's head whilst the law were behind him handling the situation. Oh. And he was maybe the barrel to that person's head. He was that close. Oh, right. And then he tried to turn it back on me saying that he's learning bad behaviors from me. When the hell have I ever done something like that? I don't recall anything quite like that. God, no. I would never do that. That's dumb. Anyway, I did take the opportunity to give him a piece of my mind, but I think Dolores already has given everyone a piece of her mind about it. She was very upset. She witnessed it. Dolores and she overwatched him do that. How has Dolores been? Has she been a bit better? She's She's, she's fine. She's as stoic and, uh, you know, strong as ever, I guess. I've never had much face time with her myself, so. I, you know, I have had more one-on-one -on -one time with Shuba than anyone else. Shuba seems like a good fella. He's great. He's, uh, just needed to talk to him about Jeb. He, he's close to Jeb, he says... They're, uh, they're, they're family, apparently. Oh. That does worry me about Jeb. I, I, I figured he'd, you know, take that time off. He'd, you know, spend some time with Miss Lily and just get back on mm -hmm. track. But if he's you know, it's sending just out telegrams like that. Those sort of symptoms sometimes leads to people hurting others. Yeah. They, they can have a... A break in their mind, and then suddenly they're seeing the devil in somebody else's face. And we can medicate him, we can sort of sedate him, but I need to get, find him first. I would hate for him to flush his whole career down the drain because, uh, because of something like this. Yeah. Well, if he's. I'd, I'd be more worried if he was not sending out telegrams about that stuff. Because if he closed himself off, I'd be more worried. Mm -hmm. Now, if I, if I run into him before you do, do you want me to send him to you or try and have a chat with send him? Send him to me. Tell him that he has to come and see me or Shuba. Okay. And hopefully by then I'll have the chance to talk to Shuba as well. I, I did pack a few uh, medications on me today that would sedate someone like him if I need to. You thought of everything. Oh, I am always prepared. Have you seen how many pockets my bandolier has? True. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I got leeches in one of them. Le what the hell are leeches for? You ever heard of bloodletting? No. If somebody's sick, sometimes the way that we treat them is we, we, get, we can cut them open and drain blood out of them. Sometimes it's diseases of the blood. Now, leeches are kind of the old school way of doing that. It, it's a bit of an ancient technique, and I don't really like using them, but I know Joseph has used them a few times. But my preference for bloodletting is to put a syringe in someone's arm and then just take the blood out. Yeah, I, I think I don't really like, like it at all, but I think I'd rather that than a leech. Mm -hmm. The leech is good because they, uh, they go after the, the dead blood. Dead blood? What? Yeah, no, it gets complicated, trust me. And there's definitely some things we still don't know about uh, about the human 
the human body, I guess. It is 1900, and as much as our medicine is far advanced of what it used to be, I'm sure there's a lot more to learn. Oh my god. You know, they're, they're testing the technology in the silence right now, where if somebody's going crazy, they shock them. What well, like? Like electricity? They, they, like electricity. They put it either side of their heads and they shock them. Well, that don't sound like a good time at all. And they call it electroshock therapy. I heard about it being used in some of the asylums. And that can have a positive effect? Apparently. I don't think I don't know how I don't quite understand the science behind it and sometimes I think they just make things up surely that if that I just I'm having a hard it, time believing that's true if, if somebody gets struck by lightning you know that's typically a bad thing why would we do it on purpose and then how can you control someone like that I feel like even if they could get it lucky with it how can you how can you be how, yeah how can you be so specific not to cause harm like just asking for trouble. I don't know. Maybe there's just a lot that I don't quite understand and maybe it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Especially when it comes to diseases of the mind. There's not a lot we know. It's all one for being able to pull bullets out of people and everything and treating stuff with bloodletting, but other stuff we don't get. I don't get how you can be trained to deal with stuff like that. Like, you can't even see mm -hmm. it. Can't see it. It's like fighting God himself. Jeez. Good luck with that. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be my speciality. I think I'm going to be sticking with, uh, you know, muscles and pulling bullets out of people and all the emergency medicine that I can't. Although I have put an advertisement in the newspaper trying to get more family medicine skills under my belt. Oh. That's, uh, we call family medicine anything that's really non-emergent and it's more in the community and they call me to their house to treat their ailments or get their stitches removed and things like that. Stuff that they don't have to call for help for. I imagine that would be a nice change of pace. Less urgency, less stress. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was, hope I was hoping for that, but... So far, I've only gotten two telegrams since putting my telegram number in the paper, and both of them have been unrelated. Unrelated? Well, the one was from Jeb, and then somebody sent me an anonymous admirer's letter. Oh! <laughs> I will read it to you, but I have no idea who it's from. But a few of the other girls say they got similar ones, actually. On the same day? On the same day. Huh. Let's see, they're still here. Howdy, any snake five that comes here. Well, I'm it. coming around. Uh, ding it, ding it. Did you get bitten by a snake? Ah, uh, no. Someone got bit by a snake. Anybody? Now. Hello. No, I've just been digging through bins. Hi, ah, did you get bitten by a snake? Why is he digging through bins? Howdy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? Did you get bitten by a snake? No, I did not. I had a call for a snake bot. Now you're in our office. Hop out of here. You ain't a doctor, right? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm crafting. I'm the crafter. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you without your other outfit on. No, you're right. Oh, my goodness. My apologies, sir. I'll leave you be. I, heard, I had a call for a snake bot. But I think Hello there, ma'am. It was me. It seems to have oh. gone away. Oh, is that you, little Billy? It's me. Oh, well, I hope you've been behaving yourself. Now, yeah, the snake bite, sometimes if the snake uh, species ain't that venomous, it will alleviate. But uh, if you uh, you, know, you need it again, you can buy antidote over the counter as well. I know. Thank you for that. Where do you get that from? Just from here? Just in the pharmacy. you got to go outside and you got to take the right here. And Jeb, is that you? That that ain't Jeb. Sorry. My apologies. I thought you were a friend I'm looking for, and I'm seeing his face everywhere. Sorry, yeah, the that's, pharmacy's that's, over here. That's Buster. He helped a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, you can buy the things over here, I believe, right here. Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. Uh, would a little bit of shine on the wound uh, seem to sort that out in future, too? Uh, moonshine on the wound? Yeah, not, moonshine. Not typically for a, a snake bite. Typically, you would want to use something like a tourniquet to stop it from spreading as you're treating it. You know, if you get bitten on the on the shin, you want to tie a tourniquet on your thigh and then tighten it so the the blood, the bad blood can't get to your head and oh, kill you. I understand. You. I'm trying to stay away from all the troubled animals, buddy cougars mm -hmm. and now snake. No, I know. I treated you the other day. I am we're very well aware. Now, let me just, I got to check my paperwork. I'm getting lots of nonsense. Well, I appreciate your help, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Well, I guess the main thing is that everyone's okay. Looks like that other call hasn't been sorted yet, but... Oh. They're maybe still working on it. Uh, it's fine. I think I scared the devil out of that fella in there crafting, and I think I scared the devil out of the fella out of there that I thought was Jib. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what do you mean the snake? So we got bit by a snake and it just went away. Uh, apparently. I mean, it's rare, but I could have. Lucky fella. Oh, well now, now he knows where to get into though, right? That's right. Yeah, I did treat them yesterday in Utah County. Oh, good. Well, there we go. There's a positive. Uh, you know, no, we might run into Jeb. I can hope. May as well do a little trot around town, see if we can find him. Yeah. Everyone taking a knee. What a start to the day. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't get too crazy. The night is still young. Well, don't say that. We got about oh. half an hour before we at least have to be starting to head to Blackboard. Oh, my bad. My mistake. I forgot Do about not the bad infer word. that anything is the, that word at all. Yeah. It's just, look, it's, it's very busy. And that is good to admit. Right? It has to work in the opposite direction. How are you feeling about your meeting? Are you nervous? A little. I, just, I feel like it's going to be a really long meeting. It might be hard to yep. retain all the information. Well, you got a notepad and a pen. Do you want to borrow mine? Uh, I should have one lying around. It's just... I think it might be a big one. But it should be good. Hopefully, hopefully it's finally some progress, mate. I hope so. Doctor's coming through. Uh Howdy. Jesus. Howdy. Hey, hey y'all seen Jebediah Cross today at all? Who? Uh, Jeb the Jeb the East Law. He's not on duty no. if that helps. Well, that does kind of help. Uh, that's good news, I guess. Now, if you see him, can you tell him to come and talk to me? All right. Any of you need a house? Oh, I wish I could afford a house, sir, but I'm a doctor. I do not make much money. Oh, George, come on now. George is probably good enough for a house. No. But so he's in the West. How much is the odd house? Um... The cheapest house that we have for sale at the moment is six and a half thousand dollars. Nope. Uh, nope. Cheapest I do not chips. have that. I have two hundred dollars to my name, and I'm lucky to have even that much. Two hundred. Um, wow. Yep. How much do you have, George? That's none of your business. Sounds like you can afford the house, Richard. I cannot mm -hmm. afford that. I cannot George, afford that. George, I didn't know you were so wealthy. I can't afford that. George, you're Passing so rich. Passing the papers. Passing the papers. No, we better you head George off. George donates to charity. 
George, I, you donate to charity? Do That's I? very nice of you. Yeah, yeah, he he helped out the orphanage here in Sanctum Me. Do I? George? Yeah, all the coke, coke, you know, all those children are addicted to coke, dude. Um, yeah. What? I didn't know you were such a philanthropist. Yeah, the it children gets, are addicted uh... to coke because of the mayor. He actually donates his whole paycheck to them because he doesn't need them. Well, that the explains why I've been buying him cigarettes. Oh, George. This is all news to me. George, I didn't know you were so wealthy and you're such a philanthropist. I see. And handsome. But I guess you could see that. I did not know that. <laughs> wow. What? Bye, this is why I don't come to St. Denis. What the hell? Don't worry, I know that you have no money. I have some money, I just don't have that much money. Mm hmm. I haven't made a decent day's wage in like a week. Oh, yeah, I need to pay you for these few hours. Oh, it's no rush. <sighs> oh, sorry, just checking to carry up it. Man, I need to check my carrier pigeon off the horse. Oh god, another one. <laughs> I'm, he's, he's not Rando, he's not. I think I... I maybe have a thousand dollars in the bank if that but that that is it it is definitely not more than that we have a mystery call oh no Ah, mysteries. They are the worst thing for a dog. Well, good thing I'm here. It's by the little river. And it could very well be in a... I'll be ready. At least we're headed back that way anyway for the meeting, so... Good thing. So, the reason you're nervous about the meeting is because it could take a long time? No, I mean, it's just, I mean, just, I guess I'm just thinking, I don't know what it could all entail. You think they're going to try and force you to take the sheriff position? I don't know, I'd, I'd imagine they'd finally have a date for the vote. I just thought that, if I'm honest, by how everything is going, I thought the governor was maybe just going to cancel the vote and strong arm one person into doing it. Right. At this point, I'm kind of hoping that a lot of just solid decisions are made just so everything can move forward because it just feels like, mm -hmm. you know, west and east, it's just all over the place and, you know, lack of sheriffs. And Do you think maybe they need to mix up the uh, the split and get some people from the east and the west and split them, split them up and shuffle everyone around a little? I'd be very open to that. At least to have like a couple of them come over for at least a month or two just while mm -hmm. new west recruits come in. Because I know the Rangers have been coming up to spot y'all a lot. Yeah. E even last night, they were up again in Valentine helping out. But why do so many people enlist for the East Department? And it's just, why is the West... Maybe they like blue. Maybe, maybe, is it, is it maybe color, they like being it... in a sweaty swamp all day. I have no idea. Is it is it St. Denis or is it... Like, what? Is, is there a... I'd be fascinated to know why it's just so favorable. Maybe everybody wants to have a hat like dingers. Oh, please, no. But I don't see the fascination either, to be honest. If I had to be, a, you know, a law person, I would not pick East if I could help it. I'd either go Rangers or West. I just, I, I only see, like, I know Kenneth and Jeb seem fine. That's right. But then the East Department, I only see glimpse of them, glimpses of them every now and again, but... 
and you don't like what you see when you do? Well, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's concerning, but yeah, I never see all these other things that are really concerning people. I, I just, I don't understand. I think a shake-up of positions would be good. Yeah, it definitely needs something. Shift some of the troublemakers around into different areas a little bit. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. It's coming from the governor's table, so you know it's... Or maybe the tables will turn and they'll say, now all the doctors are sheriffs and all the sheriffs are doctors. I'll be very thankful that I've had all this... <laughs> on a, like this casual training, I'd be ready, kinda. And I would have the streets of Blackwater and Valentine clean within a day. Oh, without a doubt. I would just show up and everyone would scatter. <laughs> you know me, I'm terrifying. I'm, I'm so scary. Did you know she fought a bear and lived? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that she manipulated the governor into doing what she wanted? Oh. I'm kidding. It wasn't that dramatic. I just, I've never been one to be scared of political figures since the way I was raised. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I spent a lot of time growing up just hanging out with the parents and the kids of all the other politicians and, you know, where I live. Being one, up, one myself, I'm just... I don't know. I don't see why people revere them so much. They are just people at the end of the day. And then you see Governor Smiley Joe in particular. He is mostly drunk most of the time, so he's not exactly the most intimidating kind of man. Yeah. 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 I, I, I will sometimes remember when I was leaving for Boston and he was walking drunk through the streets of Blackwater. That's right. I remember that night. I thought I was bad with the drink. Now, while you're in this meeting, because you think it might take a while, do you want me to wait for you, or...? No, 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 that'll... That'll take so long. It'll take so long. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want you sitting outside, bored out of your mind, and wasting precious time. You do you do what you gotta do. All right, so, back to saving lives. And, and I can send you a telegram once it's done. All right, I'll make sure to keep an eye on it. I best keep looking for a Shuber and a Jeb anyway. Yeah, that's that definitely feels like a priority at the moment. I'm, uh, you'd be nice to know the kids, okay? is in Blackwater, right? You know, you're yeah, at the Blackwater, governor's place? Yeah, Blackwater, 8.30. again.
call. I'm gonna have to go up across the river at the top of the waterfall. It really is a miss. Mm -hmm. Terrible location. No bears around. Hope you got that. Now that's your job. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're coming up on it now. Right. Oh, there's down there. Hang up. Howdy. How's it going, Matt? Hi. Um, Cynthia, have you met Sassy? I have, back when I was green in the county. Ah, very good. Yeah, Sassy took a little tumble. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you're alright. We, so, we came all the way from St. Denny. I'm sorry, we're quite slow. That's all good. Should be got me. Um, <laughs> you want to know how this happened? I would love to know how this happened. Wolves. But mm -hmm. the wolves didn't get me. The river did. The, did the wolves push you into the river? No, oh, I shot one of them and then took a step the wrong way and slipped down the river. <laughs> oh, hang on. How far down the river did you come? Um, all the way up so, there? Yeah, you see, you see the top of the hill there? You see where the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the train tracks are. Like, yeah. Just the train. Yep. I was up oh, by the train no. tracks and I've oh, slipped no. off the ledge right, trying to run away from And you them. got your fur all wet. Yeah. Oh, oh you <laughs> poor thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, I had trouble finding him. He was blending in with the, <laughs> the mud and rocks of the river. Yeah, that is the problem with that outfit. Outfit? Sorry, that, that uh, complexion fur. or outfit or fur. I don't know. What, whatever you are. You yeah, I guess everybody on? thinks I'm wearing some kind of clothing, but it's actually my fur. Oh, uh, my apologies. That sassy's a very hairy man. <laughs> All right. I wasn't sure because I think one of the nights I met you, there was somebody who was also dressed like you, and they were, they were messing around. Really? Yeah, I think you had an imitator. Oh, not the fucking skin changes again. Yep. Well, well, if you ever see a skin changer, it doesn't sound like me. You have every right to shoot him in the head. I will. I will. Can I get that right? Um, you're. Are you still there, Hughes? Matt? Hey, that, that's Hughes. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, acting uh, sheriff. Yeah. If somebody's impersonating me and trying to like commit fraud, obviously because it's fraud to impersonate somebody, I have every right to defend my right to shoot them in the face. Yes, right? I think you have to talk about it first. Mhm. Mm How, did we manage to get that fellow off the mountain, Shuba? I rescued all five of them. <laughs> all five of them. Amazing. All five, five of them. One of them was, I'm assuming Joseph went down at some point. Yeah, Joseph was looking for him, but he was looking yeah. in the wrong spot. And his horse decided to take a right when it needed to go left and launched him down a hill. And when I say hill, it's more of a cliff. I should check in on him. Well, now that uh, I've got you here at Shuba, can I actually have a conversation with you? Yeah, is, does this need to be private? Yeah. Mr. Hughes can come too, actually. Sorry, Sassy, it ain't about you. I'm, I apologize. I know it seems rude. What is it about? Uh, it's about a friend, a mutual friend of all three of us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. It, yeah. I do love the furs out here. <sighs> All right, what's what's going? Do I need to be whispering? No, not really. I, okay. This is fine. Uh, so I got a really concerning telegram from Jib. I did too. Oh. Do you want me to read mine first? Uh, please do. All right. He said, uh, "I tried to talk to God again, Miss Cynthia, but nothing happened. I even begged him, but my mind keeps playing tricks on me." And then he wrote, "No, I won't tell her." Like All he's right. talking to somebody else. You think he's been drinking? No, I think it's worse than that. What did yours say? It just said, I'm sorry, Mr. Schubert, I tried. Fuck. 
Oh, yeah. What? So I, I, he, yeah, he's. I'm, I'm looking for him. Um, so have I. Worry. I've been looking for him. You know, we rode around St. Denny for a bit. I've been asking people about him. Mm-hmm. Nobody in St. Denny has seen him, as far as I could tell. And uh, I've been, I've even packed quite a few sedatives today to see if I can help him. Yeah. Um, have you seen any of the wall around in the east? Yeah, I talked to Dinger. No sign of him. Okay. He, he said that he's not on duty today. Um, Hughes, how long do you'd suggest we put out a missing persons? Oh, how many for their how, own safety? How long has it been since y'all saw him? Well, I got this telegram early this morning. Like, he maybe even sent it in the wee hours of the morning. Look, I'd say t- twenty-four hours. Someone like Jeb, that's you know in law department, yeah. and he's you know got a you know his fiance up at the Valentine Bakery and everything, and he knows so many people. If no one's seen him, twenty-four hours after that. Yeah, get the word out. Well, and medically speaking, when people start sending telegrams like this or talking like this, it it perks up our ear and makes us worry. That's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, so. Miss Hughes actually has a big law meeting in you know thirty minutes or ish. Do, is this something you should bring up to the higher ups? I can definitely, uh, or at find least, a, just ask him if they've seen him. I could definitely find a moment to bring it up. Yes. All right. And. Uh, Maybe- I think the best bet is if that happens, uh, I want to use the word detain, but not detain in a, 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 like a law way, uh, like keep him, him occupied yeah. and then get us, get us doctors out to him. Like send out an emergency alert, even if you want to request specifically us. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. I yeah, and may- maybe don't give them the whole details about like the entire content of everything that we just said, but just say that he is needed by the medical team, and it's very urgent. Mm. I don't want him to feel embarrassed or anything coming back to work if he comes out good after this. Mm. Yeah, agreed. So, uh, save his yeah. reputation a bit. Yeah, you know how pig-headed some of the law can be. Yeah. And horrible time, and Miss just... Lily might not be back for another two days. If my math yeah, is right, she. Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say that's another reason why I'm worried because usually she anchors him. Yeah. Oh, She's what gone another two days visiting her brother. I think, if I remember correctly, she said. I believe so. Yep. <sighs> okay. And Hughes, I don't know if you know it or not, but Jeb is family to me. Oh, so yeah, he's a uh, not even adopted, not blood, but he's family. That's I, why I was I desperately that. trying to find a moment to talk to you. He's a good yeah. fella, so I can see why. Yeah, I firmly believe that family is found, not just blood. And well, Jeb's mighty impressive to me, so I care about that fellow. All right, well. I'm going to make sure that I get Mr. Hughes to Blackwater by 8 o'clock for his meeting at 8.30. Oh, that's in 10 minutes? No, no. Uh, 8 o'clock is Four. in 10, 10 minutes, and then 40 minutes until the meeting actually starts. I just yeah, want to okay. give a margin of error in case something goes wrong. Yeah. Knowing us, something always goes wrong. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Fair for the worst. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go off duty for like 30 minutes. All right. Uh, you head down towards Blackwater, you said? That's right. All right. Well, shit. Okay. If yeah. You find I, him before I find it. Like, do you want? Could you call me if you find him? And if I find him, I'll call you. Call, call you? Yeah. Like, like, send out a call for help. Oh, 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 oh! I was like, I don't have access to them. I don't fancy know if you phones, want to ho- the sheriff into the clouds or something. I don't know how you do it. Just get a word I'll to send, me. Send up some signal flares. I got. You. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. What? What's your post ID? I don't think I. Uh, it's four six eight. It's in the newspaper if you forget about. It. My I little advertisement the other day. Oh, that's right. I okay. Personally, I think it's great you took that initiative. I think that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you would. Yep. My, I, I was. I, I saw that. And I beamed a little. No. Cynthia is becoming one of our best doctors, if I do say. I. I figured as much very quickly. I appreciate yeah. that. I've been uh, very impressed by the uh, the work I've seen of a, a number of doctors, and especially Miss Wheeler. Oh, 
<laughs> Stop, I'm gonna blush. Oh, man, I didn't know I'd be blushing about pulling bullets out of people, but here we go. Mm -hmm. Did you know she saved me from a bear the other day? Well, there was a lengthy report about it because he was a combative patient. Uh, I did see that. And Mr. Hughes. Oh, somebody's hunting, I think. That's probably, it's probably sassy down there. He's a, he's a pretty decent hunter. Uh, be nice to my doctors. What? When have I not been nice? <laughs> what? You were a little bit, you were a little bit belligerent when you were on all the medication. What did I say? You weren't quite yourself. No, it wasn't what you said. You were just, uh, not cooperating. Oh, I think what she's trying to I, say is you were a whiny bitch, but I had to physically hog tie you and throw you into a patient bed. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't remember that. And then you're like, now get me a blanket and a glass of water. Oh, look, that's reasonable. Oh, hey, I agree. That's reasonable. I, I don't, I don't remember all that. I do apologize. That's fine. I forgive you. <laughs> now, let's get you to Blackwater and get yeah, you looking right. presentable for your meeting. You're not walking in there looking like that. What's wrong with this? I told you, you're, you're going to hold all the power in that meeting. You need to you need to dress up in your finest lawsuit, I think. Shit, all right. You need to put on your colors, put on your red. Okay. Rem remember, he was dressed for the job that you want, not the one you have. Oh, then he's going to be dressed as a farmer or a train driver. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, don't do that. Look professional. If this First law meeting don't, don't go well, well. I'm, I'm taking up work with the trains. I'd... Come be a doctor. Look, Shira, I'll, I'll I think you'll it. agree, is uh, something that I said to Mr. Hughes. You know, I t was telling you about how Calder had that meeting with Mr. Hughes and he had 16 black horses or something. Mm -hmm. I said that in this situation, in this meeting that Mr. Hughes is walking in on, that the governor is so desperate that now Mr. Hughes has the 15 black horses. He, he's got the uh, power in this conversation, I think. That's a great analogy, actually. I like that. Thanks. I'll... I'll I trust Miss Wheel with my life, but I'll believe it when I see it. I think you just need to, you know, straighten your back and walk in with confidence, and you can, you can get what you need. Ask, all, ask for all the support from the governor that you can for the West. All right. All right. Can I well, ask you a question? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll walk with you. I want to ask you a question, Hughes. Do Don't. you want to be sheriff? Well, look, I. Like I've told everyone, I haven't exactly been in a rush to get to be a sheriff, but uh, I, I, I find that I think the, some of the best leaders are those that they don't seek it out. It is thrust upon them. Mm -hmm. Look, even if you decided, hey, I actually don't want to be a part of the sheriff belt, you, even if you don't have the title, you've still got all the power in this. They respect you to that point, even if you reject the title. I don't know. I, sometimes I feel like I don't... All I mean is you have all this power in, in you right now to be able to advocate for the people working under you and also for the civilians in your in your region. I don't know. I get a lot you of... You need a ride? I get a lot of... I get a lot of sarcasm and chatting back from a lot of people. Yeah, but not the people who matter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Shit. I'll take that. I'll all take right. it. Go we'll get it. You gotta deal with your thing. Whatever you gotta go do. Thanks. It will do, Sassy. And say, watch out for wolves. <laughs> yeah. Careful, because uh, Watch it's out for waterfalls. Water water anyway. water. Sometimes a bear will follow them. <laughs> We're all going the same way. Yeah, Sassy, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> I need to go right, man. I don't know if it's Black clear. water. Yeah, I saw that. Black water in front of the bank. I don't know, Miss Wheel. I just feel like where's your horse? Sassy? Sometimes he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't God. listen to a lot. Feel like, oh yeah, I know. I feel like Hawkins and Sledge don't think much of me. Bowman's not really around. Levi's not really around. So maybe this is they're not really this around. is something you need to say and ask for the governor to shake things up, give you a new team, split everyone apart. Yeah, just you can ask for whatever you want. You could you could say that you don't want to do it anymore as well and nobody's gonna think any less of you well, that is in my back pocket i'm just i'm oh, going yeah. into it with an open mind on the other side just, of the river don't I? if it don't if you just don't add up then yeah 
I would be putting it behind me. And, yeah. I'd, when was the last time you were in county? I'd be taking up oh, and taking up work with the trains. Probably about a week and a half. Maybe the Pinkertons or. You would be a good Pinkerton. You got the mind for it, I think. We'll start a security coming. I don't know. I'd look at other options. They're just. How the law department currently is, is very different from how it was when I was training. You've said that a few times, yeah. And it's just, it's, it, it's, it can be really depressing. See, it, can, it just, it ain't the same. I know. I really miss those days. It, if it ain't making you happy, then don't keep doing it. That's, yeah, that's but, a big reason for taking the leave of absence. Yeah. And then just go into the meeting with an open mind, but know that you can close the book if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really yeah. hard to do. I'd, I think I'd really need that hunt or something afterwards if it came to that. Of course. You can always uh, join the Valentine Civil Patrol as well. True. Maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll work hard and I'll save them and get that ranch out by strawberry. Right. Oh, well, you, they said happens. you're rich. You got thousands of dollars, I, apparently. I've only got like a thousand dollars in the bank. I am not. Well, that's still much more money than I have. Yeah, but money I've, back. I've had a full-time job longer than you. This is true. My uh, posting of my uh, advertisement for doing family medicine ruffled some feathers. Really? What happened? Uh, Dolores didn't like it, apparently. Really? But shouldn't the doctors be offering that sort of service anyway? Yeah, well, apparently I jumped the gun and did that on my own volition. Now, I, by the way, we're going to be going into a... Blackwater is still an open gunfight. Oh, carry a pigeon. We'll take it slow, because yeah. obviously Persephone's exhausted anyway, and I'm off duty. Well, I, Dolores I, is on site. I think it's fantastic you taking the initiative like that, but I can also see you. from Dolores' perspective, because I've had some difficulty with recruits and people under me in the law department where, you know, they, they're so enthusiastic, and they've got all these great ideas and everything, but they just, they don't, they don't include their, you know, the rank above them, or two that they don't keep them including the conversation mm -hmm. it, it's not like it's just it breaks the chain you know what I mean that's right so I guess did you talk to her about it beforehand well the only reason I put that newspaper advertisement up is because I thought it was fine because I know that through my time with Schuber and everything that he's taught me that he would approve it. So I figured maybe it'd be up the chain and Dolores would approve it. But then again, those two don't see eye to eye most of the time. Oh, that... After she broke his heart and there's all this there and they don't get quite get along. Wait, so. she broke his heart? Yeah. Oh my God. But that's why he disappeared. Really? Mm -hmm. I did, yeah, I well did... actually, I didn't tell you any of this. He oh, found course, of course. Paul, Paul Schuba. He, he he told me all about it. Oh my God! Are you they, were, they were they were meant to be getting married. You kidding? She, me. she called it off, and now she's dating the guy who runs Blackwater Saloon. What? You're the one with the beard. You can what? They keep having fights at the front of Blackwater Saloon because they love beating each other up. Dolores. Dolores. What? What? I, yep. I, I can't believe it. I know. Anyway, so that's why Schubert is you know, a ranger over there. Yo, Liam. I don't know. It's been very chill so far. All right, let's get you over here for now. Then once you're ready, maybe get dressed. Get your buckets over here. Hi. Get your <laughs> bucket. Come get your bucket. Why are you selling buckets here? Uh... uh uh, you get the free bucket with every horse purchase, so... Uh, yeah. I didn't get a bucket but with you my have, horse you have, to, you have to spend uh, over... Uh, yeah, you have to spend over $1,900. Oh, this yeah, that... Yeah, not this horse. This ain't the stables! 
It is now. I've seen a horse get in there. Do you want to try it? Oh, oh no, no. I know the horse is no, Todd, no! Yeah, Let take Todd straight through. Go, go, go. Oh, no, Todd made his horse shit on the carpet oh. of the governor's office. I remember that. Oh. That's Woodman did. Because uh, because the governor took Louisa to the dance, so Woodman had his horse shit on the carpet like several times. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. I didn't know well, that. if Woodman that's grew great. a backbone and just asked her out already. Yeah, that, that'd yeah. be a smart this, one, hey. This could have been a done deal by now. Yeah. That's right. All they do they is could be in love. each other's noses. <laughs> oh my god, they're touching noses? kind of cute. They run up and go, Oh my god. <laughs> I'll take you around to the tailor. <laughs> I swear, there's got to be something in the water. About what? Just Making people a little strange? People are, people are very strange. So, all right, so the red vest and everything, right? I think so, unless you think otherwise. Just whatever makes you look real uh, tidy, I think. No, I better be back in uniform now. You're right. All right. There we go, that'll do it. <laughs> what about the beard and hair? I think it looks nice, and I think it looks like you yourself is back. Okay. I think that's just about how you usually have it, right? Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, I usually keep it like this. Mm -hmm. you, you ready? I guess. Do you have enough food and drinks with you to last the whole meeting, you think? Yeah, I should probably have a bath, though. Yeah, I think so. See how close we can get to the street. <laughs> Take it slow in case anyone is causing any ruckus. Because I am not a reckless lady. Uh -huh. I do not stick gu shotguns in people's faces. <laughs> Just and bears. I let the law do their work. Mm -hmm. I think we should be fine. All right, you have your bath because you smell like Georgie. Oh, hey! Hello. There we go. That's better, I think. Much better. Just to be safe. All right. Now, what, what time is it on the pocket work? You've got 25 minutes, but that'll fly by. Couldn't be punctual. I don't oh, like yes. being late to things. No, I hate it as well. But usually, I'm way too early. Ah, that's a that's a good character trait. Oh, look a dog. Oh, it's a puppy. Hi, puppy. Look at that little puppy. What a little guy. Oh, hey, fella. You can pet the puppy for luck. I'd love to get a dog. Why don't you get one? You got enough money for one. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I'll think about it. It just... Yeah. Maybe if your meeting goes bad, we can go get your puppy afterwards. You'll feel better. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, the camera comes here. Okay. Wow. Prove it. Absolutely. My it's horse would horse. never run into anyone. <laughs> Where's your horse, Eddie? Who's <laughs> slow walking towards us so dramatically? Oh. Oh. Harkness. Never mind. <laughs> no, I'm Joseph. No, but Harkness was walking really slow and it looked weird. Alright, kids. Hi, uh, Joseph. Yeah, Eddie. You alright? What, what was the. No, it's fine. It was a bank robbery gone bad, it seems. Ah. But uh, we, we had three lawmen down. We patched them up and. I got one, Dolores got one, Schubert got one. Alright, dream team, I see. Um, can we get on my horse so I can side saddle for a minute? Yeah. I was just uh, bringing Mr. Hughes here for his meeting soon. So I, I brought him here on time, Daddy. You can tell the governor that. <laughs> oh, that was close. Beautiful. Close to Joseph. In one piece, didn't get eaten by a bear <laughs> or nothing. No wolves? No wolves. <laughs> One piece, no wolves, no bear. Though to be fair, I got bitten by a cougar yesterday, and then maybe 30 Isn't seconds it? later I got bitten by wolves. So, I cannot oh, talk. Nah. Oh yeah, by the way, how are your stitches going? Yeah, um, fine. I, I had to restitch sorry, one. I, Woodman just rolled into the marshal's house. <laughs> oh my god. Like, oh, he's gonna have it shit on the carpet in there, too. Alright, did they hit on uh, Louisa as well, or...? Probably. Oh, Bloody Ames. There, wait, he's coming out now. <laughs> he rode into the house. Duh, he probably let well, it. Well, uh, uh, in, in revenge for the, the governor asking Louisa to the dance a few weeks ago, Woodman kept riding his horse into the governor's office and making a shit on his carpet. But Woodman refuses to ask her out like Exactly. A man. Jesus Christ. The way these people are behaving around here. Mm -hmm. Children, all of them, I tell you. <laughs> Speaking of children, um, did you need to speak to me? Oh, are we Are yeah, we no. trying for a baby now, Alexa? <laughs> I was going to oh, say. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Congratulations, I thought, you, I, thought, I thought you wanted to go for a tumble in the stable, you know? All right, um, so let's go for me, it. Please, please, no. It's my now. That's my. my that's my tumbling ground. <laughs> no, I'm taking. I've taken your spot. It's, I've marked it. What the fuck? How fast? How oh, dare you? I'm a gentleman. Please get out of I my tumbling never. spot. It's fine now. Uh, no, but <laughs> you, would you like to uh, speak about horses? I do think that I, uh, I still haven't been able to make a choice. I still haven't been able to make a decision, but I know that you had some recommendations for me last time. He and wants I... an Ardennes. He wants an Ardennes. Can you please call um, your, um, what is it called? Uh, Peloponi? Oh, Persephone? He knows Persephone well. Uh, where is she? I know Persephone. Peloponi. Hello, pony. That's funny. Not to, not, to, not to laugh at you or anything, Alexi, but no, Pella no, pony. I don't, think, pretty... I don't think he wants an art dance. I'm just bullying him a little bit. Oh, no, no. But yeah, I'd, uh, I did recommend the Brenton to you. Oh, that's right, the Brenton. Nah, it's, uh, it's in the uh, similar family to the, uh, George, there's a cat. the Ardennes here. Yeah. Wait. And um, I think it's a little bit, uh, it might it's be a little a bit, bit smaller, smaller, but it's stocky. Uh, oh hi, kitty, gosh. kitty. Oh, he's so small. Howdy. Why don't you get a cat? I'd love to get a cat as you well. Get a cat that hangs out at the sheriff department or something. Or That'd if you get great. a train, a cat that just hangs out at your train with you. That'd be really nice. He's just listening to you. Look at that. Psst, 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 psst. He's, he's like one of them. Well, he's just well-behaved kitty cat. He is. I know how much you like cats after you saw that cat get hurt in Valentine. Oh, and you were crying. You were a mess. It, it hurts me to see an animal get hurt. Unless you're, unless you're hunting it. Yeah. yeah it's unless a it's a bear area. or a snake or a wolf. Yeah, look. You know, circle of life, food chain and all that. It's a bit of a gray area. Is the food chain in the best situation when you're the food or the bear? I don't know. I think it's a bit of an even even ground. Oh. oh what's over there? Walking away. Kitty kitty. Hi kitty. Hello? 
What do you think they think about? Fish, mostly, I think. Yeah, imagine hanging around the, the black water. What Dark, is he eating? Lots he, of ain't fish. Even, he ain't even got any food right now. You hungry, kitty? Howdy, Mr. Hughes, Miss Wheeler. Hi. Howdy, Pawnee. How you doing? Not bad yourself. Oh. How are you both? Yeah, yeah I'm alright. Been busy. That's alright. I'm just waiting for my eyes to sort of focus up a bit. Oh, oh yeah, that seasickness will get you. Yeah, that was a rough trip. Let me tell mm -hmm. you. Sorry to hear What's that. Going? That's alright. What's going on? Uh, just got Mr. Hughes here for his big law meeting at 8.30. All right. Made sure to deliver him in one piece and uh, get him all scrubbed up. All my blood is on the inside. That's where it's meant to be, thank God. Uh, you'll be right, mate. Stand and uh, there was just probably. a bank robbery that went wrong, so there's quite a few doctors around right now. Oh, jeez. Bank robberies are always going wrong these days. Uh, yeah, a couple of lawmen got shot. Not sure which ones. Yeah, right. Well, now I can see everybody. There's a few, quite a few people here. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hughes, do you mind if I borrow you for a second? Oh, you have one of these secret discussions again? All right, I'll leave. Hey, I've got, I've got about 15 minutes for you, for you, Luke. Sure, let's come over here. Sorry to drag you away a little bit. Um, I just can't see quickly. Is there anyone else around us? Uh, the closest thing to us is a cat. Okay, sounds good. Cat won't be able to hear us. Um, just to let you know, I've taken back the badge. Um, oh! I'm back on the agency, so if you do need anything... Yeah, um, yeah, no, I'll, uh, uh, definitely keep that in mind. It's good to hear. Everything, everything's yeah. alright with you? I look, I've come to terms that people are going to find out, they're going to find out. So, yeah. I'm just going to continue doing my work and get paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> well... Look, I hope it all goes well for you, Lou. It's... Thanks, mate. Yeah, but not good to hear about the trouble you've had with that. It's all good. It happens. How's things with you? Oh, they've been good. Yeah, over the last week, I've just taken a leave of absence, just do some soul searching while I've got some things going on. I've just been a... Yep. I was planning on doing a lot of camping and hiking and stuff like yep. that, but it turned out uh, just timing-wise, just, uh, you know, uh, aiding the doctors as security. Oh yeah, you enjoying it? Actually, quite. I'm actually pleasantly surprised how much I enjoyed it. You know, just being there, having their back, extra pair of hands when they need to apply pressure on some wounds. You um, know what the funny thing is? Hmm. You know what the funny thing is? What? You took a break to do some soul searching, but it looks like the soul found you. That's. Yeah. No, it's because I heard about how Caldern couldn't even go a week. Without threatening and beating up doctors, after I had yep. that talk with him, and it just it just really made me so mad, and I just really because I've got a couple of friends in the doctor's department, of course. But yeah. whether I had friends in the medical department or not, like you don't, like you shouldn't be going harming people, but least least of all doctors of like for crying out loud, it's just well, not exactly. wrong. Well, the same thing I told Jeb, right? Jeb was feeling a bit down. I said, look. At the end of the day, the man was hurt in doctors. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing is, the doctors were there for him when they needed him the most. When That's he needed right. them the most. You know, and they always will be. Yeah. So a lot of people forget to remember that. And the amount of grief he's put Jeb through. And I just. Yeah. But speaking of Jeb, no one's seen him in a couple of days. I actually haven't as well. The last time I saw Jeb, uh, I think it was. Well, a couple of days ago, but then I knew he was very upset, and Mr. Yes. Wolf and I had a bit of a chat to him. He he uh he sent some very distressing telegrams to Schubert and Miss Wheeler and God knows who else this morning. Yeah, right. Actually, might have to take so, a look at that. So look, if you've got a clean plate to today and tomorrow, yep. please, on behalf of the doctors and and myself, and I'm sure many others, if you could please find Jeb. Tell him if you see him, I need to have a speak, have a word with him. Oh, oh um, and the Miss Wheeler wants him sent straight to the doctors. Okay, I'll try and organise that. He uh, should not be left alone. Yeah, look, I understand taking a life isn't, you know, the most easiest thing to do in the world. But as I've told Jeb, you know, back in my day, I've killed three men. It just comes you with know, the job. It comes. It comes with the job exactly. And sometimes it's. Look, in, in Jeb's case, it was either it was either Tessa and the rest of the department, 
or it was what or one other life, you know. I'm yeah. not meaning one other life or cows. And he wasn't really doing himself any favors. Like, come on. No. Let's be real. I said to him, look, mate, at the end of the day, you and all your deputies came home. You have a responsibility to your deputies. Yeah. And you brought them home. That's the main thing. 100%. I just. I just want to make. I just want to know he's okay. I'll have a look. I'll look out for him. I appreciate that, Lou. I'll try and find Lily and. Uh, I'll bring him to Cynthia. Yeah, just, they really want to just have a real, you know, real good, you know, yeah, medical I'm chat saying. with him and make sure he's all right. And, but yeah, By any chance, do you know what he was saying in those telegrams? Oh, just that he's been trying to talk to God and almost oh, like he's no. given up and just really concerning things like that. But I, I, I sort of, I told him that, you know, it'd be worse if he wasn't saying anything to people. Well, but it's yeah. like telegramming people this sort of stuff is like a cry for help. Well, it is. I'd say so, yeah. I think I'd uh, need to get him, have a little little chat with him, and uh, maybe get Mr. Wolf in on this. He's a bit experienced as well with, unfortunately, taking lives. But um, like I said, it comes with the job. It never gets easier, but, you know, we need to do it. Yeah. Just, yeah, keep that in mind and... Yeah, let us know if you find him, because we're all Sounds worried. Good. No problem. While well, you get back to him, I'm going to go annoy uh, Frowny Joe over there. <laughs> and, uh... Well, we got a big meeting with him soon. Oh, dear. Uh, I'll give him... You know, a lot of law leadership and, you know, big meeting today, so... Just going to see how that goes. Well, I'll give him a bit of shit before he uh, gets in that meeting, I guess. <laughs> all yeah. right. All right. Well, you take it easy. You need anything? You know where to catch me. We'll do, Lou. We'll do. Take it easy, mate. <clears throat> How was your uh, top secret Pinkerton discussion? Good. What I can tell you is that when Lou's got some free time, he's going to be looking for Jen. Oh, thank God. Thank you for letting know. I didn't, the thought didn't even cross my mind, to be honest. No, yeah. I, he, he, yeah. I said, when you, if you've got free time today and tomorrow, please be looking for Jeb and send him straight to the doctors, especially Miss Wheeler. Oh, thank you for thinking about that. Of course. Sometimes I forget that uh, Lou actually is. He's very good at pretending he's not, you know? Yeah, and he, he gets around a lot. He's really good at finding things, finding people. So, look, if anyone can find Jeb, it'll be Lou. Well, Miss Lily. So, but we don't have Miss Lily for a couple of days. So we gotta, we gotta do, right. use what we can. We'll make do. Yeah. Uh, the governor is here. He just went back into his residence. All right. I might go in just to be, you know, extra punctual. But Miss Wheeler, thank yeah, you very you... much for getting me here and getting me all You're dressed welcome. up. You're welcome. Yeah. Appreciate it. I will get back to work, and while you are all in your meeting, I will be sheriffing the west. <laughs> all right. And I will. I will rule with an iron fist and strike fear into the heart of all the outlaws. Oh, you better count on it will do and I will, I will do my best to telegram you once it's over all right all right i will all right i will check that I'll now he's having a private discussion with shuba all right he's just he's getting everyone he, he, why don't i get a top secret discussion with lou why don't why not I, I don't know am i not am i not important enough <laughs> that's not true I'm, I'm kidding i just think the pink and stuff's kind of cool and mysterious and it is isn't interesting it? all right i'll see you later cynthia all right you behave Oh, I'll try. No promises with George Hughes. going in for a job interview or something. I wonder, like, imagine if it was easy to move that guy that's floating there, that they would have done it already, right? Surely. But it might be like a bit destructive trying to move him. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Knock, knock. Oh. 
Sorry, is that you, Mr. Hughes? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, son. I'm currently in the middle of some documentation before we begin. Uh, can I help you? Oh, no, I'm just here early, sir. I could, I'm happy to keep waiting out here if that works. Oh, yeah, no, we'll just, uh, I'll, I'll wait outside for now. And uh, once I uh, once I collect all these documents and we get everyone together, well, we'll I'll lead you all to where we're heading. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just wait here in the lobby then. Yeah, let, let everyone know that I'll be out in, this, in a few minutes. Uh, no worries, sir. Like I said, I'm early. You're fine. Is that you, Frank? No, I had a use. Howdy, how you doing? I'm alright, partner. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm alright. Just hate waiting, you know? Yeah. I think I smoked three cigarettes out of your wallet, mate. Yeah, I figured I'd, I'd, I was worried I'd do the same, so I'm saving them until after. Yeah, I've got a cigar for after. Oh! If it goes well. <laughs> You're prepared? I don't, I don't fucking know, mate. Oh, yeah, no, have you it's been fucking partner? Independence Day. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. I've taken a. I took the last week off and I I was gonna do some soul searching and relaxing, but Who I ended up being an unofficial security for the doctors. No, Independence okay. Day is when America became independent it actually from like, felt the British really good colony like and that. stuff. Yeah, I imagine that'd be pretty, pretty nice job to get away from war. Yeah, like but I still helping people. I, oh, just I can't I can say down that a waterfall I made a huge then, um, difference, but no doctor black water came to harm somebody up. under my watch. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But maybe just having well, the presence of someone there. Funny thing can is, keep people away. Maybe yeah. I was um. Extra I just come into county and the, literally three steps walking around. I got Hello, a Hello, my wall. sweet angel. Then I. I was sitting by river when West. I spawned in. Good. Good. You in the county not spawned in, not that means. Not that I know of, like, I, I haven't really been and, into the office um, over the last week. So had wolves attack me, so I've, like, ran down the, the river, because, you know, wolves don't like Sorry? water. The boxing thing. And um, oh, yeah. I, I've, I've dropped one of the wolves, Excited. and then I've taken too many steps down the river and slipped down the river. <laughs> when are we doing <laughs> when boxing? I tumbled down the river, didn't I? Should we do it Saturday? Saturday night, yeah. Yeah. Because then I can get some drinks. Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank, Frank, Frank. Ooh, I bet they're gonna go kiss. Do you reckon their beards get stuck together? Do you, like, what happens if you get a beard hair caught between your Is that you, Harpers? Oh, it is the worst. Is it like, like flossing? No, it's it Ew. feels like yes, it feels mate. like you um, uh, <laughs> yeah. trying to think of the best way to pull. describe it. Uh, a shot in the head. Especially when they get oh, stuck shit, and they yeah. pull on your oh like your chin hair. Lost part of my ear. Not chin hair. What? You, like your chin <laughs> skin and stuff. Yeah, it's what the happened? worst. Bang! So, like, shot yeah. through the little gap. You kiss a lot of men, it, do you? Imagine Jesus. like you know like a really soft brush. Jesus. Mm -hmm. But in your teeth. Huh. Doesn't feel good, does it? No. Do you kiss a lot of bearded men? Nah. Oh. I'm wondering who the hell was all this coming, but it looks like it's the sure George Hughes does though. Oh, okay. It's a little worried there for a second. You think so? Oh, I wouldn't know. I'm Actually, I've noticed I'm just that a lot of showing the, um, an assumption. Yeah, a lot of the um, foremen have very nice, thick, luscious beards. I wonder why that is. I guess it makes them feel more manly. Yeah, that—that's the word. Mm. Hark, this what the hell? Get it down. Any more laid back, that man would fall over. Yeah, look at this. Right, one, two, Howdy, two, three, four, Howdy, partner. How are you? Five, six, seven. I'm about you, sir. One. Barely recognize you again every time. If yeah. it's not if it's not you disguised as a bush seven down in my uh, recycler, yeah. it's uh. <laughs> You just well, playing as Jane, standing right Should we there. get a beard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe I we should grow one. Real good. Yeah, I'll try. Howdy, Todd. Hello. Who's that guy who walked in? Howdy. Dunno. Is it Joseph? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what if he's trying to get... Uh, I just hope he doesn't yell to those. Are you studying yourself out yeah, here, no. Harkness? Sitting down, so I got shot in the head. Sorry, I'm just okay. 
He's doing the, the right the thing. Oh, he's got his uniform on, sir. Howdy, gentlemen. Oh, me? Hey, howdy, partner. Yeah, How Miss, yeah. Miss, Miss Wheeler hey, insists. And she doing? said, come on. It's good to see you. Go on, mate. Get your, get, your, oh. get your gear back on. Like, all right, Did you get it from right. the dry cleaner? Oh, just out of the cupboard. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm sure um, sure you know how to use uh, use one of those coal irons. Oh, i I got to be careful. I'll probably burn the whole thing down. <laughs> well, it looks great. It looks nice and straight. No creases. I love it. I'll be ironing away and I'll look out the window, see a funny looking bird and have a chuckle <laughs> myself. Next thing I know, I've burned a hole in my pants. <laughs> then realizing you have no ventilation, so all this. <laughs> oh, and then, and then a bear will bust in through the door. Uh, oh, yeah, 100%. You know, that's just how it goes. Offering you whiskey. <laughs> yeah, just please break open the whiskey emergency glass. Then... Sorry, did somebody say whiskey? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is that you, Joe? Oh, so. oh, who else would it be? You mentioned whiskey. Hey, it's like no, Colin. No drinking like, on the job. Did you get it's your like head rubbing on? the lamp. Did I get my what? You, you just look different. You, why looks, how, looks why back. do you look different? I got my hair fixed up. Yeah, you got like your dinner. hair done. Yeah. I yeah. was getting a bit messy, so. And I just bought this beauty over here as well. Oh. Nice. I got a new horse as well, uh, sir. Oh. Got a, uh, a roadster. Oh, now that's a, a that. Roadster. Now that sounds like a horse. I'll bring him over. I'll show you. Look, everyone's getting these it's odd dance, but like roadster. Oh, don't run through everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Roadster's just got it. That's my nope. horse. I'm sorry, Doctor. Todd. You're all right. Todd, that's Hello. not your horse. Right. Attention. Todd. Governor's here. D don't need it. They, don't, they can see me coming. Jump here. off, you obviously. Don't need it. What the? Horse. That was the wrong one. Roadster oh, looks like a great one. He's the wrong muscle. I'm oh, so sorry, Smiley. He's shoulder. Oh, shoulder. oh he's a Yo, fragile Troy. little... Oh. I was meant to give him a oh, half jack right, like in the old days. Cough. That looked like Should a we arrest like Sasquatch on a, a government no, sure yeah. official. Should it we was. arrest the Sasquatch for that? Nah, that's fine. I didn't love it. Sorry anymore. about that. I used, used to like the wrong to, muscle, uh, man. Help me with the little project <laughs> I'm working on. Jesus Christ. Happens to the best of us. So sorry, sir. We should have stopped him. Wardman? To apologize, you can Gabe's here, Gabe's there. How would you like to help me with a little project? <laughs> oh, oh, man, good, good, oh, good to see you off your, ba uh, your bench there, Gabe. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. So I'm going to just quickly brief, but we're going to be make, taking a move, making a move soon. So we're all going to be uh, moving to a new location just to have uh, have this meeting. So bit, hold tight. I'd recommend y'all start getting your horses and get ready. I'm just going to go get our carriage and then we'll uh, make a move. Oh, you know. Fancy carry. I can. Oh, people are carrying. I'm schizophrenic. Hello. I don't know. I can Mate, three horses. I think we're all going, bros. Is this a family vacation? Hey, sassy. Feels like a family vacation. Should I get off my horse? And It's all right, partner. I'll fill you in on anything, everything anyway. Ain't, ain't nothing gonna be about us anyway. I'm pretty sure. Well, fuck. Hey, look, we've already we've already placed our bets, Marcus. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I bet you. What is up, George? You. Oh, hey, Kenneth. How are you? Oh, look, I'm all right. It's just yeah, I've been on a leave of absence for a week, so now coming into a big meeting, I'm a little yeah. nervous, but I'm all right. How are you doing? I mean, to uh, be fair, it looks like yeah, it's. Right. Uh, it's everyone. Well, I was also taking some time off. So. Oh, good on you. And and their second, so it looks like you've already volunteered. Uh, now just here with 
Tessa. I volunteered your second, Marcus. I know where my I know where my bread's buttered. That's fine. I can, uh, I can, you, it, you can easily tell where the east apartment is with the wild horses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it it does right. look very good. I'll keep it right. there. Yep. It does, do but um, I get it. when you're I'm trying not, to get I'm the jump on people, it doesn't fine. work. Clearly, clearly <laughs> Miles <laughs> might be up there if you're higher than I am. But, you know, oh, you well, I guess we're looking good, so killing them. That's, yeah, you gotta, yeah, look at the bright side. The, the very white bright side. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly, yeah. Yeah, the standout is bright in the dark. Oh, god damn. Mark. Mark, yeah. If I said that around Miles, he'd and then, kick my well, ass across. We bloody gun to roads, and then oh fuck. You'd see, you'd Not see no. scratch marks yeah, the across the ground. As my the ass bounced like across. Literally everyone. I don't know. Well, Letty's been gone, so Tess is here, and then Tessa just told me to come tag along. But I think I don't know who's. Got, I think everyone's just here now. Yeah, so many people. Mind you, if they tell they tell people to bugger off, but people bugger off, I guess that's what comes to. Yeah. So. Up to Saint Denis. We just left there. Ladies Excuse and gentlemen, we're gonna start heading up to Saint Denis. All right, no problem. We're just the group. Excuse me, sir. Got it. Yeah. What? What seems to be going on here? Oh, we got a, a law department's got a meeting with the governor. Fertile. Oh, I see. We're, we're taking it out of town. So okay. Hopefully it's Thank good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry, we've got to head out now. If Billy King wakes up over in St. Denis, that's where we're heading. Okay. Sounds good to me. Heck, <laughs> you doing sassy. Not too bad, self mate. Are you invited to this meeting? Probably not, but who cares? Right. Well, just... I'm part of the watch? government, so I guess it'd be fine. Are you wanting to go to St. Denis, regardless of the outcome? What, 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 are the, what are you hoping for an outcome? Well, I'm just... When we get there, the governor might tell you to... clear out. That's fine. Alright, that's... I just, I just wanted to be sure of that. Like that. You didn't that mate. I saw that coming. Wow, how clumsy. Whoa. It's always dinger, isn't it? Always. The hat got caught on a power line or something. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. How are you? Invited to Joseph? Well, I don't know that I am. Right. Because I, I think it's just the law department. We'll find out when we get there, won't we? Just, yeah, just, like Sassy here, I just you, you might be told to leave the area. Is all. How you feeling, Harkness? Oh, fuck, head hurts like a fuck. I think I saw two governors just then. He's going oh, fast! Oh, he's seeing double vision, that's not good. He's going real fast, and my horse is brand I just, just got him. <laughs> I can't catch up. Oh, 
Hopefully we're in St. Denis Bar tomorrow. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a perfectly good uh, ferry that we could have taken. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the governor's the governor's wanted yeah. to go his car. And a and oh, a very okay. kind man able to shout us all a ticket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey Hughes. Uh, he's too cheap for that. Joseph, is that you? That's me. Did you hear that someone stole all the toilets out of the sheriff's office in Saint Denis? They what? They stole all the toilets. How did someone steal a toilet? I don't know, but I hear the sheriffs have nothing to go on. Fucking <laughs> 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 Yeah, you're gonna get a disturbing the peace charge in the east. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, uh... <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, oh God, God, you push you me. What are you doing? Look, I don't mean to be telling the East Department or anyone how to do their job, but maybe two columns would be safe. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh, oh, it's crazy. Custom shotguns, that's mine now. That'll be all broken down. Hey Hughes. Yeah. No, I heard that uh, a bunch of criminals had made off with a a large shipment of sexual aid, you know, the pills that make your you make gun your, fire. That make your gun fire. Yeah. So just be on the lookout for a gang of hardened criminals. Oh my god. <laughs> Can they? someone arrest this bad please? Someone? This would be the place to do it. <laughs> I'm not just tearless for meeting the damn Saint me. One thing I do miss about my apple is uh, Yeah, the, the lungs. He knows me very well. Yeah, it's got a good set of lungs on it. Yeah, yeah. it's I think it's a she. It's not nice a horse. This one's a he, look at that old mole. It's a nice horse. Sassy? <laughs> Very upset. Sassy, Sorry, what are you I, doing? I flexed the wrong muscle. Oh good, happens to the best of us. Yeah. 
Who was the hostage? Uh, is this Saudi's partner or something? Okay. Terrence? Hot Mr. Terrence. Yeah. He had his guns off his back. Someone dropped something. Oh, my knees. Ah, I smashed them against the goddamn panel. God. You can't blame me for this one. All right. Let's keep going. What a person ding his hat. We do have a couple of doctors with us, sir. Well, that's fine. One for each. He's knee. just old. Someone's been hunting gators. Oh, I think yeah. she's in her own head. Her head's gone. There's uh, someone who... Uh, Secure. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I'll be back. Oh my god, this is stressing me out. Interesting. Dig us full. Your job's pretty hard there, Gabe, just sitting on that bench. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's always just a gator sitting in the middle of the bridge there, isn't it weird? It makes me very uncomfortable. But how do you even get up there, man? Yeah, exactly what I was thinking, how do you get up there? Did you see that uh, gator that was dead before, skinned? Oh. Mm. It's convenient that a gentleman in a white dinger hat was there. <laughs> What are we actually going to say, Denise? No Unless he's got a new office. Do you know if the governor's got a new office? Probably where all that fucking money's gone. Is it? Are we going to the... Where are we going? I don't know, but that's probably where all that money's gone. Hughes, so I'll speak to you about your speeding ticket afterwards, yeah? What? Ah, uh, trots only two See you later. Oh, get out of here. Alright, Let's head in. Spent in eight times. Okay. Going into the newspaper. Building. Is that the governor up there? You got a bit of a limp or something, mate. Oh, walk a You go first, mate. All right, everyone, just come up, make yourself at home for a bit. We'll get this party started soon. This is an amazing place. It's a really cool place. While we're waiting for everyone to get here, just make yourself at a. Uh, Make yourself at home, grab some food, some drink up the back. Alright, I'll just up these stairs here. Oh, sorry. As long as as long as we don't have any civilians, I'm fine for a doctor in that being here, but I appreciate it. 
Why is the doc? I'm going up. If the doctor's up there, I'm going Thank up you. there. Thank you, Miss Pena. It's just up the stairs here. Just, oh, just oh I, I am inverted. All right, man. Yep. I am standing room only. All right, let's uh, let's get this show on the road. So, first of all, I want to say congratulations. I was very impressed seeing y'all ride over here with no collisions and no people falling off your horses. That's uh. Last two rides alongs I've done with y'all, I've seen a few of those, so let's just say I'm glad to see there's some improvement. So, to start off with this, I just want to let you know this is a meeting I want to start holding once a month. So I want to get all y'all together. A, these are the times where we're going to share information between all the departments and make sure that we're all across the same page and uh, across the county. So. To start off with the first agenda, I kind of want to just get a, a, a quick briefing from uh, all the heads of the department um, to let me know if there's anything that, you know, things that you need want to let everyone else know, let me know uh, across the board. So uh, can I get uh, the East Sheriff's, uh, East Jurisdiction Sheriff's, can uh, one of y'all stand up and introduce yourself first and then let me know, uh, you know, give us all an update on how things are and how it's all been going. Oh, that's right. All right. Hey, team. My name is Tessa Horsing. Uh, I'm not the sheriff. I'm the under-sheriff, but, like, the sheriff's kind of gone missing. Um, it's pretty good. I don't really have much to say, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's all, folks. There's nothing mm -hmm. really to add. That's fine. Thank nope. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, under-sheriff. All right, mm -hmm. west side is the, uh, anyone from the west jurisdiction able to give a little update on how things are. Jack, you'd be better with me, considering oh, all your shit. absence. Oh, do you want to stand up? You can sit. You don't have to stand up, son. You can have it. You can talk while you're sitting down. Yes. Ah, uh, well, let's see, not a lot. Don't have a lot of people. Doing the best we can, basically. Now. So when you say you don't have a lot of people, you're saying not a lot of people on duty. You just don't yes, have the not numbers. Not a lot of people. Don't have the numbers. Good to know. All right, Texas Rangers. Yes, Governor. Let me uh, stand up here for you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Marcus Wolf, uh, head of the New Austin Rangers. Um, there is a well, main thing I wanted to say is that uh, you know everybody here in this room. Uh, she, yeah, definitely pat themselves on the back, you know, riding in every day, uh, you know, putting that badge on, you know, that, that's just, uh, that's just really good, you know, it's good to see. Um, there is a, uh, there's a big wave, ladies and gentlemen, of criminals coming up from the west, from the deep west. Uh, we're just starting to just try and, try and get on the outskirts now, but, uh, they're getting, uh, they're getting real crafty and they're going to come in big numbers as well. Uh, so we need to uh, we need to uh, watch our backs even more. Um, other than that, uh, you know, I think it's good that uh, there's meetings here so we can find some answers, you know, for uh, some things that uh, you know we've had uh, we've had come up. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for me. Um, yeah, Governor, the uh, heard. Uh, some whispers down there and uh there also so could be some uh some mexicans that uh we, we may see return down in near the west so i think uh it'd be good to get everyone on the same page on that one because uh they're gonna they're gonna come and they, they're gonna come hard at us as well uh, they're pretty ruthless so uh, keep maybe your even eyes uh, some extra checkpoints, uh, Governor. I'm sorry there too. Maybe uh, you know, even if the West, you know, goes down and and checks on the uh, on the bridges, you know, and uh, maybe if anyone is seen, Governor going to and from uh, Mexico crossing that bridge, there'll be a check for identification and search on the spot, uh, so no contraband goes in or out of Mexico. 
<clears throat> like so that uh mr wolf uh is there uh you keep your eyes out on that and uh you keep us informed and let the rest of the pump know what we find fantastic all righty well we've got a lot to cover today at least from my my end so what i'm gonna ask is just to keep try and keep things smoothly running i'm gonna go over some agendas and what i'd ask is y'all listen in and if you have any questions or anything to add you, you hold on to them until i get to the end where i'll you know i'm happy to, to have a chat about these things i'm gonna be honest there's, there's a lot of good there's a lot of bad so we're gonna go through all this and i do hope y'all take this with the you know a grain of salt because it's you know I understand what y'all going out there and you know i've got to go through all this and give you this information so let's uh begin i'll start with the good i want to just first off thank you all so much for what you've been doing so far i know y'all have had a you know a lot of issues a lot of hurdles to get over whether it be uh you know well you know the, the uh, you know leadership kind of being a bit missing and uh a lot of issues with the uh, way operations work and i uh, trust me we do have our operations and engineers looking to make those uh your, your jobs easier um you just got to give us some patience and time and we'll make sure we can do everything we can so i do want to state that i am very happy with how y'all have been treating things and you know I, and and I, we are trying everything we can to make your job smoother so I do, again, thank y'all for that, and especially for those who have stepped up in the times that, you know, we, uh, you know, we really needed it. So thank you for that. So I'll start off by leaning in, in with every month. I'm going to start giving a bonus to the department that I feel has done the most or done the, you know, performed the best or, you know, and, and there's going to be a whole range of criteria for this. So I won't go over them right now, but just know it's what I feel like has been uh, doing the, uh, the best so far. So. This month, I'm going to be giving it to the Texas Rangers. Now, I do want to shout out. They have done an excellent work on training. Um, they've taken the information they've gotten from marshals and myself and, you know, adapted the way they do things. And besides, the, the community down there have told me nothing but great things about the work they're doing out there. And, you know, they're even stepping up and helping out in the west and the east when it's required. So I do want to shout them out and, you know, you'll be... Uh, getting a nice bonus and maybe a little something special getting delivered to you. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor. Now, uh, let's start getting into some of the more operations and things that we need to discuss. So, I need to bring up bounties because I've had a few, few departments come up to me asking about bounties. So, when it comes to get releasing bounties, now these bounties, y'all are handling that. So, when I say y'all are handling that, you know, you when you have a criminal and you want to put a bounty out, you you set the number, you set everything you want. Now, if the bounty hunter comes and collects that money, you don't come crying to the government and start telling them that they need to pay you back because the bounty hunter collects the money. Now, does anyone want to tell me why that's the case? Oh, time, now it's not the time to be shy. I believe it was just probably uh, assumptions. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, we uh, may may have heard right, or maybe we haven't asked the right questions. I think maybe that's perfectly fine. So let, this is what this meeting's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to let y'all know why we're not I'm, the government's not going to be forking out money to the ledgers when y'all put out the, your bounties. Now, the whole reason there's a bounty is because y'all have jobs, and I understand that you've got you know you've got to deal with you know reactive things. But at the end of the day. That's a criminal that's out there and about, and you know, there I see there are times where y'all are not, you know, reacted to something currently, and y'all ain't looking for these bounties. Now, if I paid y'all every time a criminal, you know, if I'm paying you back for every time a bounty hunter is collecting one of those criminals, why not just go hide those bounty hunters? Because they're the ones bringing these criminals in. Now, I don't have unlimited funds, boys and girls. I don't, I can't keep giving you money every time y'all setting up these, these, these bounties, especially when y'all setting them at what, like a thousand dollars for what? A crime that a fine of maybe like $300. I don't know which money y'all are setting these up, but you need to start, you know, maybe looking at doing, getting some math. Start looking at trying to really piece it all together if you get my drift. So, I, from moving forward, 
you have a bounty and a hot bounty hunter collects it that comes out of your ledger, that's completely on y'all. So I, what I recommend is you you try and do the math. You try to figure out how how you know badly you want this boy to come in and pay the fines and and if you do count catch someone for the second time, you you and you know they ain't paying their fines and you still haven't paid your fines. You let your marshals know. You let you let your you know you can let me know. And we'll look at getting the uh, the head judge to uh, start confiscating some items to uh, pay back those fines into your ledgers. Does everyone understand? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yep. All right. So let's start going, breaking down some of the, the things I want to bring up for this month. So I want to say again, I am very happy how, you know, we've started with the, the, the split of the departments, right? This West Jurisdiction, East Jurisdiction, and the Texas Rangers it started off really well. And I'm very proud for everyone who, you know, really put in the effort and, uh, you know, kind of made it what it was. Unfortunately, and, you know, again, I'm not blaming this on every single sheriff, but with the lack of leadership, things have gone a bit, you know, a little, little south. And I've, I've been getting not only complaints from, you know, the, the general public and outrage and concerns, about the professionalism and the lack of remorse for innocent lives and things like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm lately in the last couple of weeks been, you know, trying to get my ears more on the ground and saying it, but I'm saying it myself. Now, again, I don't, I don't saying that, you know, it, it's an individual's fault. Like it all stems from leadership. And I feel like a lack of leadership has caused these problems. But in saying that, I have been, I have witnessed multiple sheriffs acting very unprofessional while they're up, got the badge on. Now, when y'all in your free time, I don't give a shit what you do. You can go around and th throw lassos at each other or, or, you know, spit on each other. I don't give a shit what y'all do in your personal time. <laughs> Matter of fact, I don't even want to know. <laughs> but when you've got that badge on and you've got that uniform on, I need y'all acting like goddamn sheriffs. Does everyone understand? Yes sir. Yes, yes, sir. sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now, back to the uh, east and west department. So, when, 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 the, you know, the jurisdictions got split and y'all started, everything was running smoothly. Y'all were helping each other. Y'all have, you know, given information. Now, I don't know where this all slipped up, but I've been seeing nothing but, you know, Y'all slandering each other and 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 you know bickering and it's become so toxic that I, I it, it's it, the fact that it it's got to me it, that, that I heard about this coming from you know civilians from voters it's a bad look on me you know I need to keep these votes and if I can't even make sure my department how are y'all meant to bring in criminals when you can't even you know work together. Dinger, is that you in the back? Yep. What's your job? Fight crime. Perfect. Mr. Hughes, what's your job? Fight crime. Well, look at that. We're doing the same fucking job. So why aren't we all acting like that? I don't want to see any more bickering between both departments when it comes to who's doing what. You're doing the same job. You need to work together. Uh, does that, everyone have any questions regarding that? Nope. Just like to say something on that, sir. Absolutely. Shoot, son. I have a feeling that it's, uh, a lot of the bickering is caused by incorrect rumors passed on by certain criminal organizations um, to them. And I, I know they don't jump to the conclusion that this is correct, but I believe that there's always that that feeling that they're, they're telling the truth, especially, especially the uh, recent... Uh, incident with Calder, Caldern, apologies, um, with the meeting with uh, acting sheriff uh, George Hughes. Um, he was explaining to people that uh, he's pretty much got a free ride in the West, which is incorrect. Um, then we had issues and we've uh, spoken to the East about, I believe that just the uh, the criminal aspect of things, spreading rumors is uh, is causing a, a bit of a rift. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm incorrect, someone just jump in, but that is a, a massive aspect in this. Well, let's say hypothetically that's true, son. Now, y'all the sheriffs. 
and y'all work off evidence. Because let me tell you, once those once people start going to those lawyers, y'all gonna need fucking evidence. Now, if y'all can't even get evidence together t b between each other to t about what y'all are saying about each other or what y'all doing with each other, then how y'all gonna do that in the, in the court in in the courts? You should be. I want y'all shares all working together, and y'all should be trusting each other. You know. You know, I get. I got a lot of fucking paperwork to be doing, and I don't have time to hit come have everyone come crying to me saying, "Oh, you know, these the, the, the east side are saying this about us, and the west side are saying this." Y'all, y'all ain't in school anymore. Are there any other questions? Are anyone confused about any of that? Just one point from me, sir. Shoot, Hughes. As far as I'm aware, on the west side, the only complication we've had with what was potentially the east side was those prank calls weeks ago. Apart from that, I, I'm unaware of any other issues. Well... If there's any, that this is the part, right? So, that you, you prank yeah. call each other, right? Well, can I just bring something up? Absolutely, shoot. I don't want to be that guy, but there's kind of, I felt a really big rift, you know? When the west side kind of sent all their criminals over to the east side. I get it, you're trying to save yourselves or whatever. But that kind of creates a tension. Um, and we've heard some things about what was said in that little meeting that they had, about what the criminal said. Sure, it could be lies, but it also could not be lies. So, where have you heard so, this information? Uh, the criminals that were sent over here. So, let me get this straight. You know they're wanted criminals, and you know that they've, you know, they've, they've got out for the sheriffs, and you're taking their word for that? They're trying uh, to... The, sheriff, the criminals are going to try and get in your head. Whether it be before they're in the cell, or even when they're in the cell. They're gonna be getting in your head. Now, we don't work off off rumors from-, from Jeb from was- sorry, Jeb was at the meeting, by the way. So Jeb could also confirm some of the things that were said. It's not uh, just the criminals. It, it was like a- it's Mr. Jeb, is Jeb and I here? No, Jeb's not here right now, but Jeb was at the meeting and- The meeting with Cal Dern? Yeah. That was one-on-one. -on -one. Jeb, Jeb was nowhere near Caldern during that meeting. Well, I have a question. Why are we doing deals with criminals at all? If they're criminals like you say, why are the sheriffs cutting deals at all? All right. Hold on. Let everyone stop. Someone explain to me what the hell's going on. Why is there being these meetings where... What, what exactly... Mr. Hughes, what happened in this meeting? So this is the meeting that was out on the Great Plains near Blackwater I told you about. I understand. You told me there was a meeting. You, didn't, you told me that you were trying to organize things peacefully. So what was the what was the end result of that? The agreement was that we took down the uh, the wanted posters of John Black and Caldern Wiles. In exchange, they said that they would uh, stop robbing sheriffs and such in the west side. And then within a week, he started beating up and threatening doctors. Let this be a reminder, Mr. Hughes. You make deals with, with criminals, they're going to give you nothing in return. It's always a sacrifice. It yeah, looks and like, like I said, sir, it wasn't in stone. I wanted to see what they would bring to the meeting. Hmm. It's not like we were going to just give them a free pass. If they then committed a crime, or if we could help with any crimes elsewhere, we will still assist. That I hope that goes without saying. And if anyone doubts that, then you can have my goddamn badge. Because I didn't go All up, right. stand under a tree, facing down 16 goddamn horsemen to get spoken to like that. All right, everyone, enough. Let's go back to the point. Regardless of what that what happened in that situation, what Mr. Hughes has just let me know that there was no he did. It's not like he's told them to go, you know, make make, you know, trouble in the east. Or anything like that. So you've just taken an assumption. And no, made no, it no, 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 no. I'm saying it creates te what he did creates tension for us. So there's those wanted criminals are still wanted in the east. They're still doing crime now, not in the west, but only in the east. And 
Well, so it creates let me, tension. Let me just stop you right there. Your job as a sheriff, if they're in your in your camp, if they're in your jurisdiction, you're, they're causing issues. You arrest them. That's your job. Yeah, I know that. I can That's be reached at the at. postal address of six if anyone needs to have a chat. Look, I don't think anyone's getting my point. You're saying you want us to work together? Well, if we're working together, that needs not. Tension like that shouldn't happen. Again, from what I've just heard, from the information I've been given, and the information that, that, that we've I've just gathered just right now, there is no intention that I can see that is making them making it sound like the West have purposely gone out of their way to make a problem in the East. You can you can disagree with me all you want, but until I see evidence or anything like that, that is how I see that and how I've taken that information. Forgive me if you will, but the way I'm taking what she's saying is it wasn't intentional, but it led to that complication kind of like so a domino effect. i understand boys but this is your job you are paid to bring in criminals regardless where they are so is he allowed to just make a deal that wipes all of their history in the west side like how, how does that I, make sense i'm not happy with that decision myself but we'll have a discussion with that privately because i need more information regarding that this is not the time to be discussing so i went straight to you after that meeting and i told you literally everything you told me there was a deal made. That's all I know. So we take down their wanted posters. That don't stop us if they then, within 15 minutes of doing Mi a crime, we can still charge them and send them to Sisica. Mr. Hughes, it's not was... the time right now. We'll uh, have a discussion about this Why is the this governor later. working with a known criminal? God damn it. Never uh. mind that governor, I'll deal with it. <laughs> Drama. All right, Mr. Hughes. We'll discuss that a bit later about this meet, this discussion, or whatever happened. We've already discussed it, sir. Mr. Hughes, not now. Yes, Miss Daniel. Yeah, I know. I've just heard. I understand. I just have to stand up and get some deep. Regardless, regardless, they can hear. There's nothing else that we can go on. All right, back to the point. The bottom line that I'm saying is in the in the end of the day, there is nothing that it shows intent that the West has purposely done to, um, to the East to do it. You still got to do your job. Is everyone clear? Anyone have There's anyone no not clear with about that. that? I'm not, I don't have any problem with doing my job. That's why I didn't complain about it. I just Perfect. let it happen. All right. Glad Doesn't that's... mean that it's not what I think. That's fine. All right. Well, with that said, again, this brings up now about the sheriff votes. Now, I know y'all were ex excited to have these sheriff votes happen. However, I've had I've been talking with the governor general, and based on the situation that's happened, I. I'm going to be postponing the, 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 the voting system for now because I need to make sure that this department can actually work together. In the last couple of weeks, I've not been able to see that. And I, I'm not blaming everyone individually. I, bl I blame it on the fact that we've not had a good leadership structure to start, to start things off well. I need people who are there that are transparent and giving us the information. So I'm going to be having my ears close to the ground when it comes to this stuff. So for the time being... The sheriff vote's not happening for quite a while, and in the place I'm, I've elected two sheriffs for the new for the jurisdictions. So, from today onwards, uh, Mr. Uh, Marcus Wolf is going to be the sheriff of the East jurisdiction, and for the for the West, we're going to have Mr. George Hughes as the sheriff. Now, on top of that. Because the the lack of leadership that we had from the start, I feel like we haven't got off on the greatest foot. So I want to have a complete fresh start, and I want everyone to show me and prove to me that y'all can work as a team, and y'all can organize yourselves in a, in a structured manner. So from today, everyone's rank is stripped, other than the two sheriffs. Now, I'm expecting those sheriffs to step up, and they're going to start put, allocating your ranks based on where you should be. And I'm going to have a close eye on this as well because I want to make sure everything's fair and everything's fine. So I want to make sure that goes to you, sheriffs. I want to make sure that 
you know, you're, you're taking in performance, you know, the, the, the hours on duty, everything when it comes to these ranks. And uh, I believe in your judgment, so do with that as you will. Uh, and that obviously means that there's a hole in the Texas Rangers, so I've got Miles stepping up to uh, be the head of the, the Texas Rangers. So does anyone have any questions or anything about that? Am I allowed to make deals? <laughs> Am I allowed to make deals with criminals? All right. No one has any questions, but if you, I, I know some of you might have something you might want to say. I'm more than happy to t talk to you all privately about it. But at the end of the day, I want to go back into talking about this goes back to the whole to issue we'll mention about working shit. together. Now, the sad thing that I've had to deal with in the last couple of you know weeks is hearing a lot of y'all Instead of telling me about the things y'all could improve in and things y'all can do, you're talking to me about things that everyone else could do better. Now, y'all want to, some of y'all want to be in leadership positions. Well, I don't think that's a good start for a leadership position. I want to know what y'all can do better, not what individual people are doing bad at. So I want you to take that into consideration when you move forward with this new change, all right? Other than that, that's all I've got with me today. So is there any questions or anything anyone wants to bring up before we uh, conclude this uh, meeting? I know it wasn't the greatest, you know, it wasn't the happiest of news, but I do believe we need this fresh start. And I do think this fresh start will uh, make things a bit more simpler. No one's got any questions? Oh, sorry, I do. Uh, Billy King in the back here. Um, when it comes to drug deal alerts, uh, responding to uh, ones that are constantly going off that are outside our jurisdiction, um, I just want to know what's a little bit of the process because I'd like to, you know, help out more, especially if it's uh, like Emerald, where if the West can't get to it or if they're not around, um, letting the East help. Well, as I said, this is what it talks about, you know, helping each other out. If you've got nothing happening, you set an alert and you can head out there. Shit, go down, help out. All I all I ask is if you see the other jurisdiction working on it currently, you go over and talk to them before you just interject into it. All right, perfect. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions or anything they want to bring up now before we uh, conclude this meeting? Perfect. Well, over the next couple of days, I'll be trying to fix up the paperwork to, with all the changes with the sheriffs and, uh, you know, the positions. But please always feel free to come and talk to me if you have anything you want to bring up. And uh, other than that, let's uh, let's try this new fresh start and hope that, uh, you know, we, we, we start seeing, uh, you know, uh, the people, the people, you know, feel protected and things like that. All right, everyone's dismissed. Yikes. Sorry, one second, everyone. My apologies. I've got uh, my two PAs have got some uh, news they want to bring about some events happening. I'll pass it over to you, Miss Panya. Hello. Um, Dottie and I have come up with a couple of ideas to um, help raise your funds um, at the expense of the governor here. Um, boxing. This Saturday, East versus West. Now, the um, Rangers can pick whether they want to fight for the East or the West, um, and you can pick two civilians um, to fight for your side. Um, however, you get them on your team is uh, completely and utterly up to you. Um, there is a very large cash prize that will go directly into your ledgers. So, um, yeah, is that something y'all would be interested in having on a semi-regular basis? <laughs> Don't uh, all jump for joy, guys. Yeah, no, I was going to say, and she's it's crowd, Christ. Crowd, Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Yeah. All right, I think, I think it's, good for, it's good for morale and um, oh, team building and all that. Oh, if people use me as a punching bag, they're more than welcome to, because i got nothing to hide. <laughs> God. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we've got a couple of um, events. Next ta uh, Taco Tuesday, there's a surprise event. Everyone, please bring your navies. Um, if you don't have navies, please go buy some. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a couple of events um, popping up here and there. 
um, to assist with funds and also just as a training exercises and um, just for fun, really. Sounds good. Awesome. Um, yeah, I guess y'all are dismissed now. The enthusiasm Thank is you. lacking, but y'all right. dismissed. Thanks, thanks everyone for the meeting. Jesus Christ. Thank oh you, Sage God. and Dotty. I look forward. You're welcome. Yes. Oh, I've never been so depressed in my life. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh wow. All right. I've never had an event just flop before it starts. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> okay. Cool. <clears throat> Thank, thanks for that. One. Yeah. You can go in your head here in the corner. It's a pleasure. Uh, yeah, as your governor, watching you in feet action feet. with your people. Hopefully that, uh, that envelope helps you out, alright? Uh, you up, brother. Howdy, sheriffs! Don't Hughes. forget your lollies! Mm -hmm. Don't forget your candy! I got good right. deals and we're stocked up! Oh, well, you'll be a bit happier, son. You, 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 you're uh, acting kind of sheriff. Quench your thirst. It'll Not also really, sir, to be honest. Stress. Why's that? With the, with the other department like accusing me of stressful. making deals at their expense, and you not even remember stressed. me telling you Absolutely. about that meeting I had with Cal Dern, it's a bit, bit bittersweet, to be honest with you. Son, I've got a lot of things I get told and talked to. I can't be expected to remember every single thing. And look, as I said, son, I, I did Hi, let them know that from what you've candy. told me, from the, the information you told me there, there's nothing that I feel wow. that you've okay, done in, 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 crowd, huh? in, in, in intent ah. to... Uh, so much to, for sheriff you know, supporting local issues, so. businesses. You could have made that known to all the lawmen in the room just before. What? Mr. Hughes, I literally just did. Come on, let's get the west side. Uh, what what, what part of me saying side. there was no intent or anything that I saw suggests that you did that anything malicious or intentful to the east jurisdiction? They weren't feeling it, and then they, they know we got another meeting about it. Yeah. That's because the reason I said we need another meeting about it is because I needed that conversation to end as soon as possible, son. Sometimes you got to make those decisions. All right. I just feel like it's putting doubt in if, their mind. If, 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 I, if I came straight to you and said, hey, you know, if, if, I, if we, we had to have a proper meeting about it, I would have said, God, hey, let's, let's, you know, let, I would have brought it up straight away, son. But the first thing I asked you is I thought you'd be a bit happy about being sheriff. I think that should be the intent enough that I'm not going to, uh, you know, bring it up. Because look, son, as I said to you at the time when that happened, because, you know, it, it's, it's rejogged my memory thinking about it. I do remember saying, look, sometimes, you know, you know, law, law work and criminal work is kind of like a tug of war system. Sometimes you got to, you know, give a little slack so you can get a bigger, bigger pull and yank them off their feet. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't, it, it ain't worth me being sheriff if it puts the whole department in a bad light and everyone's opinion is that we're making deals. Mr. Hughes, I wouldn't have made you sheriff if I didn't think that you had it in you. Yeah. Now, but when when you're talking like this to me, you're starting to give me doubt. Now, I don't I don't doubt you. I wouldn't have put you in that position if I didn't think you could do it. And this is and this is what I try to I try to spe uh, you know, get across the, the idea that this has all been rumors. In the end of the day, I don't care. Like you know, the you know, from what I've heard from that that meeting, I had what a, a, a sheriff telling me that they were told by criminals that they they made a deal with the West and were now punishing the East for it. Okay, maybe maybe it might be a you know a ten percent truth, but was that really the case? From the information you provided me and the the reports that I've seen, that's not the case. So. I just don't understand. Why am they Jeb? doing their job? I That's what it comes down to the end of the day. I know. I told Jeb before I came to you to pass all that on, and he asked what effect would this would it have on the East, and I said that Caldern said that there was no there was no reason to believe that they were they said they would cease robbing sheriffs and this and that in the West, but it didn't he did not imply that they were going to ramp things up in the east it was east it was business as usual look as i said son there's in the end of the day 
there's never going to be a right and wrong, you know, way to go about things. We have to deal with the information we have and what we can do at the time and with the resources we have. I'm not going to say the decision you made was the greatest decision. Not am I going to say it was the worst decision. You know, no, you, I, made, you I, made a decision based on the information you had and the things you could do at the time. Now, if that led to less people dying, less people, you know, innocent lives being, you know, injured or accosted, well, shit, I'm not going to be upset about that. That means more voters for me next year. Well, the only... Cal Dern, I believe, was, was shot down recently, so... I guess it all worked out. Well, and that's how these things work, son, but... All I'm going to say is when it comes to making deals, you always got to be careful because, you know, it, it's it, on paper. When, when, you're, when you're shaking that hand, you, it, it seems all, you know, everyone's all lovey-dovey in the air. You know, oh, we're all best mates. But the moment they walk away and they start murmuring and they feel like they've gotten the advantage, well, that's uh, when you start paying the ultimate sacrifice. And as you probably uh, saw, that, you know, yeah, you may have made an agreement to... Uh, them to stop hassling the sheriffs and hassling the Blackwater, but you know, doctors are free game. Well, they said they wouldn't, they'd cease all tomfoolery. Uh, you gotta, uh, if I've learned anything when it comes to dealing with criminals, you've gotta be very suspect, uh, specific, and in the end of the day, son, it's all, you know, it's all in words. Well, I didn't expect him to hold it up to the letter, but I told, that's what I told all the lawmen straight after. I said, you know, if they, if they slip up and do anything as per normal, we, we do our job as we They're would like any other day. Towns. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. At well, the end of the day, I just wanted to see what he'd do yeah, uh, and the, the, the numbers we were facing. But yeah, he rode it with about 20 horses, so it's really... You know, you know, I want to bring it back to what you are saying about, you know, when you were saying, you know, if, if being a sheriff is, you know, if it's going to be the, you know, cause a problem with between the other sheriffs, well, just... I'm going to recall, I'm going to recall a situation. So hear me out first. All right. There was a time that I remember I was walking over to you boys and you all were talking to a one John Black and a, a group of his, you know, little, little servants for all I know. <laughs> and then y'all were trying to bring him in peacefully, trying to do the right thing. And then they pulled a gun on my head. Yep. Now, I still remember that. I still remember the feeling. I, I thought that was it. I thought I was done for. And the the, the, the the fear I had when I had my sheriffs yelling out, you know, put your gun down or we're going to shoot or we're going to, you know. I, think I, I, was, I was terrified. I thought this is me. This is the end for me. And it took the decision making of yourself to say no. Everyone, put your guns down. We're not ending this bloodshed. We're gonna and you made a deal with them. With that, you put your guns down. They put their guns down. They walk what? out of town scot free. And because of that, I stay alive. Ingo. And then I remember hearing a whole bunch of people running up There's and saying, an "Oh, that's bullshit. We shop. shouldn't have been doing that. We shouldn't have been doing X, Y, Z. Yeah. You know. And and you know, again, let's say that did go to shooting and say unfortunately knock on wood I, I did lose my life that day well i wasn't going to get angry and the fact that, that that outcome that happened again i'm not going to get angry and that's the part of being what it is to be a sheriff it's about making those decisions and sticking to them and you did that and for a lot of times when i you know if i do pull people up and i do think i uh, do see things that maybe aren't doing right all i expect y'all to do is go all right son I'll, I'll remember that for next time you know, a lot of a lot of what you're going to deal with is being a sheriff is dealing with people telling you that, no, this should have been done this way. And this is when you pull rank and you say, well, son, this is my decision. I'm the highest rank and that's what I, we do. And if they do give you that information, you take it on with, the, you know, uh, you know, take it on the chin and be like, sure, son. But unfortunately, this decision I made and I'm the sheriff. I'm happy to wear him. I just I'd hate to ruin the, the rep reputation of the entire Lord West Law Department just. Just, they don't, they just... Again, son. It, again, and this is what I tried to talk about in that meeting. Again, all I heard was someone like uh, was essentially people b believe in criminals over the, uh, the, 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 uh, the 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 sheriff's department themselves. So that's already that. worrying to me. Why why are they we trusting you know criminals over our own bro our brothers and sisters? That's why I ma I made all these hard changes today. This is why we I'm stripping everyone's rank and you know we got a whole new sheriff and do I, I put everyone back down to deputy? I 
they're all currently I'm I'm saying they're all currently deputy because it's up to y'all. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it unless I'm seeing, you know, maybe some something being unjust about it. But in the end of the day, it's up to y'all. Y'all are gonna have you have better eyes and ears on these things than I will. I've got other things I need to take care of at the same time. I will be watching, but I won't be, you know, I, I'm not gonna tell you how to do, you know, how to do your ranks and how to, you know, where people should belong. The only reason we I'm with I want to start fresh and have people think because I do believe that due to the old you know the old leadership and the, the the missing of people the people were just put in ranks just you know for the heck of it not so much that you know they've earned it or believe to be there and you know and I don't want to speak ill of people but you know I need people who you know in higher ranks that can do the job and most of all you know be a decision maker. And that's the thing that's the hardest thing is I don't care if, you know, if, if, you, if people make the wrong decision. I just need them to make a decision. I can do that, sir, and I can wear it. And as long as you don't feel like it's going to bring the whole department down, I'll, I'll do the best I can. And then, look, if I'm not voted in when the vote comes around, that's fine. Yeah, we'll come across that when that, that, that table comes. All I ask from you is you be transparent with me if, if, if you have any issues, you have anything, and, and also your marshals. Go straight to your marshals if you have who, any who problems is, or issues. Who is our marshal, sir? Well, you got Mr. Ames and uh, Mr. Walker, so they both will be t coming in every now and then, but if you don't have them, you can always, obviously, you can always send them a telegram, or uh, you know, worst case scenario, you can always come to me. I'll, I can pass on the message myself. Alright, and look, uh, sir, and again, I, I swear to you, the only things Cal Dern and I discussed was he asked their posters come down. In exchange, they would calm down in the West. Especially stop. They were robbing sheriffs every day. Every day they were robbing, holding them up between towns. They said they would calm that down for a, for a short time. And then they said that they would start, they would go, uh, you know, go teach some manners to some of the smaller gangs up in Valentine. And that was it. That was the... But then I, I told... You know, it was very much clear between us that if, say, they broke the law or anything, it's, well, you know... That, 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 uh... You know, charges and that, they come straight back. You know, it's not a clean... It's not a, it's not a free... It was a clean slate, but that don't mean it's a free pass. Uh, and look, son, as I said... When, I, when we were just talking about it briefly, you know, you make the decisions based on the information you have, the resources you have, and the, you know, the info, like, essentially what you have at the time. And if that, if you're at the time where you don't have the resources on to, you know, be, you know, fully protected and have a thing, well, you do what it take, means the best for, you know, saving innocent lives. And if it means making, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say uh, you know I, I'm, I'm never gonna condone making businesses with uh, you know with, with with criminals but in the end of the day like I, if you think it's gonna save oh, lives you and, guys look like you might be talking you know I'm all those type of things no. you make those decisions I ain't touching there I'm just well, watching considering her. that he you was within a week he was face. Oh, so you're not visible. I won't be doing that again. Um, through my eyes, yeah, that's I what I said, son. You're gonna learn a lot of these things. I I, when I was a marshal, I had to learn those Where'd things myself. And I'm gonna be honest with you, son. I've had to make some bad, yeah. oh, bad that? deals in my time, and like yeah. most of them, they yeah. never turned yeah. out the way I wanted them to. But you know, if you're, you sometimes, yeah, can we you know, the when you've got people you care about, and especially your, your your fellow sheriffs and things like that. You, you make those deals friend. if you have to. So. Well, I can't pick up my. I beaver. just know, just know my from official, alive. from official perspective, when I'm, you know, let's say, you know, when I'm not not on duty and I'm not the working as a governor, I, I totally understand, and I wouldn't fault you for doing it one bit. But from a professional sense, I have to say I'm that sorry. I don't never condone that type of stuff. All right. All right. Well, I might, I might try and have a sit down with the, uh, the east. All right, son. Oh, if you have any issues, too. always, always come knock on my door or send me a telegram. I'll always. Have yeah. a look and see what I can do for you, son. We'll do, we'll do, sir. We'll do. I'll do my best. All right. I know. I better get back out there. Whew. <laughs> Did you method take me? Oh, I, I, I don't. Uh, wait for me, Hughes. Just need to speak to Smalley. Thank you, it's not mine. I don't know where it is. That sounded wrong. It's hers, sorry. I, I didn't mean I stole it, it's her horse. Oh my god, Monty. 
that that's that's Frank. That's Thank you. Ding it, Kenneth. Oh, Poncho. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh God. Are you Your okay? name's Monty as well. It is. Yes, yeah. it's another Monty. Actually. Hey, Kenneth. Yes, yeah, sir. Dude, double Monty. Monty up. Bubble. Everyone calls me Bubble. Hello. So. Got two Monty's. Kenneth, I was wondering if 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 y'all got the time, could could I have a a sit down with the entire East Department in your your fine precinct? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh fuck. Fine. Uh, oh God. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll have we're, to we're all there now. Are we? I'll go I'll go wait over there. Alright. And uh, I'll grab yeah, if y'all are free within the next five to ten, I'd love to have a chat with y'all. Alright. Nice. Nice. I'll, 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 I'll get I'll get Dinger and uh, King and uh, Alright. King with Hi Mr. Uh, Hughes. Uh, we'll hey William. Walk... What's over there? How'd yeah, the wedding go? Still processing it. I've already got I've already got items on my list. I need action like right now, so I, I can't stop to chat. I need to get to the East Department right now. Well, uh, Maya, I've heard, so congratulations. Oh. And uh, I will say, don't tell Cynthia anything. Right. I want to hear everything first. Okay. Mr. Hughes. Miss Wheel, I'm going to tell you, Grammy, as soon as I'm free, okay? I'm... I'm, All right. I am extremely busy right now. Please. Uh, no, I can see All that. Right, you take your time. Back away from the I will wagon. be a moment. Who the hell is driving? Hey, fellas, I gotta. I'm gonna. Somebody I'm gonna head over to the. I'm gonna head over to the east department and have a chat with them about. Uh, about I'm their so concerns. sorry. Oh, oh, please, please. Yeah. oh good. Watch out, please, 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 I'm please, 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 I'll, I'll get back the over there as soon as I can. I better, I better have a okay. This thing is so really hard to steer, no okay? You guys I'll don't know. There. I, on, hey, I think I do know, and I think you're just not I doing it right. So many people are here. Like, um, I have to have a crop, so I'll be back. Oh. Yeah. Well. Gracious. Hey, sassy. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, sassy. I really don't know. Well, mate, what to say is, you know, you're one of the best. I don't feel like it right now, but I'll, I'll try and keep that in mind. You wanna go for a drink or something? No, I'd love to, but I gotta. I'm. I'm gonna try and have a meeting with the East Department right now, and then I better get back over to the West and come up with a game plan over there. I just, I, uh, I don't know how to feel about it all. It just something don't feel right. Yeah. Like the governor says, you know, it's it's a lot of making the hard calls. You know, I'm happy to do that, but now there's extra weight to it with this role. And yeah, it's what, what it was like when I became a head doctor, mate. <laughs> I came gave it to Dolores because I couldn't handle it anymore. I didn't know that. Yep. Damn. Well, I'm just glad I've got in the back of my head that there's going to be a. A law vote, so look, if I'm not cut out for it, if people don't want me as sheriff, then they can make it known and no hard feelings and we'll move on from there. Now, I feel like who's going to be better qualified than you, though, mate? Someone that don't make deal with, deals with criminals, apparently. Oh, uh, I feel like that's a load of shit. I, thought, I really thought I explained it to You're protecting, protecting your own, mate. What, what, are you else, what else are you supposed to do? Let them fucking shoot up the town and fucking keep robbing fucking sheriffs. They... You try to end it peacefully. You, you're a peacekeeper. That's what you're trying to do. And I, I, I swear I checked to make sure that it wasn't just, you know, sweeping it under the under the rug of the east. I, I, there was no, as far as I'm 
can remember, there was no discussion of, you know, they're going to ramp up anything to East or anything like that. They said they were going to be going after... That, that, that large group, they were going to be going after the smaller gangs in Valentine as, as their fun on the West, so I don't, I don't understand. But oh well. Well, I guess gang, gang on gang violence really isn't your fucking... Well, it, it sounded like they were thing, gonna, I guess. They were going to teach them some manners, so to speak. I figured... You know, let the gang Yeah, see better them than the fucking sheriffs, I guess. But it's... We just... No one was able to catch him. Or John Black. Like... Yeah. I think, a, I think a week had gone by and no one was able to do anything about him. And it's just... Every day, sheriffs are getting robbed. Trying to execute Harkness. And just nothing could be done. There's too many Jesus. of them. They're, they're too smart. Um... I'm fucking amazed that Harkness is still alive, to be honest. Yeah, well, he, the I, man is basically Swiss cheese, mate, and I don't know how he's alive. He got himself, he got himself over here to this meeting somehow, which is. I know. I was playing. I was watching him the entire time. Poor guy's literally mending a, a fresh wound. Oh well. Well. Look, the East Department will hopefully be coming over here in a minute, and I'll have a chat with them. And... Yep. At the very least, I'll just apologize if it causes any issues on their behalf. And that's not what I intended, but I can see if that's if that's just how it went down, then so be it. I'll wear it. Well, my drink with you still stands, mate. Just send me a message whenever you want to have go for a fucking drink. I appreciate Calm that, down. Sexy. I really appreciate that. I'm probably going to need that over the next few days. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, I better wait for him to come back. Alright, I'm going to go try and find the governor, because I, I, I owe him a drink, because I kind of heard him a little earlier. I think everybody saw that. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I pushed right, him sassy. over by well, mistake. You take care of I yourself, give him the right? old fucking sassy hello, you know? Oh. Take care. Alright, uh, see you, mate. Goodness gracious. They're probably not going to show up. <laughs> They're probably going to deliberately just not come over here. Oh, Wolf in the East is... will be amazing. Go. Okay. Fuck, I'll go grab him. Okay. You're right. Yeah, that he's grabbing King. Yeah. All right. I think King probably ran into the gunshots. To be fair. Oh, the whistle. Secured. <laughs> oh, right, did you want to go inside or? Uh, I'm sure we could be fine. I don't think there's anyone around. 
All right, just taking on the, the words of the governor real serious. I just wanted to be absolutely transparent that when I had that sit down with Caldern, there was no plan or there was no intention for it to ever have any negative effect on the East. And I understand it's easy for me to say that, considering that within a week he was threatening doctors and attacking doctors and, you know, they're all lying sacks of shit. So I sincerely apologize if it came across like that and, and for any repercussions that may have had. Yeah, it's right. It's just, it caused a big disrupt over here and it was just horrible timing because there was a lot of people talking shit to each other and then hearing that has happened as well and then the influx of crime that happened here and then them expecting that our wanted stuff was also going to be um, like uh, destroyed um, or whatever. What? Do you want do you want to know what I heard? Would that help, George? Sure. So basically, um, my understanding from what I've heard from kind of either whispers or being told directly was that obviously after your deal was to tear up the posters, um, yeah. in return they got some sort of gun back or um, besides the wanted poster and in exchange they, get a they gun helped back. you... Co there, some, some, a rifle, I don't know. Yeah, Woodman got a rifle back. Woodman um, got a rifle back. And then they would help you clean up the scum in Valentine That's and right. they go said easy go on the sheriffs in the West, which then in turn meant they were going to, uh, even though you didn't say anything or they said anything, it meant they were going to apply more pressure in the East. Because yeah, they, he didn't, from what I recall, he didn't specify that they were going to take it all out over here. They, they were, they were pretty keen on, uh, essentially teaching some manners to the, the smaller gangs in Valentine which sounded like the fun they were going to have over our way. Yeah. Look, I don't really, I mean, I don't hold anything against it. I was just bringing it up because it was a, a big point of contention. Is that the word? Probably I not. I think so. I think so. I hope so. It just meant they didn't want to disrupt the deal that they had with you, so they were going to hit us harder to basically say that hey we're not we're going easy on you guys west but we're going to hit them double now yeah it's hard mm. look i didn't expect them to go and go honoring their deal and i I'm, it was very sad to hear but i was not surprised to hear them attacking and threatening doctors within a couple of days of having our chat um yeah that's that's all very frustrating i just wanted yeah it's, it was daily. You can always hope for the best. But. It was daily that uh, sheriffs were getting robbed, sheriffs were getting executed, um, and, ju and just nothing, nothing could be done. And I just, I just wanted to have a chat and see what I could find out, or at least yeah, see, I mean, see what they do. It seems like your intentions were good. They were, and now I can see what kind of that, that, that considering anything like that in the future is off the table because you just they, they there's no honor over there with that it's a collateral damage we were yeah yeah well i have to find marcus to see what his plan is and then but i appreciate i appreciate your talk and i think that we can all smooth this over and we'll have so much fun yeah Oof. i just wanted to be absolutely transparent that yeah i am of course i'm sincerely sorry for any negative effects that had and yeah um, I will not be but, looking to do anything like that again no look, oh, yeah, uh, you're right. you had the best intentions but obviously it's uh, it's well, that's what uh, Cal Dern did from everything I've heard about him he would come in and make it look like you were getting a good end of the deal but he would twist and turn and um, yeah do his best to make sure that he won at the end of the day uh, and unfortunately, George, like you and I have spoken before then, and I've had no animosity at all, but I wasn't too happy with the deal, of course, either. But, yeah, it's it shit. We were just collateral damage with it all. It's not, I know, at least from my point of view, you would never intend to fuck us over, because we all, the I feel like everyone here gets along. The way he but spoke, he said he, they would just treat the East as normal. It didn't, he yeah. didn't say that they were going to ramp anything up. No, the, the, the issue is, and of course, I get that it's only from the criminal's mouth, but every night, you know, we were getting told after a few of us got their heads blown off or robbed several times in one day because they were, like, doubling up here to compensate, and they would tell us that it's because of said deal. So I think that's why, especially for Tessa, that's why 
she got so riled up about it because she yeah. was in particular a target, like Harkness was um, yeah, on no, your side. That's, I can't believe that. Yeah, there's truly no honor yeah. among thieves. None at so all. Is it, no. So just, it just blew up, unfortunately, and uh, we can all move on now, of course, and I appreciate you coming to pull, but yeah, I'll wear that's, it. at least from, that's, that would be Tess's point of view, so. No, absolutely fair. Yeah. Absolutely fair. Well, thanks for listening, y'all, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah, and um, it was just, just to add, like, n none of us have any ill will towards the West or anything, but it's, it's a bit hard to do our job when, you know, like, you hear what people say or, like, and when it, people are saying it's coming directly from some of the, um, you know, the lawmen, it's like, we're yeah, supposed to be sure a team here. And mm -hmm. it's like it's hard to <laughs> keep your morale yeah. up when it's your uh, when it feels like uh, your your own uh, your own brothers with a badge, uh, you know, put kicking you while you're down. No, uh, if if I hear of any of that happening while I'm as sheriff until the the vote comes, I'll be putting my foot down because I'm I'm sick of it as well. Because that's what um, I was saying that uh, about like the, the drug reports. Like if we're getting them constantly, we want to be able to assist you. Um, quickly, so that because you know, once they move from Ember, they're going to move into up, up to Van Horn or up to Wapiti or back into your thing. So we, we just want to help. Yeah, yeah. No, it is one big team effort. All right. Well, uh, did Wolf say he was coming right back? He's he's getting changed. And then he's coming to have a talk to us. Okay. East what, about what he wants. Yeah, I won't take up any more of his time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know how long he'd be. Can you just let him know that I'd love to get in touch with him o over the next few nights, just to have a sit down yeah. with him? Yeah, I'm sure. Not I'm tonight, sure. maybe. I'll, I'll tell him, and you guys can. Uh, can you let him know my uh, my postal ID is six? Yeah. And, sure. Uh, if you can just reach out, then we'll have a, a sit down o over the next few nights, and we'll make sure we're all on, truly all on the same page. Oh, oh, here he comes. Yeah. I'll quickly tell him that, and then I'll get out of here. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. I'll probably no get back judge. to the other side of the pond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what a ride. Hey, Sheriff. Sheriff. Oh, uh, look. Um, we'll, we'll, we will talk. We'll, I was we'll just about up. to say, uh, my postal ID is six. Yep. Um, I'd love to have a sit down with you. Yeah, we do. We need to. Over the next we few will. nights and yeah, get yeah, on right. the same page. Any advice you've got for me and... You yeah. reach out. You Let's... reach out. Fucking reach out. So, at send, any, any point in time. Send me a telegram. Yes. With a with minus a night, fifteen. With a night fifteen. Yes. All right. Yeah. Tomorrow night or tomorrow night um, or Saturday night would be best. Let's go Saturday night. Let me get, let me have some time with the deputies here. We, we yeah. Gotta, Saturday we night sometime. Let's uh, yep. let me know what time it right. suits you and let's make it happen. All right, partner. I appreciate you. Good luck out there. You're gonna do a fucking. You you know it. You just hey. Remember your training. Remember the Boston folk. Okay. That's the main thing. Yeah. You got this, Hughes. You know. You know. You got this. All right. Take a take a breath. Okay. And now realize that your department is now fixed. Okay. All right. I will do. We'll do. Good. Thank you. All right, partner. I'll talk to you soon. Saturday night. Saturday night. Sit down with Wolf. <coughs> it's a. He's, his voice is the best. His voice is actually the best. All right. Let's see if any Westies are still around. I better get back over Excuse to Blackwater. Me. Oh, hello? Sorry, we, uh, Mr. you need a hand? Yes, Sheriff. Yes. Uh, I'm here, uh, from Amberino. Where's, where's, sorry? Amberino. Amberino, yep. Yes, I've been told to, uh, come down to you and, uh, train in some law. Oh, oh, you're, you're interested in joining the, the, the West jurisdiction? Uh, no, no. I'm. Uh, you see, we uh, we are building, establishing uh, 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 some law up in uh, Amberino. And, oh, uh, up north. I'm here to train Hi. and Have understand the Smiley? ways of the east Sorry. and the west. Oh, so you just want to do a bit of training <laughs> oh time God. with the west, so that you can then uh, get the the sort of the, the northern jurisdiction under underway. Yes, yes. If I oh. if I may. Yeah, of course, partner. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. My name's a. Uh, <laughs> Weird to say, uh, 
Sheriff Hughes, Sheriff George Hughes, at your service. What was your I'm name, Barnum? Ato. Ato is the name. Ato, nice to meet you. Mm. All right. Well, um, oh goodness, is there a is there a particular time you'd you'd like to come over and sort of get a? Uh, you you tell me when. Uh, you know, I'm happy to come whenever uh, you're available. Would a tomorrow night suit, by any chance? Uh, yes, yes, tomorrow night would suit. Look, uh, uh, yeah, I imagine any time between, uh, uh, you know, around 6 p.m. and, uh, you know, over the next handful of hours, you definitely come down to the uh, the Blackwater uh, Sheriff's Department and to try and get a hold of myself. Um, if I am not there, you can reach me at my post ID is just simply the number six. Ah, thank you. Yes, the, uh, the governor uh, mentioned that uh, I may train with you for uh, a few weeks and then train with the East Department, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's... Um, uh, no, we, we'll you, make that uh, work. Yeah, that's... Um, yes, do you know if the uh, East Sheriff is around? Oh, I just, I just saw him uh, just down left down on the corner just there um he was there with the rest of the deputies just now um hopefully they might still be outside the department or they may have headed inside or they may have moved on but you might catch him if you go now okay i appreciate it uh, yeah, I'll post, see ID you, uh, six. Tomorrow night. postal id six okay no worries nice to meet you nice to meet you all right so we're having a chat to the governor so i'll give them a minute Logs come in. Howdy. 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 Mr. Hughes. Just having a little bit of a debrief. Oh, yeah, no worries. No. All right, boys. Well, if there's anything y'all need from me, you know where my office is, but if mm -hmm. uh, I'll let y'all all get to catching up. So Will if do. you need me, you know where I'll be. Is your leave ended, sir? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Jeez, that, that is not how I saw all that going, but do what we do, I guess. Very true. All right. Well, I'm going to be begin the ride back. Um, if you guys got any take the boat. business to see to, I'm, yeah, I'm going to need just the ride to think, and I'll, I'll see you there. Looks like okay. we a recruit coming in tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to have a sit down with Mr. Wolf on a we got another night. one, if you don't know yet, sir. So. Oh, another one? Uh, yeah, Zane. But, Zane. Oh, excellent. Um, did you happen to catch a, a post ID? Uh, no, but he's been doing ride-alongs with us for the last few days so he's pretty competent oh excellent right, we'll see if we can get a hold of him tomorrow night and yeah if uh yeah if he can if he can join me for my sit down with ato tomorrow night that'd be good just to get everything done in you know, okay. many birds with okay. a couple of stones well, so to speak. he's my notice of leave for uh I'll, I'll call it midnight friday to uh mm, i reckon afternoon wednesday i'll be unavailable no, that's um, I'll that's slip a note enough. in your pocket right now, and uh, you'll understand why. And I hope it's okay. No, no, yeah. If you need to take some leave, hey, I, I can. Uh, I am one to talk from experience of how important leave is when you need it. Especially you, Jack. If you need to go mend some wounds or anything. Yeah, that's all good. Part of having that chat with Calder is I didn't want people like yourself still getting. 
That's understandable. Fucking you did the right thing. There's that note in your pocket, sir. Oh, thank it. What well, the yeah? No, yeah. Whenever you whenever you've got leave or anything, just yeah, just say the word and just take your time to enjoy your, enjoy life. You know, we will. What the East told me, Letty doesn't even know. Oh yeah, Letty. Yeah, she doesn't even know what's going on. It's a lot to take in. Um, no, it is. Yeah. Look, I'm my my focus. My focus over the next few weeks until this vote happens is 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 primarily look i know you boys got your boots on the ground regularly doing excellent work um just you just keep up what you've been doing and i'm going to be trying my best to get recruitment drives happening uh, community enrichment training uh, up recruits so do you mind if i jump in and say something i've already started um i've got some making some posters for some uh, recruitment oh beautiful let's uh oh. yeah just swing them by my desk and I'll yeah, once he's done with them, he'll be able to send them through um, by telegram and I'll show one to you. I'll give it, the, give it the old look over and if it's all good, let's get them up and... You know, and one I'll thing that uh, I was like, I got invited to that meeting purely for the negotiations guidelines and nothing was brought up about it. Oh, really? So that's great. Yeah, yeah. I li he, I, he literally said, I'm inviting you because of that reason. I was like, all right, cool. And then what nothing was said and I was like, oh, I'll just go. You know, cool, Should have brought it up then. Yeah, I, I just didn't feel like it was more of a sheriff meeting the whole time, yeah. like a, a high rank uh, leadership. Yeah, well, the um, gist I got was we made the governor look bad. That's what he's upset about. It all comes down to these damn votes. And that's all he gives a shit about. It's, yeah, it's. I give a shit about it if he else wants to be voted back in. Yeah, but uh, no, I've seen I've seen your notes regarding negotiations and everything, Sledge. So when it comes to it with a, a new batch of recruits, if you want to take the, the lead on a. Definitely. On negotiation training, it is all Call yours. Call me the West Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd love to do that. Uh, so the guidelines is just a guideline. There is no SOPs and never will be. Um, that's the governor speaking, and I agree. Um, it's yeah. just a little bit of paper that help you out in the future because obviously oh, that... they come from the, the rangers hey. as a deputy to us. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd actually like to, uh, I don't know about your opinions on um, the captain's position is an undersheriff position. Maybe you could ask, maybe change that because, I'd, or separate it. Uh, and maybe, fuck, I'm always hungry. Um, yeah, these, these, I'm seeing, hope you don't have bananas because they ain't so no quick. shit. I've had like three meals too. in the last 20 minutes. Anyway, um, what's your opinion on bringing in a new rank into the, uh, once we get numbers, of course, uh, as a, once you leave the Texas Rangers, you start as an assistant deputy for a week just a week and no. that time you can learn the the, the whole rigmarole sisica because obviously texas rangers can't teach sisica um uh, negotiations etc because they don't have that many bank robberies down there so I'm definitely same page i felt the same way i just felt like there was just a few holes that need plugging just before they fully yeah pledge themselves to the west and and just that final you know yeah have ride-alongs for a week you guys suss them out i'll have a sit down with them just we don't want another Richard Gray situation. Yeah, that was all Bowman and maybe higher up at the end. That's, yeah, just want to avoid that, but no, I 100% agree. It's like, so what, what did you call it? Uh, the rank, sir? The assistant deputy? Assistant deputy, yeah. so the, um, it's mainly like, I wouldn't, not recruits, I think that's a bit demoralizing. Yeah, no, they're past that. Call yeah. them in a, an assistant for a week, and if they're capable, um, get someone in a a leadership position to you know let the sheriff know or you know what i mean just to go yep he's capable or up promotion to deputy yeah um, i feel like just that as a as a nice uh fail safe. Pay rise just uh just a responsibility rise so yeah nah, once you're an actual deputy you can uh fall on your own sword if you fuck up <laughs> i 100 so. agree yeah it'll be the the, uh, I just want deputies to be able to be, act. yeah, I just want to call it that. I just want the deputies to be uh, understandable. Once you become a deputy, you are responsible for your own actions. If you're a senior deputy, mm -hmm. sorry, an assistant deputy, you are still responsible for your own actions, but there is leeway for learning. Oh, yes. That, uh, yes, yes. No, that's, no, exactly right. That sounds good. All right, that sounds good. So get a hold of Zane, get a hold of Ato, get this happening. You'll get the posters, yeah, just slide them across my desk. If everything checks out. Yeah. I'll give my stamp approval, get him up. Um, yeah, I've got to figure out what the hell he means by clean, like clean slate with all the ranks. But in my eyes, Jack, 
Jack, you're still a captain in my eyes. Thank you. And uh, you boys just keep been doing what you've been doing. Um, yeah, I just want to get I these. Think. I want to. If there's one thing I want to be able to say I've done between now and the vote, even if I don't get voted in, is that I helped get in a lot of new recruits and passed on what I know to them, and we got the numbers again. That's that's my goal. That's a good idea. Do we might need to change our vest color too. There's a lot of people wearing this color now. It's criminal. Oh, there's like three different groups of posses wearing red vests. Yeah. And they've been, they've been robbing people, and people think like walk up to them without guns out, thinking it's us. I'm going to think about a sort of like a new basic guideline of the uh, of the uniform but I think I think it's a uh, I think it's within reason that if people aren't ain't, a, ain't too fond of the white shirt with the tie and the, the vest that a red shirt with the tie is, is fine or even a uh, even if you want to change the, the tie colors deputy black and then that uh, blue red gold or something for the ranks just to so people look at you and go oh red oh he's got a blue and it's Why? nice and subtle. Excuse it's, me, gentlemen. Yeah. Please yeah, make sure to go buy dollies, lollies, and Do you have any support. on you right now? I'll pay you right now. I'm about to pass out. Oh, shit. Are you okay? I'm like... Oh, really right, careful. Man. What do you need? Dollars. Um, just food. Could even go like the red uh, colour shirt and black vest or something. Yeah. Uh, but I, I will, uh, I will be talking to Wolf there? about, you know, considering like coloured ties and stuff on uh, Saturday night. Uh, 75. Saturday What's night, cool? I'm going to have a sit down with Wolf and dollars. get um, a yeah, I'll try to make Saturday night. Todd, get your horse. Move your damn horse out of the walkway. 92. What? Move Howdy your horse man. out of the walkway. That's all where horses go. Thank you very much. You're going to hurt somebody. Jack's, Jack's man in a wound. I need this. I'm about to pass it up. You are very welcome, that should. Thank you so much. Get How much extra do I need? Uh, do I this horse there. Nah, that's, oh, you're man. good. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> I really thought that was good. Oh, yeah, Marcus I'll take one free West. crime. That, that would have been that, really gentlemen? nice. I heard that, that you guys, I heard really from the walls nice. that you guys work with uh, criminals. How yeah. crazy is that? I overheard She'll a lot of things. She'll give you uh, a year's worth of lollies for I'm one free crime. I'm not I'm a criminal because I run a lolly shop. I'm quite innocent as they come. I'm sweet nah, you're never done and small. I've never seen you do crime in your life, man. Never. I'm gonna make, <laughs> but you could start. I'm going to make one thing very clear is that the West Lord Department are happy to talk to criminals to try and find that they do have a, a bit of soul left. But if at the end of the day, if they do the crime, they will be doing the time. Yeah, fuck those criminals. I heard that Harriet um, is a very yeah, go good lady. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Because we work in St. Denis and everyone that owns a business in St. Denis are legit and nice. Women, actually. Do you gentlemen know that? Yeah, Every business owner in St. Denis is a woman. Uh, Except for Ingo, but we I don't talk that. about Ingo. <laughs> what is he on? But um, besides that, uh, oh, that's countywide. St. Denis is women owned. Oh, so please yeah, support. Yeah, like Valentine's as well. Please support the. the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. look. I'm just saying that if you don't support me or support Harriet. Uh, we've given Walter a warning. If he keeps yelling, he's getting done for public yeah, disturbance. Yeah, fuck Walter. Love it. Oh, Love it. No, I, I, I trust you boys to have good judgment. Yeah, yeah we need, a, need, we need to stomp on their vigilantism in Valentine too. They're getting a bit out of control. They, they're welcome to defend themselves, look after their friends, but there's a line where it's if it gets that point, they need to just they need to get a hold of hold of us. Well, sir, there is a massive difference between self-defense and initiation. Yes. Yes, there Swing is. and dig an ego is not self-defense. That motherfucker brought 15 people in front of my store and caused an ob like a Excellent big call. problem. All right, Harkness, <laughs> Sledge, you enjoy your boat. Ride back. Ride back. Huh? Ride yeah. back with Woodman and bring him up to speed. All right. Lou Hackley. Yes. I'll see you back there. I'm pretty impatient, sir. Guess what? The wood sheriff <laughs> oh. just said we yeah. can have one free crime. Yeah, the yeah, West Shepherd one free crime. Now. Now. The West uh, Shepherd. Let's try and jump my horse on that ramp. Todd, I need to ride back to Blackwood. You riding with me? Uh, okay. Doom everywhere. Fair I think enough. isn't that right, Mr. Hughes? One free crime in the east or the west? No. You went. You went specific. So, so not in the east, just the west. It's no. That is. It's off the table. You can thank that on. No. The, you can blame that on Cal Dern. Wait. We tried to smooth things dead? over, and then within days he was beating up doctors. So there is no honor among thieves. That group, they have no honor. They can all rot in hell. Oh my goodness. This with well, Mr. Hughes. Uh, uh, Mr. Hughes, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but Caldon is is dead. He died. 
Uh, that's a damn shame. Something. He should have gotten a job. Right. Uh, right. Uh, well, um, as per usual, nice seeing you, gentlemen. Stay safe, Lou. I'm gonna go do my one free crime. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Yes, Congratulations, Luke. mate. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I heard about it. Congrats. Uh, yeah. So, uh, congrats. <laughs> Look, it's it's not exactly the greatest circumstances, but you know, yeah. What can you do? There you go. What can you do? Well, I just want to say congratulations, and I'll leave you guys to it. So, if you guys, good to see you. Likewise, no, mate. Always, if you need anything, like I said, I'm back in the uh, saddle. Very nice. Alrighty. So you're back to being the... Yeah, very um, good. Well, Luke can listen to this, he knows. Um, so, a few days ago, I think it was last Saturday, was it not, Harness? We did a Evans run so. with what yes, we had. Right. Um, we made $2,000 to the ledger. Um, just, yeah, we just decided to do it because no one's around. We need some money. We're running out, so... Hope that's okay with you. No, yeah, no, well, if, if I'm handling all this uh, other stuff now, so yeah, you boys organize those runs yeah. when you see fit. We figured, uh, we found out that I can do it now, so. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm going to have the time for that now with all this other stuff, so you, all right. you boys playing that uh, when you'd like. Yeah, we only had what I had in my personal locker, but now I'm um, just letting you know as well. Not sure if you know, uh, our evidence locker now works for weapons. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Okay, I will move what I've got no. from my locker into that. Yeah. So Can you do that to Woodman, please? Uh, just what just be careful. Last time I did it, it ate my Navy revolver. <laughs> yeah, it ate mine. And it, uh, <laughs> it, it had trouble with uh, Evans repeaters and carbine repeaters. Uh, I heard word they're going to be adding that to the uh, the list. So. Oh, thank God. But yeah, it, it, Grab a, write down your your uh, serial number before you do it if you need to. Yeah. Just uh, take take note of what weapons you do have on you, what notes, what weapons yeah. you are taking away. I was actually thinking of handing my own weapons to another lawman there, and saying, "All right, I'll go through all this in the that's yeah in the recycle <laughs> just to stop that." That's what I would try to do. I I can't remember. I think we were all juggling too much when I did it last, and it was just it was a pain in the ass and. But that's all right. All you take note. You let the government know, and and we'll do. It'll be fine. All right, boys. We'll see you back. Right, there. Catch you later. See you, gentlemen. We're gonna head back. See you. All right, Woodman. Let's head to Blackwater. Good. Leave me. Oh, what are you? We're not a free. T we're not a free ride, chassis. I'll give you money if you want. Really? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Can we go via Valentine? Yes. Alright, Woodman, let's go. You want to lead us to Valentine? Uh, cool. Alright, so what happened in a meeting? Oh, Lots of things. No records! It's not one free crime! <laughs> Chinese whispers is the worst thing ever! What? <laughs> what is this shit? Do we really... thing we'll... like we're going there if this is World yep. Gold doing an advertising thing, I'm locking him up for that. Okay, let me let me try and let me try and remember the key things. So, so there will be there will be a vote for for a sheriff of the West and the East in due time. But in the meantime, the governor has decided that Marcus Wolf will be... Oh, Marcus is the sheriff? He's the sheriff of the east. So he's going to be taking the reins over there because Letty can't be found. Okay. And so Wait, for fucking the... Letty's missing. I don't know. Maybe she's just taking some time. I, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, so what you're saying she's she's disappeared. So she's not a no one knows. For. Yeah, right. and so but God knows why I've been appointed sheriff of the West until the vote. 
That classic woman. Shit, he didn't yeah, how much did you want well. anyway? You didn't you never get a number. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I am currently the sheriff of the West. Oh well, congratulations. Thanks. Look, I, I don't mean to sound, you know, negative about it. It's just the meeting wasn't exactly a, a, a great time for everyone. Okay. Um, so you know the way I so, had that sit so, down with Cal Burn? So, well, it was more of a stand up, but yeah. Yeah, so I can see where they're coming from, but the East felt a bit fucked over, in a sense. Oh, yeah, now, they didn't get their weapons back. Well, that and Cal Dern, he he implied to me that their, their activities in the East would, you know, remain the same. Um, but then it turns out that, you know, within a week, he was assaulting doctors, threatening more doctors, um, and then ramping up criminal activity in the East with his with his posse. Okay. Um, and then also describing it uh, right here. Describing it as if they're getting a... Whoa. Okay. You know, uh, horse is too expensive, I guess. Uh, he was describing it as a... as if I gave him a free pass, which is not the case. It was that they'd get a clean slate with their wanted posters. But of course, you know, if they do anything, it's back business is normal yeah so but this is what I tried to explain to everyone is that while all this was shook on and we had a cigar over it is that you know they're not necessarily gonna own up to their side of the box yeah it was more I wanted to see what would happen if I had a as you put it a stand up with him have a chat yeah. see what he'd say See yeah. and and ultimately see how many people were with him. Yeah, that was that was sort of the ulterior motive, and I I thought I made that clear, and I thought Jeb would communicate that with the East Department, but it didn't go like that. So I've apologized to them that I did not mean it to go that way. Okay. So I guess Wolfie's not riding with us anymore. We'll still see him, it's just he's got a big responsibility over there now. He's okay. gonna be he's gonna be getting all of them on the same page. I'm actually gonna have a sit down with him Saturday night. Okay. To uh, make sure that both jurisdictions are aligned on a number okay. of topics. So hopefully that will help. And God knows I've never received formal train how to be a sheriff so i'm just going off what i've learned and seen but i'm i'm still learning as well get yourself a pay rise no i wouldn't no now they also the governor also said that in a sense there's a there's a clean slate with all the ranks in the departments so it's the sheriff and then currently all deputies so right so i'm a deputy again in a sense on on paper Yes, but oh, he said that over time, the new sheriffs have have the authority to then tweak the ranks as they see fit, based on everyone's experience, their professionalism, and the time they devote to the job. So, so if you suddenly see that you're a deputy again, you're not in trouble or anything. This is just following what the, the governor said. All right. And I, and I will be tweaking it as over the next few weeks. But I will certainly not be giving me a pay rise. If anything, I'm probably going to balance out the pays a bit. What? We're already getting paid less than the East. I don't think our ledge is too healthy, Todd. There's like four of us in this side of the county. We, we got we got a we got a recruit on ride-alongs, and we got another recruit coming in tomorrow. So. And if I've told the others that if there's one thing I want to do before the vote is I want to get the word out and get more recruits in the law department. We, we need people desperately, so that's that's my... Yeah, but people won't work for shit money. Yeah, but we can't give them money we don't have either.
I guess we'll give out more fines then. That it that's thing, if you've warned people and they're doing Well, everyone we see with guns on their backs should just be instantly booked now. Go for it. You right. have my blessing. Oh, could I book him then? He's got a gun on his back. I'm He's a, a law man, Sassy! <laughs> Oh don't, oh, don't worry, Sassy. I'm gonna go get your doctor friend. Which one? <laughs> I Yuri. Would, fucking hope you get Yuri. But I would be careful riding That'd around with long arms on your back when you're not in uniform, because your yeah, people may. They people talk. Just be mindful. Yeah, you when better you put do your uniform on now. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh wow, who's this person? Howdy. Howdy. That man is too big for that donkey. I have heard. Howdy. 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 Todd, what is it you need to do here? We're just coming to town, see who's around. If you're Didn't looking for Mr. Gold, I think he's by the about church. Oh, William. Is he, is he self and Cynthia yeah. around? Well, I saw uh, Cynthia in um, she, Saint Denis, actually. She's, she's by the church with Mr. Gold, I believe. Alright. Yeah, sure. Alright, Sassy, I will have to leave you here. <laughs> when you go down to Blackwater, let me know. <laughs> that one's a free ride. I see you're alright, Hughes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. That was some, some good news out of that meeting. Yeah, and hopefully some good things can come of it as well. Um, well, d yeah, d yeah. Th Todd, I'm going to have a sit down with the doctors. So if you want to head down to Blackwater ahead of me with Sassy, go right ahead. But I, I might be a while. Hey, what? What about um, sitting down with the doctors? Hey, the oh, doctors yeah, Sassy. Do? Sorry, you're a doctor. Yeah, once uh, <laughs> Miss... I was like, what? Once Miss Wheel is... Uh, Free of Mr. Gold's yelling. Um, let's all. God, can we have a oh. I don't think I've met you before, Sassy. How's it going, Matt? My name's uh, Mr. William Seliger. Nice to meet you. I'm also Doctor. Oh, I think I've heard of you. Heard Doctors, about you would from, you like uh, to chat in the church? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Let me go see what they're doing. I think there's guns dropped. Oh, my God. How have you been, Sassy? Yeah, not bad. Yourself? Are you ready? Oh, priority. Bye, Cynthia. She never is, says is bye. Is there actually a doctor meeting? I think that was a misunderstanding. Yeah, Mr. Hughes Mister. wants a doctor meeting. You, uh, you friend me, I'm sorry. Walter, are you... Oh, I guess that's the... What's it called? Done and dusted. Oh, in the church. All right, then. Hog time. <laughs> I'd be out of that fucking thing in a heartbeat. Can we, like, winch know. him out with a lasso and this donkey? Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Miss Wheeler. I won't. Alright, alright doctors, thank you for taking the time out of your night Walter, quickly Walter, I'll give you me. two cans of baked beans right now. Can we stop yelling, please? Keep your voice down, please, this is a place of We're God. We're trying to have a meeting out in this place of God. Shut up, Shut up. Door knockers. I'm trying to die here. Alright, I picked a really so bad confused. place to have a chat, but we'll make the most yep, of it. We'll let me go down by the peace. stables or something, that might be a bit I, I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah, let's go down by the stables. Alright. Alright. Hey, no, you're not authorized to go near my stables, thank you very fucking much. What the fuck? Rosa. J just come this way. This donkey is also my yeah, wife. I'll follow. Holy shit! They got Arthur Morgan! We don't need to go too far, just, you know, away from him. What about the shite saloon? 
No, it makes Valentine a little bit more like an Irish town when they have a good pub and a shite pub. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, they're both shite though. Oh, they're all, all shite, right. really. The only place I've been that I thought this is actually really good is the uh, Diablo Saloon in Armadillo. Oh, what a night. <laughs> Alright, everybody. As some of you may have heard, I've recently been appointed the uh, Sheriff of the West Jurisdiction. Which, of course, is Blackwater, Strawberry, Valentine, and Emerald Ranch. Uh, there will be a... There will be... There still is planned a Sheriff vote for the East and the West in the near future, but for the time being, I've been appointed in charge of that. Uh, Marcus Wolf, formerly of the Texas Rangers, has taken over the reins of the East jurisdiction. Uh, I will be having a sit-down with him Saturday night to get both... to ensure that both jurisdictions are on the same page. Now, whether he... I'm sure he would agree with it, but one thing that I really want to do as Sheriff is, more than ever, uh, make it abundantly clear to all the lawmen of the West is to, when possible, and as long as it's okay with the doctors, to, uh, you know, patrol together when, when appropriate. So let, let's say that, uh -huh. you know, let's say you, f you find yourself in Blackwater heading out on patrol and there's some lawmen there. Feel free to approach them and, uh, and uh, head to Strawberry or Valentine somewhere together. Now, understandably, you know, people got to peel off to their responsibilities, but I just want, I'm going to make it very clear with them that I want that, the relationship between the law department and the doctors to, to be as strong as ever to ensure that everyone's looked mm -hmm. after. I am happy to continue working with the law and, and, you know, reminding them that we should be working together and following them around and whatnot. But uh, if they, if any of them object, do you want me to, do you want us to come to you and let you know? Absolutely. If any are well, objecting. Well, if any dockers are objecting to working with the sheriffs, they'll be most likely dismissed on well, the no, spot. No, I was talking about more of the sheriffs that dismissing oh, okay. the doctors around. <laughs> yeah. I, the, the doctors are all very amenable to everything, really. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're a great team, I think. I think so, from what I've seen. But uh, you know, of course, if if the sheriffs have a uh, a reasonable excuse as to why it wouldn't be suitable at that time to, you know, ride from Blackwater to Valentine with a doctor or something, you know, that's fair enough. But if there is no good reason, or they or they're being difficult or anything like that, I would definitely love to be told that directly. Now, just so for everyone's, uh, just so you've all got it, my postal ID is six. Always feel free to uh, send me a telegram or come see me. Of course. And did you get my my telegram by chance? I did send it like five, ten minutes ago. Uh, no. Uh, after the meeting with the governor, it has been just one thing after another. Um, no, I'm, I understand. I did see you in St. Denny. Yeah. It's a... Uh... I think my life is going to be a, a little bit chaotic for a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to just yeah make sure that the doctors are uh, notified of the the, uh, the changes that have been made by the governor this evening, and understand my stance on just looking out for y'all. I know you're not uh, as familiar as what's going on with over those sheriffs over in the east, but I thought it was quite interesting who they had speaking for them at that meeting. Hmm. <clears throat> Who do you mean, sorry? Well, they, uh, their previous head sheriff was, was not there. Yeah, we're a little bit concerned that yeah, no one, no one knows where she is. Or Jeb. Uh, well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. That was my telegram. Unfortunately, if, there's been no updates on Jeb. If, if, if I have an update. Do you mind if we have a talk? Absolutely. Um, uh, just before that, is there any any other doctors? Is there anything you'd like to ask me or any concerns, queries? Now's, now's the time. No, sir. All right, George. I'm happy with uh, what you've said, and I I know that when we need to, I'm sure that there won't be any issues making use of a, uh, a lawman escort, a law person escort, I should say. That's right. I want I want all everyone in the West Law jurisdiction to be approachable. And just yeah, when it suits. Is that going to apply to the Texas Rangers as well, or you don't have as much oversight with them? No, that, that's not my, 
not by. I would like to say that the the ranges have been more approachable oftentimes in the east. I know that Mr. Wolf is moving over to the east now, but uh, the other range is fairly nice to approach and talk to and follow around. I, I'd be willing Wolf's to bet great. that Mr. Wolf say. shares my opinion on it, which I will clarify on Saturday. But uh, as for the west, that's that's what I want. Um, until the until the vote happens for the, whoever will take over the reins next, if there's one thing I can do, it will be to further the relationship between the doctors and the law department, the law department's relationship with the community as a whole, and just bolster the numbers of the department and just crack down on crime, um, which is I think yep. is a given. But that's if if that's something I can do, and then I'm not voted back in, so be it. All right, we're with you. Well, I am. I appreciate that. Just yeah, just wanted to tell you directly, and uh, from what I've seen over the last week, keep up the great work. Well, George, all I can all I can say is I definitely like the uh, the vision that you have, and oh Jesus, Walter! Oh, uh, can I go put him out of his misery? Please, I've Please. had to give him so much honey. I think he's doing it on purpose because he likes it. Where is he? What's he done? Oh, he's I think he's by the witch pit. Mr. Walter White and Skylar White, and Mr. Walter keeps passing out. Well, he's over in Saint Denis. Yeah. What? Well, he went to Saint Denis. I, that's where I last saw him. Yep. Oh, I thought it, I thought he was still in Valentine here. George, can we have that he discussion? Was literally yeah. just oh, here, yes. like Sorry, yeah. five minutes ago. Sorry, doctors. Yeah, that'll be all from me. Um, all right. Um, well, one of you guys deal with that, please. Stay safe. I'll go and deal with Walter. I mean, yeah. actually deal with him, not put him out of his misery. <laughs> I just left St. Denis, and uh, as I was leaving, I was told that Jeb had been seen, and then he was kidnapped, and I've been trying to figure out if somebody had grabbed him to bring him to me, or Shuba, or if he's actually been kidnapped. I I've been waiting by my telegrams. I haven't received anything from anybody. Let's, let's come, come with me to the department. Let's, let's get on the phone. I, uh, the rundown on how that, how that man when works. I when I last I and saw the East Department, we're all talking to the newly appointed Sheriff Wolf. Uh, yeah, I did see Frank and Lou from the Pinkertons, but look at you, fucking all dressed I'm, up now, Woodman. I'm looking at Snazzy. I don't know if that was related to any law. That's right. But let's get on the phone. Let's call the. Uh, let me see if I can get a hold of the, uh, the East Department in St. Denis right now. They weren't the doctors, were they? I'll lock the doors. You never know who's gonna run in and get mud everywhere. Can you go grab William or one of them? Alright, let's see if I can get a hold of them. Why the. Uh. Oh, Walter. There's another Walter. Oh. Oh. What a dumb name. Dinger. Right, well. Dinger. It's Sheriff Hughes. How you going? Good, thank you, sir. How are you? Uh, look. Oh, he's stuck I'm all right, shoes. but I, I've got oh some very, I've got some very important news for you, everyone down Is there. Anyone else seeing that? I, okay. I have a. I have an eyewitness report yeah, that within the last <laughs> five, ten minutes around, that a Jeb was to. sighted in St. Denis and uh -oh. in a situation that appeared to be kidnapping. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> we'll race out and try to find him. Okay. Um, Do you know who, any idea who was doing it or just that he was getting kidnapped? Cynthia, any other information for him? Uh, he I went through roads, uh, didn't see anything in roads. Um, and that was about it, because I didn't find him in St. Denis either, so I figured they were headed west, so it came out. She figured they were heading west, but yeah, no sign of him in St. Denis, no sign in Roads. Uh, Cynthia, did you happen to get a look at what they looked I'm like, or the color of the horse? Oh, no, I received that the information Terrence secondhand. That's the man, not the horse. Okay, uh, it was th this information oh. received secondhand. He thought the horse was Okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> that, that, head out that, now that, and see if we can find him. No worries, we'll keep an eye out as well. Ethan. Fuck, sorry. Man. Thanks, George. No worries, Dick. Have a good night. You too. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go oh backwards. my god. I, oh, yeah. I found my way up to Brandywine um, Terrence, as well to where his campsite was where he proposed Miss Lily. Yep. And uh, he wasn't there either and the camp's all packed up. Really? Oh. Mm-hmm. It's gone. That's... 
Oh, I don't have any money. It's, it's weird, right? That don't worry. I'm that's not a scary you coincidence. Up. That's. Mm -hmm. George Hughes will come and have a heart attack in a second. Ah. Uh. It's the pink poncho. So what the hell are y'all hey. doing out there? Oh my, no, oh my no, god. god. <laughs> what are you guys? Oh, we didn't even no, know you were in there. Terrence is out Holy with something shit. serious. That was Can sorry. Get out of here. I'm trying shit, to deal with something yelling. proper. We didn't proper. know you were in there. You've got eyes. Look through a window. We're, so we're you just... isn't that illegal to be staring through windows? It's a window. It's made of glass. You meant to look through it. I've been a. Uh, uh, yes. I've been recently appointed as sheriff of the West, so you'll be seeing me a lot more. Oh, well, congratulations. Nice. So, uh, as my first order, no long arms in town. Oh. Wow. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna what to long arms? All mine got stolen because the lawmen don't protect us. If the lawmen could be kept up to date, we would love Harkness to do our jobs. Harkness does. Harkness is a. Is a king Hi, Cynthia. among men. Hello. <laughs> I think oh Valentine's about to turn into a shit show. I'm smelling it with some of the people here. Did you not read it all over those pins? No, obviously <laughs> I read it all over the pins. People are treating it like a tourism advertisement. <laughs> yeah, who's writing uh -oh. on all those messages on the pins? Any one of the 100 people that Walter pisses off on a daily basis? It actually yeah. wasn't Walter. Oh, well, Funnily all right. Then. enough. <laughs> yeah, Walter didn't even put out the pin. No, I meant that he pissed somebody off he did. That's all I said. But anyway. No, they're blaming him and it wasn't him. Oh, that's... All right. Uh, I better get back down to Blackwater. Miss Cynthia, were you heading that way? Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't be sitting in Valentine right now. All right. Todd, Wise. you coming with down to Blackwater? Yeah. The, uh, also, uh, Dustin's in town if you want to get him for aiding and abetting right now. What, what do you do? Uh, he carried someone out of a bank robbery that was happening in Blackwater earlier. I, I I don't know. Jack and uh, Sledge were talking about it before. I wonder how Walt's doing. Do in you the know doctors? if they've already taken care of it? Probably so. No idea. <laughs> probably it was a hell of a fall. Maybe. This isn't the first. You probably time want to check to see if it's already been dealt Absolutely. with before we do anything. Okay. Just so we're not doubling up. I wonder what the criminal charge is for but murdering someone's horse, Terrence. And terrence. If you wanted to do that now, I'd have you back. Probably something to do with negligence. Yeah. What do you reckon, Todd? Well, we, we can easily find if him. He's always fine. around here. Okay. It's well, not like he's a hard person just, to find. When we, get, when we get back to Blackwater, check through the reports. And if you can chat, chat to Sledge or door. Harkness, and then go from there. Terrence. All right. Uh, All right, let's hit the road. Uh, really you need to stay away from bridges. I'm sick of seeing reports of you falling off a bridge. I haven't fallen off. Now, is there anywhere we should, do you think we should have a look? See, that is slander. On the way. Not, so you no, off the campsite was the only oh, When was, place when I was the last of. report that happened? Who's campsite? A couple weeks ago. <laughs> exactly. I haven't even fallen off a bridge in a long time. Uh, this is this well. is a reminder to so you. Don't do the usual. Bridges. Stop your strawberry on the way. Well, and well, then you should then stop we'll pushing him off bridges as well. Oh, I. Bye, Mr. Laura, man. Farewell. <laughs> we got sassy on the back again. Ooh. Off to Blackwater. Yeah, we'll stop through yeah. Strawberry on the way. Why do I feel like Valentine's just about to pop off? Because it always is. If it's anything like last night, it might be. Quick, let's get out of here before something happens. Sassy, last night we had a... An eight-person mass casualty event. I can feel all that reminds me of hairs. the old days. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm whispering to you. Are you okay? Yes. I, I can already tell you're more tense. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you more about it soon. All right. I heard that Joseph was in the meeting, so he told me a few things. Yeah. It was... It was an experience. And did you consider saying no? Yeah. I did.
also hello everyone in chat that sorry I, sorry I haven't been responding much to chat over the last 30 60 minutes or whatever it's just you know the media like it's like it's it's like meetings back to back and important stuff so I just haven't been wanting to interrupt all the stuff and, and why I got hold of these characters so I do apologize um, but hello to everyone that joined us within the last hour or so. At some point in Saint Denis, Schubert and I got separated, so I haven't been able to update him on anything that's happened with the potential kidnapping. Oh my god. I'm really sorry if you tried to tell me about that sooner. But it's just, it's George, it, you pretty much showed up as I hit send on that telegram. Okay. You're fine. Though I did think I do think you saw me racing out of St. Denny, and that's just after I got word. Yeah, I did, and it's just I, sh I should have stopped and told you. I'd... There's so much on my plate right now. It's I know it's intense. It's all right. I can handle things. I kind of miss doing Doctor Secure. Yeah, well, you'll still find time. I'm a lot more uh, self-sufficient these days. You don't have to worry about me so much. I'll still goddamn worry if I wanna. No, you won't. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm the sheriff. I, I, no, I'm no you won't. Not with these sedatives, sedatives I have in the syringe. Oh shit. I call it the anti-worry juice. I'm gonna need a lot of that. Yep. It's just you never know. When, one time you pass through, you might see something out of the ordinary. I did have a GSW here the other day. A what? Two days ago, I had a gunshot wound to treat oh. in the middle of town. It ended up being okay, but it was a shotgun to the chest. That's gotta hurt. It was a dud round. Didn't quite do the damage I think they were expecting. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. We need to come up with some sort of code word that if you ever say it to me on Telegram, it's me. I come and kidnap you and take you away. <laughs> like I'll just whisk you away so you can have a break. It sounds like that might. It sounds like a good idea. We have to think of something that we won't say in random conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what would that be? The words are yeah. snapping turtle. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Right. You say that, that word, you telegram you. it to me, then I'm gonna come kidnap you. All right. And I'm whispering that code word. Don't say it to anyone else. Okay.
Blank? Yeah, hey, howdy, Mr. Hughes. How are you? Good. Good to see ya. Yeah, I had a big nap. I'm very refreshed. Oh, that's excellent. Just you, you missed a lot. When, when were you last here, in? Oh, it was a fair while ago. Look, the short version, we just had a big meeting with the governor. Um, until the vote, I'm <laughs> Sheriff of the West. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So, um, the, essentially, there's like a, a clean slate of all the ranks apart from the sheriff and then the deputies. So, I see. if you see your rank or anything change, don't worry. It's happening to everybody. The ranks will be reassessed over the few, next few weeks. I'm going to be doing organizing a number of, you know, sit-downs with everybody to, uh, you know, just bring everyone up to speed, and we'll go from there, and just just keep doing the good work, all right? Yep, copy of that. All right. All right. Uh, Todd, how much longer are you going to be around? Uh, how much longer do you want me around for? Look, I, I just got to have a chat to Miss Wheeler here for a little bit, and then uh, I'd love to have a sit-down with you in the office, if that's all right. Okay. Uh, can I find her for a long arm on her back now? No, I think... Doctors get a free pass on that because they need to defend okay. themselves. Oh, sweet. What? <laughs> All right. That Santi will carry around two shotguns now. All right, Todd. I'll be back over here soon, okay? I've only got one shotgun. Um, I'll, if I'm if you're not here, I'll come find you in town and we'll have a chat in the office, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, we all heard him. Heard it first from the uh, sheriff himself. Doctor get a free pass. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Everyone just takes, just picks and choose, cherry picks the words I use. I gotta say everything literally, apparently. What the f this dock is so weird. Ah, there's something in the way. That's. I don't, I don't know how I thought the meeting was going to go, but I don't think I envisioned that. Can you still hear me? Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry, that was me. I had a frog in my throat. Do um, you want to give me that play by play, like the short version? Dot points, maybe? Hey, from me? Yeah, like what it was like going in there and what, what happens. Well. You know, there's a lot of, you know, the governor, you know, he wants these things fixed up. You know, th these things have been good. These things have been bad. Et cetera, et cetera. But then when it came down to it, he, the big point he made was about how there's a lot of tension and rift between the two departments. And that he really wanted that to stop. And uh, I just... You know, he, he opened it for questions and such, and I, I, I made my point where I sort of said that, so, you know, sir, the only, the only tangible issue we've had, apart from, you know, the usual banter, and that is, is that, um, is when there were prank calls. Right, which... Most likely from the East Department some weeks ago. Yeah, I remember that. That was my, that was the only real issue I've had. But then Tessa, Tessa was very clear to express her, well, what I learned was, you know, sort of across the board, is their dislike of how they felt I was making a deal that negatively affected them with Calvin. Right. And it's just frustrating that... It's almost like I was being painted in a light where, you know, I'm jumping to making deals with criminals willy-nilly when 
I feel like I was pretty transparent with everyone that it was just to see what he wanted, try and meet, find some common ground, ultimately stop all the uh, the robberies of lawmen and then getting assaulted. Because we, as everyone can see, we do not have the numbers here in the West to deal with that. No, and it, look, if they even thought about it for half a second, if you never even made that deal, they would have kept going after the East and the West anyway. That's right. It, That's what I've tried to explain. And that as well as that Cal Burn... He, as far as I can recollect, he didn't make any note to say, you know, because we're, we're going to take it easy over here in the West, we're going to escalate things in the East. He said it was just nope. as usual. That's right. And that was very frustrating here. So just before it was announced that Wolf would be taking the reins of the East Department, I'd be taking the reins of the West Department. I had to deal with that. So it, it was not, it was not a celebration by any means. No, and it's like, like, I'm thinking now, between the time that there was that meeting that you had with Cal, and between the time of his death, very little happened, as far as I know, in the East, except for the final firefight where Cal died anyway. So what kind of bullshit are they talking about? Apparently, it was almost like nightly that they were getting attacked by criminals over there getting shot at and robbed and whatnot. Do they know it was Cal every time? Well, they, the criminals were basically saying that I, I allowed them all to have a free pass. Ugh. And, and that it was because they can't do things in the West. So not only did Cal go back on what he said by assaulting William and threatening you, is that all across the board, no honor. They, they just twisted everything up and just did not... Yeah, he didn't. He didn't follow any agreement anyway. No, and I've tried. I, I thought I. I thought I pretty strongly hinted at that with everyone. Is that, you know, I may have had this chat, but ultimately, it could all be bullshit. But it really, I just wanted to see what he would do and what all his friends would do. Just, well, that's right. You made him play his hand. I wanted to see just how many people there are and I could say that the yep. criminals have a lot more support than the, the law department does that's right so oh, this. and then it, you could really cut the tension with a knife is that uh, some of the, uh, the the governor's assistants proposed a, a uh, an event to take place um where it'd be, you know... Oh, God, what did they even say? It was like a boxing match between the, uh... between the two departments. Um... You know, to raise some money. And just... And they, you know, they, they sort of express, you know, what does everybody think of this idea? I don't think anyone said anything. Hold, hold up, the assistants were in the room? Yeah. Ugh. And yeah, they proposed a, a, a boxing match on Saturday night for all the. Uh, I did see a fly go out. And you just no, I, I don't. No one in the room expressed any joy for the announcement of the sheriff's mm -hmm. or the boxing mm -hmm. match. It's. It's not. It's. It's not a good situation. Right. Uh. But no, I did. I had a private chat with the governor just after it, and uh, I came very close to just saying no to the whole thing. So, what made you say yes? I just want to try. I just want to. I just want to have this chance to try and make a difference before the vote. Okay. If I can. I, I, before the next vote, I would like to at least feel like I've tried. To improve the relations between the West and the East departments, between the West and the community, and and, and gathered a, a, a number of new recruits and bolstered our numbers. If I can, if I mm -hmm. can do that by the next vote, and I'm not voted in, then I'll be happy with my time. I did everything I could. I see. I half expected you to. Come out of that meeting telling me, hey, Cynthia, I can be your bodyguard full time now. <laughs> that did cross my mind. I just, I want to have this chance to, to try. 
Mr. Hughes, I want you to be happy. You know that, right? I don't want to see you give up everything that you are just for the sake of protecting ungrateful people. All right. It's going to be a tough couple of weeks, but I would, I would feel... I'd feel I'd feel more upset if I didn't try. Um, I feel like just if I just gave it up all now, I don't think I could live with that. All right, oh, well, whistling. probably a train whistle. So, tell so you, I've got a lot of I've got at least I've got at least one recruit coming in tomorrow night. And I can begin training. I've, I've, I'm gathering up lots of old notes from when I was trained. Um, I've got to yeah, sit down with. I'm going to organize a sit down with Wolf on Saturday night and uh, get us all on the same page, and then just do what I can. I am going to miss seeing Wolf in New Austin, but I guess I'm going to have to make the trek to see him in St. Denis. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see him over there now. Yeah. Well, you know the rule now, snapping turtle. I'll come and get you. Yeah, and I imagine I will. We will have to try and figure out a time in advance to make that hunting trip. I know. But yeah, Friday night and Saturday night are definitely out of the question. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's gonna. Yeah. And I'm not even sure. I'm still expecting to hear more news about about my schedule. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. So, right, yeah. depending on what news I get, um, it might be just two weeks as a as a full time sheriff, essentially. Depending on well, how that news goes, I might it may be right. I may just be in the position for two weeks, and then I will I will not have the uh, the time to commit. A lot can happen in two weeks. Yeah. Th that's. Look, think about it this way, George. You've only known me for four. Really? That's right. No. No way. No, it's it's true. So two weeks is a lot of time. That's that's half of our friendship. Jesus. When you, when you put yep. it like that, yeah, a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. I know. It feels like we've known each other forever, hasn't it? Yeah. To four what just four weeks. Just four weeks? Now you can't get rid of me. What the hell? That's goodness, time flies. Sure does. Oh dear. I'm serious about this snapping turtle thing, by the way. Now you can always telegram it to me or whisper it to me or something, and I will get us out of there. Or uh if you need me, I'll get violent, I'll put on a mask and bandana, I'll make it look really bad and they, you know. Alright, and so, if I do okay. do that I'll try and separate myself from the uh Yep. From the uh any eyewitnesses around. Yeah. Oh, or just just say you snapping turtle. And we can work in the conversation. I mean the snapping turtles on Saint Denny, that's why I thought of it, because I killed two the other day and hunted them. I think uh snapping turtle is a rational Fear for anyone, you know. Oh, they, I, I'm scared to lose a toe around them. Yeah, you, you ever seen them, uh, like bite into a watermelon? They oh are terrifying. Imagine they just destroy it. They do. And it makes me think about what they would do to a human skull. Oh. I need to stop. I need to stop reading my anatomy books before bed. I'm having a nightmare. Oh, God. All right. Well, I better go. Because I've been thinking about loosely that, you know, if I did get sheriff, what things would I want to do immediately following it? And one thing I want to do is have a sit down with each current lawman in the West jurisdiction one on one and just talk about, you know, what they want to get out of it, what they like, what they don't like, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to. The guinea pig will be Todd. Oh, yeah. Just get each of them a cigar and they'll be happy. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, Miss Wheel, as always, thank you very much for having my. You're back. welcome. It is truly appreciated, and uh, yeah, it's going to be trying few weeks. And I better get back to my search for Jib. Yeah. Please keep me. Please keep me updated with that. And of course, if there's anything I, I can get the West Department to do 
for it. We'll do it. I'll just leave it to Sheriff Wheeler of the doctors. <laughs> I'll find him. I'll bring him home and I'll get him nice and drugged up and figure out what we're doing with it. Sooner rather than later. I want to make sure that boy's okay. Me too. All right. All right, Miss Wheeler. You take care, all right? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be around Friday and Saturday nights. Of course. All right. I'll see you. All right. Bye, George. Bye for now. There's something invisible here. All right, the doctors are up to speed. Todd, you ready for a sit down? What are you yep. doing? <laughs> what is that? How'd you do that? <laughs> oh, holding your left alt muscle. Is, so, are you hearing it like a little chirp as well? Hold down my left alt muscle. Are you hearing the whole thing? What? Just hold it down. I'm hearing it. Like, hello? Hughes, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, when, when they're doing it, uh, uh, is it like a big long whistle or is it like a little chirp? Ah, oh, somewhere in between. Mine's like a little chirp that lasts like hard, yeah. not even like. Yeah, mine's not doing that. Mine's like a chirp, oh. and that's it. Oh. Okay, where's Cynthia? She'll be able to tell us. She oh. enough. No, she's gone. She was there. She's gone now. All right, all right, but I gotta borrow Todd for a, for a meeting. So uh, I don't know how long we'll be, but yeah, come on, Todd. Yeah, let's go inside. Fucking door. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's grab a seat. Oh, that hurts in here. All right, Todd, grab a seat. All right. All right, Todd. How are you? Uh, I just fell into this chair somehow. Look, I'll give you a minute to get comfy. No rush. <laughs> Alright, Matt. You, uh, you good? You alright, Todd? Todd, can you hear me? Oh my god. Todd, can you... Can you How just, am I floating? Just sit the fuck down. I'm trying to. <laughs> get hey, off the table. I can't get off the table. Just sit back down. Oh. <laughs> get in the fucking chair. Okay, there we go. You good? Yes. Okay. Firstly, Todd, how are you? Uh, after that, uh, quite relaxed. No, in general. Um, I'm going all right, you know. It's going okay. Going okay? Yeah. All right. Look, I want to know. I want to know. I want to make sure that I can do everything I can for everybody in the West Law Department as sheriff. Because I imagine I'm going to be having to handle in a lot of really fucking annoying jobs and responsibilities so that y'all can just keep your boots on the ground and do your job, you know what I mean? Okay. So, so if there's ever any issues or anything that's relevant to me, you know you can come to me about anything, right? Oh, uh, okay. You know, come find me in person. If I'm not around, my telegram, you know my post ID is six, right? Well, you got a really early postal ID. I did. It's nice and simple. One, just six, okay? If you don't, if you don't want to talk to me face to face about something, I need you to telegram me, okay? Okay. Because I, I can't help you if you don't, if you don't help me out, okay? Okay. So, I guess you know, why, why did you join the law department? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, gosh, I guess I, I, I don't know. You know, just came in for. Start doing it. 
Uh, yeah, you know, if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably be rubbing banks. I'm, I joke, I joke. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, it, it just... Do you enjoy it? Oh, oh, yeah, it's got its ups and downs. I bet. Like a, tell me, well, tell me off the top of your head, what are some ups? Uh, you know, uh... It's like, oh, sorry. You're right. I'm a bit tired too. I need to get to bed soon. Yeah, no, it's nice to be part of something. Hey? You know, it's nice to be a part of something. Yeah? Yeah. You, know, uh, you feel oh, like you're yeah. a real, you know, you're a real member of the team? Uh, at times. Uh, yeah, at times, you know. You can, you can, uh, you can go into as much detail, any of these questions, you can answer as detailed oh, yeah, as you yeah, want. yeah, 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 no, uh, yeah, no, yeah, you know. Yeah, feels nice helping out. <laughs> right. Trying to trying to solve crime, but nothing seems to get solved. Look, a lot of a lot of it is d deterring crime, and it's a lot of fines and warnings, and yeah, a lot of it is a lot of the time they will get away. It's um, yeah. It's frustrating, but you you gotta learn to accept it. Yeah. It's, um, but it's fucking easier said than done. It just takes time. Well, mm -hmm. you, you know, there's some ups. What are some downs of the job? Oh, you know, it's... I said... Am I, I'm not drinking alcohol, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, you know... <laughs> it sucks when we never seem to catch anyone. I know, and... Right? There'll be long periods of time where... You like kissing boys? Yeah, you might not what? catch anyone. Do you like kissing boys? And especially no, when well, we don't have the, uh, no? we don't the numbers. Yeah, that it is it is weird. I'm I'm just trying to see if you're someone I thought you might have been, mate. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, what are you, what are you worry about? Can they speak in the fucking voices down in there? Uh, yeah, I, I don't, don't know, know, mate. Yeah, um, he walked up to me asking okay. if I like just some voices. I was like, what the fuck? Keep it okay. down out there. Sorry. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I feel like we're a bit too reactive at times. What do you mean? Oh, you know, we, we do the same goddamn thing at a bank every single time. Like, we're just uh, reacting instead of being a bit more proactive when we can be more proactive. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The amount of times I see them leave the Valentine Bank, they go out the same way and down the same thing and across the bridge. Hell, why don't we just stick an extra man down at the bridge with a wagon blocking the bridge for a change? Well, I, I think if we had the numbers, more numbers and... And I think that's definitely some things we can consider. Do you? But that, that that's just one example, you know. Do you get enough opportunity to be the uh, the negotiator at instances of? Like I don't really brothers? like to negotiate. Well, if you were the negotiator, you'd be calling the shots on this, and you'd be able to essentially instruct the others to do that. Yeah, that's that's true. But I know it's just a suggestion to be a bit more, try and be a bit more proactive. I can see that. Well, um... And I, I feel like a lot of the time, you know, we love to... Oh, God, it's happened so many times now. And it's like, uh, you know, we're IDing someone from a distance. We're like, we think that's so-and-so. And we're like, God, and we're like, hey, are you so-and-so? And they're like, nope. And we're like, okay. Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, they have to produce ID for us if we request it, right? Yeah, but then they always go, oh, don't have any. Oh, come down to the thing. Oh, don't have any money. You know, the dance happens over and over again. I th I think yeah we may have to uh yeah we we're gonna have to be finding more on the spot um yeah it's tricky because you know you can threaten to find someone take their gun and that but at the end of the day like if they don't want to go down and get their ID you can't force them yeah um and it's just it may be a bit of overkill uh you know taking their gun off them. Um, yeah, because then word spreads that we're being too harsh. But you know, I feel like it's pretty reasonable to ask someone, "Can you produce a fucking ID, or can you go get, fucking get one?" Yeah, you know, you want it. You okay? You want to live in the fucking towns we build? You want to fucking eat the food the farmers make, drink the the food, you know, sleep in the beds, enjoy all the luxuries that come with living in a fucking society, but you don't want to fucking meet halfway and just do whatever the fuck you want. That's not how this fucking works. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous, all right. Well, you know, that's fair. Well, I know uh, uh, Sledge has got a real keen interest in, uh, you know, making sure everyone's across the whole bank robbery, general store robbery kind of set up with the different roles and what to expect. So 
I would recommend speaking to him in incorporating in the you know the overall conversation with everyone in the training regarding that is the proactiveness. Mm -hmm. I would uh, I would uh, that's what I would recommend. So, is there anything else? Do you have a Do you have a goal with the law department? No, not really. You just sort of just just seeing where it goes. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to share with me about you know things you like, things you don't like, um, anything you change, uh, anything you are unsure about, any thoughts? Now's the time. I think I think we could utilize the doctors more. Yep. Like uh, go on patrols with them. I mean, in that, they must pick up so much information. Well, something that I'm wanting to make sure that the West Law Department is doing is, uh, is if they see, say, doctors in Blackwater, and they're going out on patrol, and the doctors are going the same way to, uh, go together and just, you know, and over time, chat, form friendships, and, uh, help each other out. Yeah. So, uh... I think that will come with that, and that's something I want to become the norm. Is uh, mm -hmm. that, you know, we are helping out the doctors every chance we get. Sorry to interrupt you two, but I'm heading off for the night. I'll see you two later. No worries, right. Clint. Will you be around tomorrow night by any chance? I, I most likely will, yes. Well, it's just, yeah, I'm, um, I'm hopefully going to have a sit down with uh, some new recruits like Ato and uh, uh, Zane and that, and. Uh, so that'll be happening, um, and yeah, Saturday night, there's like a, a West versus East boxing thing, so if you're interested oh, in that, keep your eye, keep, check out the posters. But uh, good to see Will you do. back, Clink. Yep, congrats on the, the promotion as well. Thank again. you, partner, and uh, hopefully we can get some more numbers so that y'all can go out on, you know, strong patrols and yes. keep doing the good job. That would be lovely. I'll do everything I can, to, and uh, like with Todd here, I'd love to have a sit down with you tomorrow or saturday or whenever we can just i'd love to get your thoughts on everything and we'll go from there yes yeah, sir all right clink you have Alrighty, a good one thank you you too yeah ty is there any anything else anything else yeah i don't know what else really at the moment um yeah ugh, good i'm sorry um yeah uh i i, I don't really know now that's fine. I know I'd sort of been, you know, leapt on you last minute, but uh, but yeah, just remember that you can come to me about anything, anytime. Telegram me. Um, if you have any, you know, anything, if you think of any answers to any of these questions over the next few days, weeks, even months, if it comes to that, just feel free to pull me aside. If we got time, I'll make the time, and we'll talk about it because. I feel like, you know, a lot of the job as sheriff is, you know, making sure that you guys have got everything you need to do your job right. So, I'll do everything I can for you fellas. Okay. Um. Yeah. I think, and I would just... He hanged me. I would just be really mindful of taking your horse into, you know, governor's offices and Marshal's offices and things like that. Okay, I won't take my horse in there anymore. I just, you know, you know, I love a good laugh as much as the next person, but, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't bring that sort of stuff up. And, uh, you know, they will, if they see this behavior continue, they'll be on to me about punishing you, which, you know, I really don't want to do. And if, if they need to, they will escalate it and they will take action. And it will be out of my hands. And I do not want it to come to that. Okay. You being a good friend, Todd. I only want what's best for you, okay? Yeah. And just the other thing, the only other thing I can think of is that um, I think it's really great the initiative you take out in the field with the ideas of how to tackle crime scenarios and such. So I would uh -huh. like to see you do more negotiating. But then just be mindful of the little things. Like when we're riding, say, down to Tumbleweed as a group. Um, you know, I'm not meaning to 
crack the fun whip on everyone for the fun of it. It's, um, you know, like riding in formation and stuff like that. It's just to make sure that everyone's safe and that, you know, it's these little things you do. It's these little things that then come into play in the, the big situations, if you catch my drift. Um, little things. It's, you know, like situation. the military, like they have you do marching and standing at attention and all these things. You know, it may seem ridiculous, but then it just brings everyone together as a unit in subtle ways. So, yeah. so just be mindful of little things like that. Um, it's just, you know, if we're riding out and I need someone to get back in one of the columns, I just need them to do it. Um, okay. Then and there, because it's, it makes, I'm just trying to get, get it all done right. And it just, it don't look good to anyone with someone, uh, coming back at a, at an officer that's just trying to do their job. Um, yeah. So just be mindful of just things like that. Oh, okay. Um, I don't, I don't mean to sound like I'm coming down hard on y'all and that. It's just, I just, I need to be implementing. Again, I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't looking for ways to implement things I've learned over the years. Just to, just have every, have, have a set as a well-oiled machine, you know? Okay. Like a train. Like we're all wheels and carriages on a train. And it don't work if they're not all connected and in line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that. That's that's it for me. From me for now. Anything? Anything? Any last thoughts from yourself or questions? Uh. No, not really. All right. All right. Well, I'll leave it at that. Cause yeah, I need to. I'm gonna take a just look up and down the street, and then I'm gonna okay. go to bed myself. But uh, thanks for your time, Todd. And uh, yeah, I'll be around tomorrow night and Saturday night. Uh, okay. All right. Thanks, partner. All right. No problem. Woo! So we're not going to see Wolf much over here now? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll still see him around. I better check the ledger and stuff. Fun, it's fun. Stuck on the table again. Oh, no. Oh, no! How'd you get down from there before? I don't know. Maybe sit back down and then get up at a different angle or something. Oh, there you go. All right. There we go. Excellent. I'm glad you're not longer stuck in the state. Uh, I'm not even gonna try in English anymore. Oh. How does this? How do I make myself sh like? Am I sh sheriff? Four? Oh god. You can't promote yourself. <laughs> then how do I do it? <laughs> you can't promote yourself. Who can? <laughs> um fuck. Fucking hell. Wait, deputies can promote and demote? Oh gosh. Well, I suppose, yeah, or else, like, otherwise you'd, it would get stuck. Oh, and they can go that high? Yeah, because otherwise it would get stuck, and then it'd be like... There wouldn't be a way to fix it all. Um... So you you're busy. You're busy from tomorrow through to Tuesday, right? Four nights from tomorrow. Oh, you'll be available tomorrow. Okay. Um. So I'll do what I can now. Oh, this is not going to be a fun part of the job. So. Zero deputy, one senior. 
Oh, yuck. Um. Oh. So the governor said it's like a clean slate. And then over the weeks, put everyone back based on like experience and time and shit like that. Oh, Prem. Oh. Well, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be finding the old sheriff guides that we had when the service started from Ford and that. I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna go through all of it. I'm just gonna take the bits and pieces that was taught to you know me, Aim, Smiley, Ironjaw, and that. That helped everything make sense to put it all in perspective. So, um, yeah, is that cool, Prem? It's just yeah, I can't. Um, um, so I'm gonna take a lot of stuff from those old documents and teach that, because that what's made it all made sense for me in that. Um, yeah, is is Smokes able to quickly train in and pop me up to sheriff? Because I can't promote myself. Because Smiley said he wants, you got the sheriff as the sheriff, and then you've got, I think, what, everyone's back to deputy? Until it's like, over the next few weeks, and then we rejig it? Oh, I do not, I do not envy people in positions like this that have to do the shit like that. I really fucking don't, eh? I really fucking don't. Oh, man. What do you- yeah, Prem, like, can you make- can you bump me to Sheriff? Like, is it just you go into, like, the- the code? Or, like, the- the deep- the- the- the shit, and you click the thing? Okay. Whatever's easy- cause, yeah, I just- I can't promote myself, so... Oh, I don't like this part. So that's Todd. Oh, this is so dirty, dude. This is so dirty. Oh, yuck. 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 Fucking hell, man. Oh, <laughs> Dallas. Okay, Dallas Walker. Right? Dallas Walker's a marshal. Who the fuck is Dax Indiana? <laughs> uh. Uh. I'll do the, uh, uh, tw timeout, Mr. Smokes TV 1. I think that did it. I think that did it. Um, uh, Dallas Walker's a marshal. Who the, who the fuck is Dex Indiana? No, no, it's, it's gone and I, yeah, no, it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. No, it's happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. It is I believe it is cleared. And I would really hope that no one be shit. Oh, this is gross. No worries, Prem, no rush. I'll be on for a little bit longer. I just gotta go to bed soon because I got work tomorrow. And it's I gotta wind down. I'd like to wind down and you know, be attempting to sleep by midnight. Cause I gotta be at work by nine, so. Um. But no, like I've like I've said in character to a bunch of people, is that um, if I can, if I can inject all the stuff um, that I learnt. Um, um, if I can inject a bunch of the stuff I learnt from Wolf and Ford and Prem and Donkey and that when the service started, and get and just help get the numbers up, so when the net when the vote happens, like even if I don't get the fucking vote, if I if I don't get share from the vote, whatever, I've had my little time, I've injected the stuff. There we go, done. Like that. That will be that will be fine with me. Um. 
this is rough, dude. I will have to do a Discord thing to let anyone that mit Oh. What? There's two? We'll have to clean that up. Uh, we will deal with that tomorrow. Because if worse comes to worse, like, say we get the wrong one. Staff gave you job. Thanks, Prem. Also, Bosa, thank you for the raid, mate. Bosa, I got made Sheriff of the West, so now I got to do all this admin -y stuff. And it's making me sad. Because... Oh, like, like, okay, so here, here's what I'm, here's what I have to do now, is that the governor is like, I need a clean slate of the ranks with the two departments. There's the sheriff, and there's all the deputies. So I'm having to go through now, and anyone that was above deputy is now back on that rank, which just... Who the Ariel Winchester, Jesse Dan? I think I met these people like once. Oh man. Ta and yeah, Ta I know that I know Tahu. That's Taikawa. Um, he was at PAX and everything. So I know I know him IRL. But he comes and goes. Like sometimes he gets very busy and he has th what? There's three G sledges! Okay. Note for tomorrow, Smokes. We will, we may have to, uh, remove sledges one by one. And if we can get all of them without you going, then we know the last one is you. But if we do get you, we'll get, we'll clean them all out and then we'll re-add in and then it's clean. Um, that's confusing. How is there three? Bowman. Oh, this is... Little Bowman. There's four! Oh, the back and forth. I don't mind the idea of paperwork too much. Because a lot of my jobs have required... Um... Paperwork. So, and I'll just do it efficiently. Like, just, you know, get it done. That would be good to get, like, it all rolled up where people have got things covered. Like, I might, I might not even be able to do this for, for that long. Like, I am literally... I was expecting to get news about a job application. About to whether I got this new job or not today. Might hear tomorrow, might hear Monday, maybe Tuesday. I was hoping today. If I do get the job, I have to put in my two weeks notice at my current job. Where I'll be on the same sort of schedule. But then the new job, I'll be working a lot more nights and weekends. So there's a very high chance that I will have to cut back on how much Red Dead RP I do. Um... It might only be once or twice a night, and it might be, I might only be able to play sometimes during the day, which isn't the prime time with everyone. So, um, so I've been very transparent with friends on the server that, um, you know, if I did get Sheriff, and it does turn out that with this new job that my schedule does go that crazy, and they need to do the vote then, or replace me with someone else, go for gold. Um, hopefully I hear tomorrow, because I'm fucking... Look, I'm inclined to just delete this poster, because, like, there's no... I'm not seeing any fucking reports. So it's like, say someone that wasn't real involved with it gets a hold of him. Like, what have they got to go off? Like, unless the other person's there. Um, this is why, like, the paperwork is important. Because, like, paper trails are important. So, I mean, I'm inclined really to just fucking delete it. Like, sorry, but that's just... Looks like I, I'm sure they meant well, but, like, I don't know what the fuck... What else we can do. 
This person escaped from Siska, last seen in Saint Denis. Approached with caution, ruled from originally. Ivan. Oh, fucking hell. I just fucking curse. Steel. Steel. Okay. Steel. It's spelt as steel. Let's have a look. Fuck me. Ivan Steel. And I imagine this is all fucking case sensitive too. Ivan Steel. Like, is this even bringing it up? Like, is that filtering it? Fuck me. There's no records with his name. Name must be ex Exactly. <laughs> must be exact exactly the same can be lowercase or uppercase oh so it's not case sensitive that's nice it's just yeah. Yeah. s c h t e e l e steel i it does not look like the shit's in there either. It's, oh, it's, it's confusing, eh? It's fucking confusing. Does not exist in config. <laughs> like, uh, uh. Investigation. Look, I'm inclined to delete this one as well. Like, sorry, but... But no, that's good. You can confirm that you can come in, you can change the name. A bunch of stuff, including the amount, but... Yeah, I'm feeling... Oh! The ledger. The ledger, the ledger, the ledger. Wanted for escaping lawful custody. Mick Taylor. That name rings a bell. I think I've met him in... I believe I've met him. Mick. If I can fucking type. Mick Taylor. Did that, like, does that even... I don't think it's finding anything there. Grim records. Let's do one. Let's do one. It's like, okay, let's go like criminal occurrence, incident. So who is this? Suspect. Oh, fuck. Uh, Governor Joe. Let's go. So we're searching. Ser oh wait, search titles or case number. Fuck. Let's see if we go. So we saw Dottie's name in there. Oh no. So that's just you can only search. Oh god, okay, so criminal records, you gotta put like your first and last name. Criminal criminal occurrences, however, that's search titles or case number. Fuck. Okay. Goodness gracious. Oh 
But I'm just, I just, I don't know if we can justify. Like, I don't know if we can justify wanted posters at the moment. Like more than a hundred bucks. Fuck it out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm assuming this is another one where it's it's in a report we can't see. How can we make this easier? How can we make this easier? Cornelius Creeper, what a name. Randall Creeper? Fucking Marvin. <laughs> That's my old character, Albert Groves. Randall Crapper. <laughs> Brownie Joe. Oh, this is an example. Okay. Fucking Randall Crapper. That's something we need to confirm because it's like people can just be like, no, I'm not paying the fine. And it's like, what the fuck can we even do about it? Like, can we be like, well, we're just gonna march you down to the bank. You gotta withdraw the money and you've gotta pay it now. But like, what's to stop them from just being like, no, no. Cause it's not like we'd be like, well, if you don't pay, if you don't withdraw the money, we're gonna just shoot ya. Cause that would be fucked up. Yeah, I swear the old fine book. I'm trying to remember how the old fine book worked. Like... Like, I get it. It's like, roleplay in that. But... But then it's also like, in real life... You know, there are consequences if you don't pay a fine. But it's... It can be much harder. I feel like it's harder to follow up in this. Because people can use all these sorts of tricks to hide from us and whatever. Like... Yeah, like, that. you get threatened, like, you'll lose your license, or this, or that, or whatever, like... And it's... I just feel like there's a bit of a gap in between, like, how we can actually appropriately deal with it. Because, like, they can just be like, nah, or, like, we find them, and then, like, they'll be like, well, they, d they just never play again. And it's like, okay. Um, I just, again, I, I've t spoken about this before, it's like, I just feel like there is so much emphasis on, like, and, you know, the scare of the ledger going down to zero, that I feel like we need to be, it forces us to be so much more focused on, oh, gotta be getting money from people, than RP. I just, I don't know, it just, to me, it feels like there's a balance, there's an issue with the balance. I don't know, just something feels, I don't know, something just doesn't sit right to me. I don't know. 
No, that's- I think that needs- I think that needs to be a normal thing across the board, is that- Because it's like... It's- yeah, if you don't pay it, you don't get your gun back. And we'll fucking- yeah, it's almost like, fine, don't pay your fucking fine, because then we'll fucking smelt it down, we'll make more money back from the fine anyway. So it's like, good, don't pay your fucking fine, see if we- yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that need that needs to become the look. I, I can see what people are trying to do with these posters, but I think at the moment, um, I just I don't know if we can do wanted posters at the moment. Like unless it's like a hundred bucks, because that shit's gonna add up. Like, I think we, we yeah we need to we need to be ahead a bit more first. Oh, you are hungry. Lucky I got one of these bad boys. Um. Uh. Like, unless we... Like, here's an example. Now, I can see why they've done this. Because you got to be careful of getting names and stuff, like, by magic. But, like, here's, here's, like, some active finds, right? Um... Okay, well, here's a good one. So, Sledge has actually put in the notes the name of the person, which is good. And that needs to become the norm, because... Like, here's a... I think... Another one or an older one. Um, it's got, you know, the penal code, uh, the amount, what they did, but it doesn't have the name. And there's no um, there's no name attached to it. So um, And this can be really hard to keep track of, because like because unless everyone's like paperwork is immaculate, like it can be really hard to keep track of, or else like you write it down in real life. Um yeah, I think it needs to become a norm that when we issue fines, we put in the description, the law notes, like, what they did and their name. Um, but then there's also the, 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 the other problem is they may, we may not be able to, we may not have the opportunity to, to witness an ID, like, to cite an ID to be sure of who it is. So, unless, like, they could give us their real name, they could give us a fake name, but we got to get a name or something, something to go off. Something to go off that will then hopefully link up with knowledge of other lawmen and also their paperwork so that you can appropriately follow that up if you need to. Um, so yeah, we just got to add names to the description just as a safety net. Because um, otherwise it's like, well, it's all NA. Like, I don't know who the fuck... Like, I don't, like how, how are we going to fucking... Like, who the fuck could that be? I don't know. It could be fucking anyone. Um. Oh. I've I've never really had a like I had a quick look at this sort of stuff, but never like a huge look. So we've had a look at that. No! I ah fuck off! I thought that would I thought that would take me to like another menu. I don't want to go be buying shit. Off. Oh, ah oh, fuck off. Oh no! I thought I didn't read the thing. Can I, Pram? Can that be taken back? <laughs> Is there a way to like take that back? I thought there'd be like a. A confirm thing, or it would take you to a menu or something. Oh, I didn't even like. I, I, was, I just. I'm so used to like with vehicles and horses and shit. Like it goes to like that goes like the fuel. Shit. Oh well, we got. <laughs> we got a. We got a spare. If you use when transporting prisoners, we should have back up. Be sure to have back out the way as long and dangerous as you might. You currently have two in your stables of these wagons. I don't know if we currently can. Okay, it looks like, I don't know, someone's either done it deliberately or they did it as a... as an accident as well. There's two enforced prisoner wagons and now there's two of these, so... Did that take it from my money or or the ledger? Like, if it took it from my money, I'd, I'm more I'm more worried if it took it from the the ledger. Donkey bought a few. Oh, donkey! 
Donkey, donkey, donkey. Donkey. Um. All right. Where do you... Um. Yeah. Like, some people are joking. Oh, are you going to give yourself a pay rise now as sheriff? I'm like, no. No. Fuck no. Where do you do that? Where do you adjust the, the pay? Where is that? Also, I need to before I forget. Like, I do not want to be making a ridiculous amount of money because... Like, we just cannot afford to be doing that now. So I'm assuming this is where... This is... Confiscated weapons, I'm assuming. So those are the ones that carbine repeater and that Evans repeater didn't work during the last um during the last um the last recycling run I was a part of. Um I could not get rid of them. So okay, so those so that's I just I just wish I just wish we had one of these and it said evidence locker. Just so it was clear. Let me just check something. Where was that? The Evans repeater. We'll just go that. I'm assuming you can't put a gun in there. No. As I thought. Right. Cool beans. Alright. So those are there ready to go. Um, um, no ice prem, no rush. I just, I, I, I don't even know what I would set it all to yet. I'm just making sure I'm checking everything just so I'm across the, um, across the board. So, oh, Todd Woodman is still a senior deputy. See, I want to, oh, it hasn't recognized. It still thinks I'm a captain. Oh fuck, and I need to go off duty. I don't want to be just ticking up pay while I'm just dicking around. Checking shit. Uh, was it Todd, 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 Todd? Sorry, buddy. Was there a double up of him that I missed? No. All right, so that was, that'll go into effect. Because yeah, I, like I honestly, like, I want to make sure that my sheriff pay isn't too fucking high. Like, I would happily bring it down to, like, captain or something. Uh, to, like, captain level or below. Um, like, I don't want to be... I don't want to be just forking out, like, all this money. Just because I'm doing this shit. Oh, I, I just... If, I, I... In a perfect world, Prem, I feel like... Um... Look, I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if we're ever going to seriously use the provisions locker as like a provisions locker. Like, hey, I left some bread there. Um, it'd be great to see like armory locker, which is like, okay, ammunition and, well, okay, this is where things get tricky. This is, okay, just bear with me. So... This works now, right? So, can we now... But if this is confusing, like, can you... Can you put in a gun? Like, it'd be great if this was just... One of... One of those. Assuming I got a... Yeah, like, it'd be great to have 
Like, I kind of miss the old evidence locker where you could just put in anything. Like, it was all just, like, one inventory. Um, I like the idea of having, like, an armory where it's like, okay, this is where... Like, it'd be almost great to fuck that off. To fuck that weapons locker off. And just have it as... Here is a bunch of guns you can get to use as a lawman, and you please put them back. And here's ammo. Done. Look, the provisions locker, if you can have more than- you, you can have three, like, then you have the provisions locker. Here's, like, food and water, you can grab that. And then, like, just an evidence locker one, where you can literally dump everything. And then you know everything in here, everything in the evidence locker is evidence. These are not things we can just take out and borrow. These are things that will be either returned to people, or they're going to be smelted down. We don't touch them, apart from that. Um, that'd be sweet. I like the idea of these two, but yeah, with how it currently is... Like, this ammo is for us to use, but then these are all... criminal stuff. And just, I can imagine a recruit being like, Oh! A free pump-action shotgun! Giddy up! And provisions! Like, they might be like, Oh! Really? I could just take some fucking provisions? Look, I... Some bread would have been nice, but fuck, I'll take a diamond. <laughs> well, I'll be- well, thank you very much. Yeah, just, uh, that's just a thought. Um, but Sheriff is just 67 cents then, is it? Okay, good. Because I was like, if, if Sheriff is like a dollar or something, I'm like, nah, that's coming down. That is coming down. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, 33 cents. I just want to make sure it's a... Okay, so what did Bowman tell me? So it's so 33 cents, you times that by 60? Because it's like, what, every... Every hour, right? Well, every minute, every minute, that... That's every minute, right? So that's, like, say for Harkness and Woodman, that's 33 cents every minute, yeah? Oh. Right, Parrot, right. Um, so that's 0.33 times 60, and then, like, look. Not, it's not just, like, okay, like, like, I feel like a lot of players, with it being an Australian server, a lot of people, the prime time is, and stop me if I'm wrong, the prime time is between 5pm after the, the final reset for the day, and midnight. So that's, that's what, a seven hour window. So people that are really keen, like if I got home in time, I would sometimes do that. So then that's, so 0.33 times 60. Oh my God. So it's 19.8. And then let's say they're on from just after reset until midnight. So that's times seven. So then they make, so then they're still making $138.6. Oh. See, and now this is where this is where things get a little bit blurry. Is that the governor, Smiley Joe's the governor, is always like I can't go topping up those ledges, guys. But like I've spoken I've literally spoken to Prem, who's like the ledges can always be topped up. But I imagine there's then story consequences with that. So just so just, just think in a loud prem, like, um, yeah. Just thinking ahead. So, like, let's say, yeah, 0.33 times 60, that's 19.8 times, let's go, 19.8, let's go, let's say, by like, five hours. Let's go, like, five hours. Because, like, that's, like, Australian, like, that's, like, like workplaces, it's like if you're working like five hours or more, you gotta have like a 30 minute or hour break, yeah? So it's like a hundred bucks over five hours. 20k per month was the trial for first month. Man, I, I, I am always like... 
I am always very quickly humbled with how shit I am at math. At, at, um, at maths. Rangers get 5k. Dude, that's... That's gnarly. Um, fuck, I gotta go off duty. Give me the fuck off duty. I don't wanna be taking money. Soccer, it is, um... It just turned Friday. It just turned Friday. Oh, I did give me my pay. No, I got that from someone. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta train out and in to refresh it. Yeah, that's alright. That's that's okay, though. I am not fast if I don't get paid just for doing this dinky stuff. Like, I'd, I'd be inclined to put it back in the ledger real quick. Because, like, that, that ledger is scary. Um... Um... Let me think, let me think, let me think. I better set an alarm tomorrow for in the morning when I... I yeah, I gotta jump in the shower. I gotta brush my teeth and that and I gotta get to bed. I got work tomorrow. Well, today. Also, Sokra! Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday. It is currently six past midnight here on Friday for us. Um, happy birthday, Sokra. I hope it's a good one. Hope it's a fantastic day. I hope you got a good weekend coming up after it. Don't forget, more Kingdom Under Fire coming later in the year with the Fog Frog speedrunning event. I'm gonna help him with. Um, I hope so, Parrot. I'm just... I'm just trying to think... Like, yeah, it's a lot of taking what... I learnt from yourself, Ford, Prem, Donkey and that when the server started last year. Um, I'm going through and I'm finding a bunch of the... Uh, the documents we were given, like the reading material. Not that I'm not going to go like handing that out to everyone, but I'm going to take parts of that as like verbal training, like the principles and stuff, like why we do stuff the way we do, just to give me that foundation. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to strive to... Like I said, I should hear back if I get this new job technically today or Monday or Tuesday within the next couple of visit, like work days. Um, if I do get this new job, I have to put in my two weeks notice for my current job, do the two weeks, and then there's a weekend coming up in July this month where I'm in Sydney doing stuff. So factor that in in the two weeks of that. Where I've got a pretty much normal schedule, so I'll be on this, I'll try to be on at least every second night at the least, and then Friday and Saturday nights, if I can. Um, those back to back, because those are like the big ones. Um, if I do get the new job and it's looking very likely that my schedule is not going to work, then I'll just have to be transparent with everyone where it's like, look, unfortunately, you know, this new job, I just can't commit as many nights as I should be. Um, let's, let's push that new vote forward or whatever, like whatever works in country to make it make sense. Um, if I'm not successful getting the new job, then my schedule pretty much remains the same where I will stay at the same job for X amount of time throughout the rest of the year. And I will, again, I will strive to be on at least like you know, every Friday and Saturday night if I can. Um, at the very least, every second night apart from that. Um, as much as I can, but it's like, you also gotta be careful you're not on it, like, every fucking night. Because, like, I don't think anyone should be on it every fucking night. Because it adds up, man. And, like, I gotta chill out. Um. And I'll be able to commit to that. And then whenever the, the sheriff vote happens, that'll be sweet. And then, look, if I don't, if I don't get it with the vote, whatever, man. Like, the vote is the vote. That's, that's, that's how people choose it. That's how it is. Um, yeah. Um, and then my main main goals, like I've said, is to... Oh, excuse me. Is between now and the, um, the vote, is if I can do these and just really try and push for recruitment drives and just pass on everything I've learnt and do loads of ride-alongs with recruits... Um, just to bolster the numbers. So, so then, 
um, Harkness, Sledge, Woodman, Clink, um, Levi, and that. They can just they can keep the groundwork going, the boots on the ground. They can keep going out and doing fighting crime and that. And I'm happy to take take on the you know riding around and chatting to the recruits, getting to the point where they can then go do that as well. I'm happy to take that shit on. Um, and then of course Sledge is. Uh, got his notes on how to handle negotiations and stuff so he can handle that training then I might be able to get like uh, Harkness specialized on some sort of training Woodman specialized on some sort of training so then it can be split up um, and then so under Bowman I was going to be Hughes was going to be put in charge of handling like organizing the uh, the recycling runs out to Tumbleweed but obviously, as Sheriff, got to delegate that, that to someone. Can't be doing... Can't be... Got to get to a point where people are covering shit. Because, like, I will happily take on all the bullshit crap. Um, but then got to delegate stuff. So, so at the moment, yeah, Sledge and Harkness, they can organize the salvage runs whenever they want. It's been passed on to them. They got to do it. Um, that's right, Prem. And I've noticed, like, there's there's been some things I've been involved with where just... I've seen people in leadership positions where they just don't delegate enough stuff. And then they're wearing too many hats. And like, too many wires are getting crossed the wrong way. And they're getting, um... And they're getting overwhelmed in that. And it's like, delegate. And it's like, you've... You've got to, in these roles, you've got to find people that know what they're doing. That you can trust. And give it to them to do. And it always pains me in projects I've been involved in when people in charge don't feel like they can delegate. They either don't know that they should be doing it or they don't feel like they can be for whatever reason. And if like if you don't feel like you can trust these people to delegate this stuff to, then you need to fucking sort that shit out. You need to be chatting to them and getting to the bottom of it because like you shouldn't have someone in your fucking team that you can't fucking chat this shit out with to come to a, a mutual agreement and figure out what the fuck's going on. Or else why are they in the fucking team? Um, and like, give people a chance. Like, people can be allowed to fail, but like, if they're failing every fucking time, it's like, maybe this is, maybe that role isn't for you. But it, yeah, you gotta give them that chance to do it. Um... So yeah, it will be a matter of yeah finding things to delegate and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at it as like like a manager role where it's like like I really like managers that handle these things where they handle all the crap and they're, they're doing everything they can to then make the people working for them their life easy so they can do the job they've been hired to do. Um, so I'm approaching it like that. Um, but yeah, snaps, yeah, we'll definitely need to, it's like, over the next few weeks, it'll be a matter of, and I see where they're coming from, like, looking at, okay, who knows what they, who knows what they're doing, who's got the experience, who's, huh, who's not only done the time, but who's also available to put in the time. Um, now, the owners of the server have always been very honest, where it's like, there has never been an expectation for people to be on... All hours of the day, every fucking day. Like, everyone's got lives, everyone's got other stuff they want to do, but it's... Yeah, some of these roles require you to be at least... At least on a bit throughout every week, right? When you don't have shit on. Um, so... It'll be identifying that. Um... So it'll be then getting people back up to... It's like, obviously... Obviously, Harkness, Sledge, Woodman... Um... Sykes... Would be very natural. Get them back up to Senior Deputy ASAP. And then going from there, then get, like, some up to Corporal. And then, like Bowman had, get... And then eventually have two captains again. Because then, essentially, they are the sheriff represent representatives on the ground. They know the mission statement of the sheriff. They know what the sheriff expects. They know what the sheriff doesn't like. Um, they go to them with problems. They go with them with success stories. They're on the same page. They are... They are their representative in the field, and they get the sh they get the shit done. So getting to the point where you got two captains again will be good. Like two captains, and then like I don't know, like two corporals, I guess. And then a 
maybe like two senior deputies. I don't know. It can be hard snaps. It can be hard. Um, like in the lower ranks with law, like, yeah, you can just, you know, like they could have a bunch of people that all like can only commit a little bit here and there and it all sort of like adds up into like a full time like there's always someone around but yeah at the moment we just don't have the numbers in the west um to be lenient which is hard so it's, there's that is there's a bit of a there's a bit of a balancing act um yeah sorry so i'm just rambling on i'm just rambling i'm thinking aloud and all that um Yeah, that'd be good. See you tomorrow night. Um, so your Saturday night is... God. Oh, God, yeah, I really need to get to bed. Saturday night is sit down with Wolf, and then there's the boxing thing. What am I doing Friday night again? What was I doing Friday night? The training, Atto and um, Zane and whoever else wants to hear training stuff. Yo, Dex, I wish when, wish when you told which sheriff in the report it might say priority one, and the other sheriff got like priority two. That's in the main area. Yeah, it, a whole bunch of stuff with that would be really neat. But yeah, sorry, I'm just rambling, thinking aloud. Um, Yeah. We'll see what happens. Ah, ah, ugh. 